Welcome once again, my viewers, my subscribers, all over the world, wherever you are watching, wherever you are following us, I am your own MC Sandevin, as usual. You know my names are MC Sandevin, or if you like, you can call me Vincent Sunday Umwana Valia, aka Imboko. And welcome to my channel once again. Is I promise that I will be bringing different things here on my channel to make sure that you, my subscriber, you are updated and we keep you updated on whatever that comes in industry and whatever that comes. Maybe you need to learn about something in music. Maybe you need to learn vocals. You need to learn piano. You need to learn guitar. You need to learn drum set. And maybe you need to learn music production. You are sorted here on my channel because I will be bringing Bringing all of those things. What you need to do is just to do what? To like. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the bell, notification bell. Make sure you comment down there in comment section. Ask for anything. You know, even this tutorial that I'm bringing today, it is because one of our people asked for praise settings. And I say that today, because I've been doing this for some time, I want to bring in my students all the way from Naivasha. Naivasha, but you can see that I am in the church of God here at Naivasha. You can see the way the church is beautiful, church is good. Also, I'll be showing you outside nature, the way they are. But not now. For now, let us focus on what we want to do. And today, I want to take you through the tutorial of setting praise on Yamaha PSR S670. Unfortunately, I am not the one who will be doing this, but I have my student, my co-name, Vincent, like me. He will be taking us through the settings and at the end of the day i'm sure that you'll be blessed and now because he is with us and ready to take us through the tutorial allow me not to take much of your time but let me do what take you uh good afternoon i'm a good morning i'm a good evening whatever time you're watching this karibu sana for this channel uh so today i'm going to take you through uh, setting this uh, keyboard psr s670 and um, as you can see, uh, to Konayo Hapa, so we have our 670 here. And um, to Nenda Kwanza from Mwanzo Kabisa, of course, Lazima do wash And we're going to switch it on here, uh, this button. And we'll press our one, our on button here. And then we have uh, it loading. Now nah, we are good to go. So, uh, the our sound is here and uh, we are ready hi ah, yeah, so uh set praise we're going to set uh praise uh now to transfer our right right one to select right one i love to me to to me to me to me to me to me with gani uh guitar like a guitar so we have this uh, guitar and bass. So to select you, to create a easy and uh, easy. To jazz. To select jazz. So even do the sound. So when you ask it is so flat. Like it is so flat. Like a kitu so flat. Like a kuna kitu so flat. Like a kuna kitu so flat. Like now there are two um, effect to so, nongeza uh, so kiona hivi iko off waenda kwa unasongesha iko kwa right one right one so inakuwa ikiwa off haita haita uh, play hiyo delay hiyo hiyo effect unataka ku apply and then uh, tusonga chini kwa delay no no no, no the app kwa delay so tuko na delay yetu <laughs> 
so we have our delay ready now uh, uki, 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 uki rudi back exit uh, okay wacha tuweke tuongeze kidogo delay r haya so tukirudi back itakuleta ni nakae hivi so tuongeza volume yake kidogo effect tuipetie Aya, all right, iko ready. Hiyo right one. Huku unaweza ongeza ni nyingine tu kwa right two yenye itaipatia uh, kani effect kidogo. So, uh, ngine ya kuseti ni base uh, left Left, uh, tuchagua, tuchagua, select uh, left hapo And then tukona hii variety So, tutumie In our case, tutumie uh, Tutumie nini, tutumie sub uh, So, tukitumie sub uh, Tukitumie sub So, sub sub yetu tunaweka on ina sound even it's so heavy so tumegawa mpaka hasa mwe hapa so it is so heavy uh, tutaongeza uh, tuta, tutaongeza kuset hapo so, kwa left uh, voice set tunaongeza hiyo tunapea volume so ukisikia ndio sound no, labda maybe you don't like unaona napenda but if you don't like it unapeleka kwa poli so umetulia yeah, so ukisikia umetulia eh una exit exit kabisa so we have that is our uh, our voice part so you need to sawa eh kitu kingine tutaongeza style eh tuni beat tutaipea beat ndio it sound vizuri so kuna hii na pia tuko na hiyo zuk praise Eh uh, maybe kwa na yako tu hapo utaweka utaweka yenye yenye ndio kutumia so tena sawa ndio Yeah, so that's all for today. Uh, my name is Vin Vince Prince Amunga on Facebook, V the Prince uh, on Twitter, on Instagram, and on Twitter at V the Prince. Thank you so much for watching and subscribe. Apo chini ko your button. Subscribe, say say say. Subscribe. Goja subscribe, say say. At no goja, tu tukona time. Ah, thank you for subscribing. Thank you so 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 much. May God bless you.
<laughs> now, now uh, this is uh, what we normally say that when you need uh, to find something different, you also need to find uh, someone different. Meaning that maybe you have used my teaching, but today I decided to bring you different teaching. And that is for sure my student. You know, uh, when we were growing together in one place called Kiricho, actually, I missed that place. You know, I missed, I missed whatever that we used to do there. So uh, we were growing together and we were going to the same church actually it was church of god yes church of god and by the grace of god today i am in the church of god so it means that i have gone back to where maybe i started from and uh, that is the tutorial of setting the keyboard yamaha psrs 670 uh, from uh, my core and uh, name uh, vincent is i am vincent and i want to let you know that uh, as i promised that i will be bringing a lot and a lot of tutorials on one how to set keyboards how to set, uh, uh, how to play guitar, how to uh, maybe uh, to learn music production using different softwares, and how to learn drum set and more so even vocals. So it is just what you will request. If you request anything, I'll make sure that I'll bring to you. But for today, because I am in Naivasha, allow me to have my lunch because it is lunch time. Wherever you are, I love you. You know, I love you. I cannot even explain how much I love you. As you show, I am yours. MC Sunday or Vincent Sunday, a.k.a. Omwana Valuya Imboko. See you next time.
my viewers how are you unajua kuna jambo moja lisemwa ya kwamba watataka wasikuone lakini lazima watakuona watataka kwa assume lakini hawana uh, njia yoyote lazima kwa kusikie hata kama hawatataka kusikia ni kumaanisha nini ya kwamba lolote ulifanyalo basi ulifanya kwa bidii unapolifanya kwa bidii hakuna mtu yote atakaye kuignore basi siku nyingine kama hii it is another sunday that we are here for baptism and as always i say that i will be uh, updating you on everything that goes on and today as we are here you can see behind me that there is clean water here i think my cameraman can take uh, the clean water that people are ready to be baptized in here and as you have seen that we have a lot of people who have come for a baptism and today we are going to baptize them and this is actually the church of uh, El Shaddai Rescue Ministry and um, among pastors of this church and therefore today we shall also be asking questions uh, about baptism and we will be asking the elders or the pastors uh, of this church what is the meaning of baptism is it a must someone to be baptized if you become a christian is it a must for you to be baptized in main water i think we shall be getting all those answers and as, as you can view and see behind me that people are ready uh, people are preparing to uh, be baptized you can see that we have a low a big number we have a big number of people who are going to be baptized you can see they are putting on white whoever you see that is putting on white today they are going in water and you can see my camera you can just take take around go around go around take them you can see they are ready they are ready and actually these people have been praying for the whole night uh, for preparation uh, especially for this day and i'm sure that they are ready and here is where more or some of them shall be filled with the holy spirit maybe uh, to minister in one way or another so you can see you can just look around more of them uh, many of them are happy and some of them are serious those one come 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 cameraman come come closer come closer come closer Come closer. I just want you to take their faces. Uh huh. You can just take their faces. You can see these ones are the ones that are going to into water today, and you can see that they are ready. They are ready. They are ready. Uh huh. They are ready. I think we'll just ask uh, uh, one of them a uh, uh, few questions so that we can see how are you, my brother. I'm very fine, thank you. You are very fine. Can you kindly tell us your names and uh, tell us what are you here for? By the name, I'm Imedo Bonfes Makero. Mm -hmm. I'm here for baptism. Wow. So are you ready for this day? I'm very ready. Uh, can you tell us uh, before you came here, is there any process that you went through before you reached uh, to today baptism? I as in maybe teachings maybe something like that uh, any preparation for you to be baptized of course okay i've gone through some teachings i've gone through some teachings all right i've been taught about it so you are ready for it i'm very ready may god bless you amen so you can see there are many i cannot ask all of them questions uh, there are many but i think uh, we shall just uh, be getting a uh, directly to the elders of this uh, church and they will be telling us uh, what is this and uh, the importance of being baptized as a christian and i can see one of the pastors i can see one of the pastors here but let me first of all uh, talk to this elder and we see how he can tell us about this hello kiongozi bwana sifiwe hebu tuambie majina yako unaitwa nani majina yangu naitwa eric moreka nzongo Eric Eric Mo Eric Konsongo Moreka Eric Konsongo Muni Muni That name is hard but you can understand eh, kidogo uh, tungependa kujua kwamba uh, uh, maana ya ubatizo ni nini na ni lazima mtu akwe abatizwe kwa maji mengi kama mkristo uh, mimi ninaamini kwamba lazima mso, mtu abatizwe maana ni funzo ambalo liliwekwa na Kristo mwenyewe alisema kwamba maandiko yanasema kwamba tunapoingizwa ndani ya maji mm -hmm. tunasema na kufuka pamoja naye mm -hmm. na yeye pia alianza kutonyesha mfano vile nafai fanyike mm -hmm. tunaona bale yana mpatsaji mm -hmm. alifika mahali akasema kwamba afai kumbatiza lakini akamwambia lazima ifanyike mm -hmm. sababu nimekuja kuonyesha njia 
wow that is just wonderful eh amekuja kuwaonyesha njia so some of you maybe you didn't know that is very important for you to be baptized eh, in many water but today now you are getting uh, the very important reasons that you should be baptized eh, in many water si semi kwamba wale wanabatizwa kila mtu anaamini dini yake kuna wale wanabatizwa na maji madogo hivi lakini i think the best thing ni kwamba kuna mali the bible quotes that you should uh, die with jesus christ and then ufuke na yeye sio yes so wale wajakufa na kufuka na yeye wajabatizwa kwa vipi ah naweza sema bado wanahitaji kupitia hiyo njia mfano tu ni kristo alright so sasa i think it is time now that uh, preparations are going on here we can see let us hear ah sasa hii ni wakati wa kuingia katika maji kubatizwa na jinsi tumewafunza tangu siku ni kwamba ukifika ndani ya maji ulegevu ukuwe mlegevu uachiwe wenye kubatiza kuku control kwa sababu ukiwa ndani ya maji wewe unakuanga mwepesi wanaweza kukuinua tu so hapana kazana atimita meza maji hapana hao ni watu wawili watakusaidia kila kitu watakushukisha watakuinua kutoka ndani ya hiyo maji na watapeana wewe mwenye atakusaidia kutoka nje jambo nilikuwa naomba tulisahau kuambia hii corona ilikuja ikaleta kila mabadiliko ilikuwa inahitajika kila mtu awe na kitambaa yake saila anaingia anapeana huyu kitambaa wakati atainuka ndio atapangusiwa macho na kupeana anatoka naye sijui kama mtaweza pata hiyo vitambaa tutauliza uliza hapa speed siku hizo hatuwezi tumia kitambaa moja kama kitambo <coughs> kitambo tulikuwa natumia taweli moja lakini utaingizwa na kutolewa so ukiingia katika maji utashika hapa hivi ebu kila mtu ashike utashika kwa hivi Aona. na utaambia mtumishi jina lako la ubatizo bila atakuwa na kubatiza atasema so una, unashika na unakuwa mwepesi unawachia yenye nafasi bila atakushukisha na kuamka wacha tujaribio kwa mtu mmoja hapa nani anaweza kuja e, shika mapua hivyo sasa rudi mkono hii it's about to go down sasa akiwa amekaa hivyo eh tuta pronounce jina lake na tunasema kwa jina la Mungu Baba Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu tunashukisha yeye kwa maji na kuridhika Sikiza. <laughs> Unajua hapa nje lakini kwa maji, kwa maji nasaidia kuinua. Saa ile una, unasukisha unakunja mizimini hapo. Na wewe usijaribu kuona kana. Usikae ngumu. Hoja. Ya hivyo. Sawa? Yes. Eh usikae ngumu. Unakunja magodi yako kidogo. Kidogo. Unajua. Tunakuangusha kwa maji tunatoka. Na ukitoka kwa maji usipanguse maji. Huyo mwana utapangushwa. Kitambaa yako utapeana. Sasa ile unaingia tu unapeana kitambaa yeye. Ukitoka nani hata? kama hebu hebu kuja kuja e, kama huyo si ndio hebu fanya mwaka usiseme ufinye sana mapua sikiza angalia kidogo tu hivi hivi na angalia mkono wangu vile ilivyo hivi ndeni hapa hivi eh sasa hiyo hii hapa hapa eh hebu simama tena tena mara ya pili ehe sasa usiogope hautaachiliwa umie hautaachiliwa umie umie utakuwa umeshikiliwa sasa uliza swali ukishatoka kwa maji unaachilia mapoa unapumua kwanza ama wakati tu umeweka umetolewa hivi unaona mkono vile naenda Si hii tu ni kuzuia maji singe kwa mapu kwa mapua. Lakini ukisha inolewa juu kisha. Usiendelee kushikilia mapua. <laughs> Swali nyingine? Swali nyingine tunataka kuanza. Mesha. Kuna swali, swali kuna swali hapa. Sana wanzika dadi. 
kitamba kile inayotumia any kind of kitamba hata kama ni rangi yoyote hata kama ni nguo all right now that is the preparation of bar baptism and actually you can see there you just just uh, take them you can see they are getting ready and as we are also getting ready to be taking all the process on how uh, it shall go down actually i I'm sure that you've heard everything that you've said. And actually, these people have been going uh, through training, through teachings. And uh, actually, yesterday, uh, they were in Kesha. Wewe ambaye utasimama nao ndani kwa kila mmoja wakati anapobatizwa. Wacha uwezo wako na nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu zikawaajilie wakati wanapoachana na dhambi na hata kuinuka ama kufufuka upya wakiwa watakatifu. Watumishi watasimama ndani ya maji kwa ajili yao nao pia watasimama na wengine tutaendelea kuabudu tukiimba tukishangilia kwa sababu ya siku ya leo ambao ni siku kuu. Wacha mapenzi yako yatumie unapotuongoza na hata kutulinda kwa kila shughuli wote hata walio bana wanaojiandam baba waambatanishe katika waemani na utukufu huu kwa jina la Mungu baba wana roho mtakatifu amen just follow me step by step step by step step by step you can see the whole process come now come with me come with me i think the water is being blessed so just come with me come with me the water is being blessed right you can see the water is very clean and ready uh, for the baptism Waimbaji wa kwa wapi? Waimbaji wa kuja hapa. Eh, kuja hapa. Waimbaji wa kuja hapa. All right, we are still there. You can see the whole procedure and people are getting ready. Where are the singers? Singers who are my singers, my mama. Kujeni apa ama. Inafanya <laughs> Mamu zipiru ulikona patika ulikona tunasiri. Tangu ni zaliwe. Aya. Kidogo. You can see the team, the present worship. Or the choir. Let me also join them. Let me join them.
ni wamemba yesu ni wamemba kubwa ni wamemba yesu ni wamemba kubwa ni wamemba yesu ni wamemba kubwa you can see now the procedure now that is the man of god entering there into water as the present worship sings <laughs> you can see you can see now you can see take 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 <laughs> So that is the process. You can see that uh, they are in water now and ready to start the commission work. Uh, that is how it should be the process and everything. Ooh, I'm afraid of that water. Oh, yes. <laughs> nice one, nice one, nice one. <laughs> hey, you can only do this if you are called. But if you are not called, you can't do this. Wait, wait, chugeni, chugeni, okay, wire. Mama <laughs> Eno litasi mama Eno litasi mama Eno litasi mama you can hear the beautiful music on background as the baptism goes on. Men only tassi mama. Mama, <laughs> Again, again, Eh, no, it's a simama. 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 Eh,
Tunakubatiza kwa jina la baba, mwana na roo mtakatifu. Neno litasi mama. 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 Ole no litasi mama Ole no litasi mama Ole no litasi mama Christine Akinyi Ole no litasi mama Christine Akinyi tunakubatiza kwa jina la baba mwana na roho mtakatifu Ole no litasi mama Ole no litasi mama Talk to her. I Mary Kavete Tuna kubatisha Kwa jina la baba Mana na roo mtakatifu Hey, you two take that. Take that. Abisaki Nandwa, Tona Kubatiza kwa jina la Baba, Mana na Rome Takatifu.
Libya ne kesa tunakubatiza kwa jina la baba mwana na roho mtakatifu No mutira mungo choro tani, no mutira mungo. No mutira mungo choro tani, no mutira mungo. Oh, no mutira mungo choro tani, no mutira mungo. Rada awinga tona kubatisa ajina la baba mwana na mutira mukongo jara dani na mutira mukongo na mutira mukongo jara dani na mutira mukongo na mutira mukongo jara dani na mutira mukongo papa huliala ayu Ingawa papa huliala Ingawa papa huliala Ingawa papa huliala Ayu Bless me lima Tona kubatisha kwa jina la baba Mwana na roho mtakatifu Go papa huliala 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 Tereti munai tunakubatisha kwa jina la baba tunachama vipangose ipela setani ne virenge setani ne virenge kulisena kulisena setani ne virenge abana ba yesu kulia kulia abana abana ba yesu abana ba yesu kulia kulia abana abana ba yesu Abana ba Yesu kulaba Abana abana wangu Abana ba Yesu Brenda Abana abana Brenda na Liaka kwa jina la baba mwana na roho mtakatifu Ingo papa ni mirembe Ingo papa ni Go papa huliala Go papa na matunda Go papa na mabere Na mabere Go papa ni mirembe Go papa ni mirembe Wewe ni Ebenezer 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 Franklin Chidi tuna kubatisha kwa jina la baba mwana na roho mtakatifu wewe ni Ebenezer 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 wewe ni Ebenezer
Simba wa Yuda na ni kama wewe. Simba wa Yuda na ni kama wewe. Hakuna kama wewe Sisi tunasema hakuna kama wewe 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 Joseph Barasa tunakubatisha kwa jina la baba mwana na roho mtakatifu Nani kama wewe Simba wa Yuda nani kama wewe Simba wa Yuda nani kama wewe Simba wa Yuda nani kama wewe Simba na Hashon Hamani tuna kubatiza kwa jina la baba mwana na roho mtakatifu Wilfred Moreta tunakubatiza kwa jina la baba mwana na roho mtakatifu Baba mtakatifu Mungu wa Israeli kakupa sifa na utukufu maana wewe ni Mtasama Mungu wangu umetuongoza katika kazi hii ya ubatizo Baba imekamilika kwa Yesu na kwa Mungu wangu Asante Rabbi nasi sasa tunajikomboa tunapotoka katika imani ya Mungu wacha utukufu wako utaandamane pamoja nasi nguvu zako zikatofonike damu ya Yesu katuoshe ni katichafishe ni kwa sababu ya sita hey, baba natema asante na ni kwa Yesu tumeomba na kuamini good one good one so Uh, that was it and you can see here this team is very happy and excited that the one behind the music that you are hearing and uh, actually that was the process of uh, baptism you have seen the way it has gone and we can call it a day you can see over there they are also summarizing they are winding up by uh, the word of prayer Shetani analia hakuna kitu atafanya. 
Chetani anali alia, chetani anali alia, chetani anali alia, kuna kitu watafanya. Yes, guys, now this one is almost taking us to our end. But before we end up, we had to take uh, at least a video with uh, Bishop Naaskov. Uh, maji mengi ni lazima kulingana na maandiko. Ijapo kuwa watu wako na imani tofauti. Wamechukua hatua za kuenda saidi ya biblia kufanya mambo zao so unaona kwamba jinsi biblia inavyosema hawaendi vile biblia nasema wanafanya kulingana na imani yao so sijajua kwamba hiyo imani itawafanya kuingia mbinguni ama la na ndipo unaona sisi kama ilishadai lazima tufate jinsi maandiko inavyosema na ndiyo sababu tunabatiza kwa maji mengi ili mtu akamilike ndani ya ukovu wake hiyo ndio inavyohitajika lakini jinsi wanavyofanya kwa imani zao sielewe kama bingu wako naye lakini naamini hakuna bingu kwa hao kwa sababu wataulizwa mbona mkufanya jinsi ilivyoonyesha kwa hivyo ni kumaanisha kwamba kama hauja atumbukizwa kwa maji mengi na ukatoka hata kama umefanyiwa aina nyingine ya ubatizaji hii haujabatizwa haujakamilika bado kulingana na maandiko Alafu kidogo tukimalizia ningependa kujua ya kwamba je ikiwa mtu hata batizwa kwa maji mengi kuna uwezekano ya kuingia mbinguni ama hata ingia Sasa hiyo ni uamuzi wa Mungu siwezi kujua hiyo uamuzi ni wa Mungu lakini jinsi tunavyojua maandiko jinsi tunavyosema mtu kukamilika katika ukovu lazima aingizwe kwa maji mengi ili akufe dhambi zioshwe afufuke na aanze upya kwa sababu ni lazima katika ulimwengu kuonekana kwamba huko mjasiri na huko na imani ya kuweza kufanya jinsi Mungu anavyotaka na ndivyo unavyokamilika mbele zake. Asante na pengine uh, uh, bishop uh, kabla tumalizia na ningependa na muona pia uh, mama bishop yuko hapa na yeye amekuwa kiongoza kikosi kizima cha uimbaji. Tungependa kusikia tuambie kama amechoka ama anahisi vipi. Mama Skofo uja, ujambo. Amjambo um, sana. Sichachoka kwa sababu kasi ya Mungu siwezi choka na yesa fanya mwezi mzima bila kuchoka. <laughs> so mama Skofu anatuambia hata licha ya kuwa memba hizo nyimbo zote hajachoka. Na unaona siku hizi vijana wakianza kuimba pale kidogo wameshachoka. Na I think that is the challenge. Sasa utuambie mama Skofu unahisi aje baada ya hii process yote ya ubatizaji uh, watu tumeona wametumbukizwa pale kwa maji tumeona wengi kila mmoja alikuwa anajazwa kivi yake. Una un, how do you feel ama unahisi aje acha niseme kwa unahisi aje uh, kulingana na hii hali yote vile imenenda Ninahisi vizuri kwa sababu unapopatizwa kwa maji mengi dhambi zinaondoka unaamka ukiwa mpya roho mtakatifu anaanza kukuongoza so kwa sababu tumepata viumbe mpya leo nasikia vizuri safari imekuwa ya nguvu imeongezeka ndio maana nimefurahi na ndio maana siwezi choka kando na kufanya hiyo kasi yote sichachoka nasikia furaha ndani mwangu <laughs> Asante sana a, a, wapenzi watazamaji e, nataka nimalizie kwa sababu tumemaliza siku yetu i think we still have time tunafaa tuende kanisani haiku kwa kwamba tushinde hapa siku yote lakini ningependa tu mtumishi mwenye wako hapa kando na muona pale ako serious sana kwa simu a, ningependa pia kujua jina lake alafu naye pia nimuuze swali moja moja tu lakini kwanza acha atuambie jina lake anaitwa nani anaitwa uh, John Musungu John Musungu umeokoka ama hujaokoka? <laughs> Nimeokoka. Uh, John Musungu uh, leo nataka nikuuze swali tofauti. Ya kwamba uh, kuna mambo yanatendeka sasa hizi, kuna mambo yanatokea kwa nchi yetu ya Kenya uh, visanga vya ku akustusha visanga ambavyo haviaminiki na vingine hata tunaona vinatendeka kwa TV kama kuna mtumishi mmoja sitaki kumtaja jina pale Mombasa uh, kuna story ambaye iko juu yake ya kwamba amepatikana akifanya mambo fulani fulani ya kuua watu uh, tumeona imefika inaelekea karibu moja je we unaweza sema aje kuhusu ile swala inaweza kuwa ni ukweli uongo ama namna gani Uh, mtumishi wa ukweli mpaka ufate neno la Mungu na mpaka usingatie Biblia kwa maana Biblia ndio chanjo ya kila kitu kwa maana Yesu Kristo alipokuja Roho Mtakatifu na Roho Mtakatifu ndio utawala maisha ya Mkristo wa kawaida
Kwa hivyo sasa yeye amefata neno kwa kufanya vile ama vipi? Sasa hatuja kuelewa. <laughs> Alienda kinyume na neno kwa maana tuko na mahali ambapo alipotosha washirika ama waumini wa Mungu. Kwa maana unapoambia watu wafunge bila kuwasingatia kuongoza hao katika maombi ama katika roho, hapo umepotoka katika neno la Bwana. Asante sana tunapomalizia ningependa kujua pia kutoka kwako. Hii kufunga ni lazima kila mtu afunge ama ni kulingana na yule mwenye anajiweza ama vile utaongozwa na roho. E, ni lazima mwanadamu ama Mkristo wa kawaida kufunga kwa maana hilo ndilo hapo ndipo utakapopata ushindi na nguvu katika hali yako ya kuhudumu. Na kufunga tunaona kana kwamba kutokea kwa kufunga ndio kuna wale washirika wa ule mchungaji waliaga. Hebu tuambie kwani wao hawakokuwa wamejazwa ama ni nini kinaweza kuwa kilitokea hasa? Uh, tunao wale wanaofunga kwa siku moja, siku mbili, siku tatu. Unamaanisha kulingana na uwezo wa imani ya Mkristo ama jinsi Mkristo alivyo ama E, ni kulingana na imani na mahali ambapo Mkristo uwezi ambia tu Mkristo ule ambaye haja koma katika neno kufunga haja singatia jinsi ya kufunga hujamuelekeza mwenendo na vile atakavyoomba katika kufunga kwake ama katika saumu yake lakini ukiambia Mkristo funga mpaka umuone Kristo hapo umepotoka kwa maana atafunga mpaka lini miaka nenda ama siku ngapi zaidi ya siku 40 ndio aone Kristo ama anataka kukua Yesu <laughs> A, hapo umemwangusha kwa maana Mkristo wa kawaida ama Mkristo ule ambaye anayesingatia neno aweza akafunga muda huo wote Ehe. kuona Kristo wengine tume tumeenda saidi ya imani Ehe. tumeenda saidi ya ile maadili ama lile neno ambalo Kristo alilolianzisha lazima ufuate na usingatie neno la Mungu na uongozwe na roho uweze ukaambia watu wakafunga mpaka wakienda wakianguka kanisani ati wanataka kumuona Kristo na hao ni wanadamu haiwezekani mbele za Bwana Asante sana basi tumesikia pale uh, vile tunaambiwa kuhusu mfungo ya kwamba si eh, inalingana ni lazima Mkristo afunge lakini inalingana na imani nikiwa mchungaji. Uh, sasa ningependa tumalizia kwamba huu uh, mchungaji aambie watu jambo tu tukimalizia alafu tutakuwa tunamaliza siku yetu ya leo. Karibu sana mchungaji na utuambie jina lako alafu utakuwa unaambia watu unashauri watu pale watazamaji wetu alafu tutakuwa tunamalizia pale. Uh, kwa majina yangu naitwa Pastor Steven Jero. Oh, oh, oh. Special dedication for my mom Alice Rafa. Ah, 
Jifungia chumbali Yani kame songa na mawazo Tungo zetu ziko pale Sina ungoja kula kesho Lakini hana pofikiri ya solution Ni kwenda kuchapa mikanda Kwa mashamba ya watu kufieka Kupanya tutote tupate Hela tukule Nani kama mama mama Hey, bilio mana Kwa masi pindi baba Hey, na mpena tena kwa sana Niki kumbo kama tuso yangu na mama Oh, na ni kama mama Yeah, eh, eh Na ni kama mama Yani wimbo huu yuko sana sana tu kwa mama Okay mama, I wanna say I love you, I care for you I know that in my heart you remain Okay, sometimes I may lack financial to cater for everything that you may need in life mama But no, from my deepest heart, uh, I love you mama, I care for you uh, Everything that we went through with you in village I can never forget mama, mama Yeah, this is my special dedication to you mama I wanna say forever and ever I pray for you, oh I wanna see you a long life So that when God blesses me I can do something better Mungu akujali, akujali Hakubariki, akulindi Asante sana Papa, I love you too so much Sunday bringing you our Zekana show. All right, aha, uh, leo mimi ni kuambia kwamba nimetembea hapa sehemu za naivasha vasha yani nikwambia kwamba ukiangalia nature you can look around take a look you can look around the way the nature is beautiful cool angalia to just rotate rotate around so that uh, my viewers can see how the be, this place is beautiful actually hata mimi naona nikihamia kutoka Nairobi unajua Nairobi Nairobi ni uh, city ya kelele sana <laughs> and as you can see here uh, you can see that uh, the place is so cool and too cool and today uh, nilipata huyu dada mmoja ambaye ni atakuwa anatuambia ni nani alafu from there tutakuwa tunawajulisha na pia mambo yanakuwa kama wewe if you see she has been smiling since we started up to now it means that she is happy maybe atatuambia ni nini huwa anakula kinampea anakuwa na furaha kama hiyo basi singependa kuchukua muda lakini ningependa kufanya namna gani kawaida unajua tukikuja hapa kwa awa channel you make sure that you do the best thing which is to subscribe okay always make sure that you subscribe on this channel uh, so that i can be bringing a lot and a lot of this kind of uh, uh, things uh, that uh, will make you happy and today before we wa- we are going to know uh, what she does in a ministry okay number one what she does in ministry you know sometimes uh, it has come to our attention that a lot of people are in the ministry and uh, at the same time wengine wafanyi kazi utajua pia kama wafanyi kazi ama anafanya kazi na kwa hiyo ministry vile yuko but staki nionge sana unajua mimi nimezoeana na mambo wacha nimkaribishe afanye introduction atuambie yeye ni nani alafu kutoka pale tutakuwa tunajua karibu sana na utawambie wewe ni nani Asante sana Mr. Vincent. I'm very grateful for this opportunity that you just uh, granted to us as Naivasha Church of God. 
Uh, basically, my name is Deborah, Deborah Utieno or Deborah Ambai. And uh, here in church, I'm known as Mama Val. Uh, I serve in the ministry at this Church of God in East Africa, Kenya, Naivasha. I'm in several ministries, and I thank God for the, giving me the grace to serve in different ministries. Currently, uh, the connection that made me get into this discussion today is the Ministry of Praise and Worship team. I'm serving as their coordinator and patron, and I'm happy to meet you, Vincent, today for your help that you granted to us today. We were stranded somehow in the connection of the systems, how to ensure that we have proper sound. And you've been of great help to us. We are very grateful. And uh, we thank God because God has been faithful in this ministry. We've seen the hand of God. He has elevated us to another level, to other levels. And we've seen him doing so many things in our lives. So I just thank God for that. Apart from that, I'm also serving in the church as um, in the leadership of the church pastoral team I'm also serving as an intercessory team and we are happy God has been doing new things in our lives and giving us new graces every moment regardless of the challenges that we are facing in the ministry Naivasha is a good place we've served in Naivasha generally most of my time I've been in Naivasha and uh, in my service, I've seen uh, Naivasha is not a good place. Have you, as you have seen, the nature is good. Currently, you might be seeing Naivasha as a dusty place, but we are experiencing some rains, and uh, we are happy. We are happy. At least we can see green. There's a lot of food. There's a lot of activities in Naivasha. There are so many hotels in Naivasha. We are receiving so many visitors. And even in the country, I believe Naivasha is playing a very big role in revenue contribution. Thank you. Wow, that is just nice. That is just wonderful, isn't it? All right. Now, uh, there is something that I wanted us to know about her. You know, she's just wow. She's just a wonderful uh, woman of God. Uh, you've had the several ministries that she's working on. Number one, you've heard that she's working in the ministry of praise and worship as a leader or coordinator. Uh, now, we shall be asking her first that one because on this channel, normally we deal with uh, music. Huh? Okay. Now, we want to know how, how has the ministry been? Is is it easy for her or is she's encountering some challenges that maybe she can maybe uh, tell us how she has gone through and managed maybe uh, to control everything around present worship you know controlling a uh, grown-up people is not that easy you know that okay now uh, I want to know maybe uh, what is that hard what is that challenge that maybe you have faced uh, during the leadership uh, or maybe the time that you have been leading this team? What is that uh, the challenge that you have seen? Uh, maybe you can say that uh, maybe I want trick somewhere and leave it for someone else. Or maybe also you can tell, so, or to tell us also maybe there is something that is making you keep moving. Keep moving. So can you tell us the challenge maybe you have encountered uh, during your leadership in prison worship? Thank you. Actually, challenges are there. I confirm that. But um, the ministry, currently the ministry in Naivasha Church of God, uh, the praise and worship team, most of the time we, ex we have young people. And these young people, most of them are in school, others in colleges. That was a Kana show. Yes, 
again and for this tutorial of today on how to set worship uh, style and worship uh, keyboard and all the, the the way you or how you need to set and how you need to mix the voices right as I promised you that I will be bringing you uh, I will be teaching you on how to set uh, the keyboard uh, Yamaha PSRE uh, 473 uh, today I am back again Okay, I met a lot of people complaining about this keyboard. They have been saying that this keyboard is kind of tough. It's kind of hard for someone to set and understand. Uh, you meet that as someone is going somewhere to uh, to sing or to perform or to play the piano, but when he meets this piano, it's kind of tough and difficult for them. And even it has come to a point that a lot of people are saying that this piano is not good. But I have come to correct that and tell you that this piano is more super that uh, than any other four four plus four plus that we we have uh, we have been having before so today I want to teach you how to set worship on it so that you do not say that Yamaha PSRE473 is a no, is not good a good keyboard. This keyboard is a good one, is the best in worship, is the best in praises. This keyboard is also a good one in production. I love how soft how soft the keys are and how it it produces a good and clear sound on the set on the uh, tunes that are there. So. Uh, I do, not, I do not want to take my time but before we go there kindly make sure that you subscribe make sure you like this video and also do me a favor of sharing it to one of three people share it widely so that we can show other instrumentalists maybe who are playing uh, 473 and maybe they don't know how to set it so that they may know how to set it and also be of use to them and remember I said that I will be showing you step by step I will show you worship today then the, uh, if you need to know how to set praise also you will leave a comment here in the section of comments uh, ask ask anything any question uh, requesting or maybe how to set the praises and I'll be also dropping it sooner and also I'll be, no, I'll be teaching you on how to set a Yamaha SX uh, 600 700 900 and also PSRS uh, uh, 970 975 and so and and so so stay tuned always and follow me on this channel make sure that you subscribe so that whenever i upload a new video you get it rightly and notification comes direct to you so without taking much time kindly let's go and now here is my yamaha psr uh, e 
473 that we are going to learn on how to say to worship today and uh, we want to start uh, from the beginning uh, because when you come to the piano it is always off so you need to make sure that uh, you put it or you switch it on okay so now we are going direct on how to switch it because for the beginners you have to show them everything and you can see that here there is a, a on and off button therefore we switch it on okay now after switching it on you can see that the keyboard is coming is turning on it's turning on on the screen you can see though my light is poor but i know that you can see right so after there we are going directly uh to make if, if i take the keyboard if i take the keyboard you can see that the keys the keys are dry the keys are dry okay the keys are dry nothing like that but you know when you're playing the uh, the uh, worship uh, what you need uh, is a soft and good sound combined uh, that is of left and right and now let us go direct on how to set uh, this worship on this keyboard and the first thing that we are going to do is to set the voice that is m voice which is which called main voice we go to the voice and press the voice you can see on the screen uh -huh, you can see on the screen it is written a uh, grand piano now just uh, on this grand piano we can also you can still scroll to find another grand piano that we are going to use on these settings therefore we go uh, to the number two uh, voice number two which is grand piano you can see the grand piano and now you can also hear that is still not sounding good it is still not sounding good okay? what do we do or what do we have to do so that this one can sound good number one we go uh, to a function the, there's function button here you press the function button after pressing the function button you can see on the screen it is showing transpose okay transpose now we don't need transpose what we need here is this you scroll use this button and scroll 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 until you find m m release M release when you have found M release you can see that it's not showing a, a button uh, or rather it's not showing a, a sign of increasing or reducing all right so what what will you do for it to show that uh, if you want to increase or uh -huh, use the volume what the, what to do if you come here uh you come, where do you come you come you come here and then you press at uh, the function button function button after pressing function button, enter press enter there is enter button here enter button you press that one enter then you come back to on the screen you can find now it's showing at the level of the m release and the level is at uh 64. you want to set it at uh, uh 113 114 now you can you can hear the sustain is there the sustain now is where there all right now at the secret uh, with the sweet worship you need also to set a second set a second voice and remember that uh, on this keyboard whatever you do as uh, especially uh, when you want maybe uh to set something like uh, these voices remember that i told you in the last tutorial that uh, what you need to do what you need to do uh, is to hold uh, to shift to hold shift and then press dual hold shift i'm holding shift then you press dual after pressing that you can see on the screen it has brought us uh, uh, strings thus that as the strings that automatically comes when you set a, a grand piano now this the strings are not on yet because we have not turned it on what you need to cut to turn it on you come back on dual you come back on dual and press it just once just once like this after pressing it once just that way you find you can hear now the strings is there the strings are there the strings are there the strings are there you can hear now the sweetness all right but remember now even if the strings are there 
uh, they, are, they, do, they do not have the sustain because uh, we set uh, sustain on the first voice, M, M voice. So we are going also to add uh, sustain uh, to the A, uh, to the uh, second voice, which is dual, or we, we can call it a uh, second voice. All right, what do we do? We go to the function button. We go to the function button. Uh -huh. After going to the function button, you press the function button. All right? You, you, you press the function button like this. After pressing the function button, you go again to and here, back on the screen. You can see now it is on D voice. You come back, you come back, you come back this way, and then scroll. Use this, use this button to scroll. Use this to scroll. Use this to scroll. All right? You scroll until you get a D release, D release. Okay? You go, you go, you go and get D release. After getting D release, what do you do? You can and you come back here on enter button again. You press enter. After pressing enter on the screen, you can see now the amount of the uh, M release that is there. What do you do? Or oh, the level of the M release. What do you do? You also increase it uh, to 132 or 14. Uh -huh. 114. Now you can hear that the, the keyboard now has sustained both main and uh, even voice too. So now we are still we still want uh, as for me, okay. It, now the 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 level of D release it depends on how you want it to be. But as for me, I I want to, to reduce it. What do you do? You come back on enter button you press enter button then you go to this scroll button you scroll mm -hmm. you scroll and then come back and find volume now after finding volume you go back to enter button you press enter then on the screen you can see that it's showing mine is 0 for 5 but i want to reduce to 30 30 all right now to 30 you can hear the way it sounds okay That is the uh, simple and easiest easiest way uh, to set uh, the voice on this keyboard. That is the simple and easiest way uh, to set the voice on this keyboard. Now uh, we are still uh, continuing. Uh, we are continuing to set. All right, we are continuing. We are not yet done because we first of we need uh, the split, this we call the left voice now on this keyboard is called split split or oh, you come on this side and find that there is split over there there is split over there okay all right now finding that there is split over here okay what do you do what do you do what did you do? Uh -huh. all right when you come that there is split over here what do you do you come and uh, you hold, uh, you hold shift, you hold shift, then you press split. After shifting and pressing the uh, split, others, okay, there's some people normally use this uh, button here, what we call accompaniment, accompaniment. Now, they come to accompaniment and they hold on it until they get what they want. Right as I was saying, uh -huh, what do you do? Now, after that, you can come on the screen and see now it is displaying a finger, finger buzz. But now we don't need finger buzz. What we, what we need, what we need is um, uh, fritless, fritless uh, buzz. Now you can hear that it's not there yet. What do you do? You go here on the split, then press once. After pressing one, once it comes it's there now my split i have set it to here but you can reduce it to a level where you want it to go therefore you come here on function on function after coming on function you come and find for a split uh -huh. split there is a split here always remember that you're using this to find whatever you want then you press enter after pressing enter you can set it to a level where you want it to be wherever you want it if you want it to be to the wall keyboard split, split. that is upon uh, uh the way you want it to be but as for me i would normally put it on 63 63 
63 so that it can give me the average and where I want it to be. Now, you can feel that on the left and the right, I have sad. But now we, when we want that uh, our bass at least to sound a little uh, uh, better because uh, this is a worship and or, normally in the worship, we also need a little reverb on bass. How, what do we do? You come back, you come back here on shift on uh, shift eh? all right you hold shift and press split you hold shift and press split all right i hold shift or on upon holding the shift i pressed uh split all right and then i come back here on fun in function then after pressing function i f i scroll uh and find something uh find what we call uh reverb reverb then press enter press enter here enter then i will add little reverb to where i want my my bass the way i want my bass so now you can hear there's difference okay now okay after there we come on style 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 you press style like that after pressing style like that what you do now you come here after pressing style like that you come back and uh, look for the style that you want most of the people they normally use this style called mm -hmm, called what 16 bit right 16 bit 16 bit like this one and also i want uh, to tell you that uh, or to advise you that when you are going to any keyboard you need to know your settings in your mind so that when you go to the keyboard because some keyboards are not written things are on them so you need to know what you need in the keyboard so that when you go setting the keyboard you already know what you want right so uh, after selecting that we'll come on the tempo tab on the tempo tab we shall press tempo tap okay tempo tap i normally give it a uh, six to one six to one that is for me 61 or 63 there then after there my keyboard now is ready to do what ah to play worship example you want to set in bank you come and press bank holding bank and then set it on one i don't want to do that because uh, this keyboard is already set on that and also as i was telling you that since i bought this keyboard it has not given me hard time using it because it's just understanding it, just about understanding it and knowing how to set it understanding and knowing how to set it uh, that is the only way that uh, it can give you what you want all right now here my keyboard is now ready to play so, we worship and feel the sound and our setting the way it is. Now, this is it. Maybe you feel that maybe right hand that is main it is too high and maybe you need to lower it a little bit for you to get the better sound that you need. What do you what do you do? You just go here on function and then look for M um, M. Um, you look for M. Um, first of all, let's do this um, D octave. All right, D octave. Put it on negative one, negative one. Then enter. Then go back. Go back. Go back. Using this scroll button, using this scroll button, always remember you're using this scroll button. You go to M octave, mm -hmm. M octave, then press here, enter, always enter. You press enter, then you go back here. You can find now, you put it to uh, a negative one, two. All right, now our keyboard is set. We can now play it. Let us hear the sound. All right. Nina penda ni kwa budu wana ah siku zote ni kwa budu wana ah 
Now that is how to set up the worship on this keyboard uh, but uh, there is a voice that I love using on this keyboard and this voice uh, on other keyboards you have to use uh, maybe a laptop a software a certain software for it to produce this kind of sound but one thing I love with this keyboard is that this sound is just there ready for you to use which sound let me see you just go there on voice hey you just go there on voice you press voice after pressing voice what do you do you select number 13 number 13 right let's see okay after selecting that you can feel uh -huh, uh -huh. but it is dry it is dry and high on high octave what we do we go on uh, to function we bring it to, um we enter again remember always whatever you do enter then you bring it to negative one negative one then we want to add a little sustain eh, so that it can be a sweet one you you find that release m release after finding m release so for you press enter then you add to 100 114 all right 114 you can feel feel that sound feel that sound right feel the sound feel the sound wow 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 what a sweet voice actually this is the voice that i love using on worship what a sweet voice that this keyboard has wow wow right this one i normally mix it with grand piano grand piano what do you do you come to uh sh you hold shift and then press D. After pressing D, you find that there is grand piano there. We just add it a little sustain. A little sustain. We add it to uh, D release. D release. Then enter. Then also put it to um, 113. 113. Then enter. Then come back to voice. Right. A volume. Volume. Uh -huh, okay. Volume. Enter. Then you reduce it a little bit. Now. You can feel, feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it, feel the music. Watch it. Wow. What a nice and beautiful sound that we have on this keyboard. Yamaha DXIE473. You asked, I brought it. And now, because I have brought it, and you show a sign of love by sharing, inviting more people to watch, and also like and leave a comment there in the comment section. Whatever you may need, just request, and I will be bringing. And also, I will be bringing more settings on the keyboard that I told you in the previous the SX uh, 600, 700, 900, and also PSRS uh, 970, 950, 975, and those all oh, keyboards, even COG. Some of you don't know how to set those uh, mid uh, pianos, uh, grand pianos. I'll be also teaching you on how. And also, I will be teaching uh, how to produce music uh, and everything about music on this channel. So, Make sure that you follow me for more and more details. Thank you so much. God bless you. My names are Ames Sunday Ville.
kutoka Afrika Mashariki kipindi cha Gospel uh, Destiny Show. Natumai kwamba umzima, natumai kwamba weekend yako imekuwa ya baraka. Na tena tumekutana siku nyingine tena ya Jumatatu. Uh, mimi na wewe hapa ndani ya Destiny Show katika Nisi TV kuhakikisha kwamba tunafika kwako nyumbani kwako kazini hata kama ni katika kwenye gari basi tunahakikisha kwamba ni kama ni kwa ofisi tunaingia basi natumai kwamba Mwenyezi Mungu amekuweka ukamzima na siku ya leo buheri wa afya ndio maana unaweza kunichizama kunisikiliza popote ulipo na tunaweza kusemezana natumai kwamba weekend yako imekuwa ya kufana na wale walienda kanisani pia najua kwamba mmekutana na Mwenyezi Mungu amejibu ya mionzenu na hata wengi wamepona kwa sababu walienda mahali pana stahili sasa hivi na furaha ya kwamba ewe mpenzi mtazamaji mkuu wa kipindi cha Destiny Show ya kwamba uko ndani na ikiwa ni siku ya Jumatatu a siku ya tarehe 28 mwezi ukiwa ni ule ule wa pili mwaka wa 2023 natumai kwamba tunaingia uh, kwa mwezi mpya siku ya kesho kama tumejawa na utukufu hakuna jambo la maana kuingia katika mwezi kama umejawa na utukufu basi tunapoanza anza akipindi chetu cha Disney show naomba kwamba uniruhusu kwamba nikaweze kufungua katika neno la maombi alafu tutakuwa tunaendelea endelea pamoja mpaka ka tamati. Basi popote ulipo ningependa kwamba uchukue hatua ya imani ili kwamba tukaweze kuomba kwa pamoja uh, na kama unaweza ku, basi kufunga macho ni vyema pia ili kwamba tuweze kufungua kwa neno la maombi ili Mwenyezi Mungu akenende pamoja nasi. Baba Mungu uh, kwa utatu wako na kupenda na kuabudu na kutukuza. Nasema ni asante kwa neema na kibali ambacho umetupa siku ya leo ili kwamba tukakusanyike mahali hapa kwa ajili ya kukuabudu kwa ajili ya kulinua na kulitukuza jina lako. Najua kwamba Bwana upo pamoja nasi, unaenenda pamoja nasi unatuongoza kwa kuongoza hatua zetu uh, siku na mchana Bwana. Basi wakati kama huu najua kwamba tunapoungana pamoja na watazamaji wetu popote walipo. Ya kwamba baba unenda kutenda jambo la kipekee siku hii ya leo katika kipindi cha Destiny Show Bwana unaenda kubariki mioyo unaenda kuinua mioyo unaenda kuwatendea walio kuwa wanatarajia kutoka kwako maana uaminifu wako na kitu cha homa mwanadamu baba tenda jambo jipya baba tenda kwa yule mtazamaji wepo wako ukaandamane pamoja nasi ya kwamba tunapoanza tuanze pamoja nao na pia tutakapokaribia kufika tamati pia wepo wako we pamoja nasi wawe walio Kenya wao wasio kuwa au ambao walio nje ya Kenya baba tunaomba kwamba ukawe pamoja nasi zote ya kwamba Destiny show ikawaguze na tutasema ni asante maana unastahili asante kwa wepo wako asante kwa wema wako enda nasi na tutasema ni asante kwa jina safi la Yesu Kristo nimeomba na kuamini amina Natumai kwamba popote ulipo umesema amen na ukisema amen kama kawaida nasema kwamba unaposema amen ni lugha ya ushindi ama kukiri basi na iwe hivyo basi chochote ulikuwa naomba basi Mwenyezi Mungu amejibu na lolote ulikuwa natarajia kutoka kwake basi ametenda hivyo basi nakuomba kwamba mtazamaji wangu usibanduke mahali ulipo manake ni siku ya Jumatatu kawaida unajua siku ya Jumatatu watu wanaamka na uchovu mbili tatu hivi lakini unapoinuka basi na uusikie umeanza katika wepo wa Mungu tena unaenda kumaliza katika wepo wa Mungu kila jambo linakuwa sawa popote ulipo kama unajua kuna rafiki yako mpendwa wako anakuwa mpenzi wa kipindi cha Destiny Show na basi wenda ikawa amesahau kwa sababu ya mambo mawili matatu kwa sababu leo ni mande basi mtafute mwambie kipindi kikubwa kabisa cha Destiny Show kimeanza kimeng'oa nanga aache chenye anafanya basi ajipatie muda ili kwamba tukabarikiwe kwa pamoja na wewe mali huko basi anza kupata nafasi njema kwa sababu leo tena ndio leo na ukiniona MC Sunday nimefika basi ujue kwamba mambo yako kiwango kingine basi keti pale ili kwamba tubarikiwe kwa pamoja na Mungu atabaki kuwa Mungu asante sana Mungu 
usifiwe utukuzwe us, uh, upewe mamlaka wimbo mzuri sana basi kutoka pale kwa mwanadada uh, wimbo ambao unatubarikisha kwa sababu ya siku nyingine njema kama hii basi nimekuambia kwamba kama umeingia ndani je hesabu kwa wewe wa baraka kama umeingia ndani je hesabu ya kwamba kati ya watakao futu wa machozi basi wewe ni mmoja yao ama mmoja wao si ndio basi kama uko ndani hebu tu tunafanya namna gani natenda haki kwa kunijulisha kwamba niko ndani MC unasema tu pale hata MC niko ndani naomba wimbo fulani fulani kawaida unajua kwamba ukiomba wimbo usiombe wimbo bila mashari tu jamani nidhamu kitamana mwanangu nidhamu kitamana baba mtazamaji pale ya kwamba unafanya namna gani unasema destiny show na MC Sande naomba wimbo fulani i love producers wangu pale watakuwa natenda haki na bila kusahau ya pia ya kwamba pia siku ya leo tumebarikiwa kabisa kuwa na mgeni ama na wageni na muda usio kuwa mrefu watakuwa wanaingia ama watakuwa naingia basi utakuwa tunasemezana na yeye utakuwa unamjua msanii wako pale utakuwa unajua safari yake e, ya muziki iko vipi utakuwa unajua ya kwamba mbali ameenda amepitia nini na nini labda uko pale unatazamia hata wewe uanze mziki si ndio Wenda uko pale unatazamia kuanza mziki lakini umeshindwa utaanza vipi una labda umetoa audios au umetoa videos haujui kunaenda aje baada ya hapa basi kama uko pale unatazama destiny show ujue kwamba jibu linapatikana wapi hapa hapa basi popote ulipo ewe mtazamaji naomba kwamba ufanye nini ukue strong be bold be bold because in here hapo utapata majibu ya swali especially kama we ni minister kwa huduma wewe ni nani ni minister kwa huduma you know when we say minister, Minister, minister ina include huduma general eh huduma yote ya kwamba unaweza kuwa mwimbaji unaweza kuwa mchezaji wa vyombo unaweza kuwa labda an evangelist unaweza kuwa mhubiri unaweza kuwa hata wewe unapanga tu eh, vitu pale kwa madhabahu unaenda unafagia Yaani chochote unachofanya katika shambani mwa Bwana basi ujue kwamba ni huduma si ndio uh, basi ni rusu ni watambue wawili watatu ambao washaingia pale na wanasema wako ndani hata bila ya kuchelewa namna gani wacha nimuone nyakundi kundizi pale ehe eh, anasema vipi watching from Madhare North asante sana nyakundi Mungu akakubariki sana namuona pale a presentally Roy anasema adonai by faith aha by faith inya amoiti please play for me that song aha najua kwamba unataka wimbo uchezwe lakini tafadhali unapotaka wimbo uchezwe narudia tena kusema fata sheria sema destiny show na mc sande naomba wimbo uh, unasema pale by faith uh, inya amoiti alafu producer zangu atakuwa anafanya atakuwa anafanya haki pale lakini usipofuata sheria basi uh, kidogo ni damu mwenjeba jamani lakini wewe ni wa maana haya pale nana pale Grace Muya anasema vipi Grace Grace Muya anasema wow leo show iko moto yes asante sana show iko moto na tunashukuru kwa sababu ya wewe mtazamaji show inafai kuwe zaidi na zaidi na mwana pale uh, presenter Leroy bana anasema presenter Leroy watching naomba wimbo wake faitha inyoma uh, moiti asante naona pale milishaini sana anasema vipi Mungu awabariki kwa kazi nzuri mnayofanya MC keep up the good work asante Mungu akakubariki sana milishaini kwa kukua uh, uh, follower wetu ama kukua mtazamaji mkubwa shabiki wa kipindi cha Destiny Show anarudia kusema namna gani niko ndani niko ndani Anarudia anasema niko ndani kama kawaida. Asante sana kwa kukua ndani. Anasema amen kwa hayo maombi. Wow. Asante kwa sababu ukinaposema amen basi linafanyika lile unalotarajia. Isaac Shalom anasema vipi? Anasema tuko ndani kabisa na leo swali lije. Kawaida swali lazima likuje. Si ndio? Ah, namuona pale Shiro mtoto Asali anasema vipi? Tunde in from Limuru. More blessings. Asante sana. Aha, wale unajua mashabiki wa kwanza kwanza unaona pale nani? Irene Nyawira Warui anasema vipi? Waiting for Tequila Awadie. Tequila Awadie in the next five minutes. Tequila atakuwa ndani. So usikuwe usikuwe mbali. Namuona pale anasema vipi? Ruiru Bypass tumewakilisha kwa mpigo. Anasema tunde in. Asante sana basi mtazamaji. Najua kwamba leo tuko na tekila wenyewe pale na anakuja kutubariki bariki, anakuja kutuchangamusha pale, anakuja kutuambia safari ya mziki vipi. Unajua hata nikwambie kitu kimoja, as a minister, bwana we, safari ya mziki changamoto, lakini unaposimama na kupata mawaidha walioenda mbele, basi mambo yanakuwa vipi? Inakuwa sawa. Basi stay tuned there wakati tunapata wimbo wa mgeni wa siku ya leo ama tunapopata huu mziki, 
na mimi namwandaa mgeni afanye nini? Aingie ingie. So kapo sibanduke. pale mziki pale tumepelekwa western yani tumepelekwa western uh, ki, kwa katika lugha ya Kiswahili na tukapelekwa pale kwa mabega yani kila kitu basi kinakuwa tu pale kinasonga 
na tunaenda tunazisi kwamba tuko kiwango kingine. Sasa mtazamaji wangu najua ama natumai kwamba mahali popote upo unaburudika na pia unazidi kubarikiwa. Kwa sababu unajua madhumuni yetu ni kwamba we mtazamaji uweze kubarikiwa, uweze kuburudika na uweze zaidi kupelekwa kwa viwango vingine. Na bila kusahau nikwambia kwamba siku ya leo basi tutakuwa na mgeni ambaye atakuwa amefika nyumbani nyumbani. Na pia bila kusahau Leo na kuambia nimekuletea mambo ya kitafauti kabisa. Lakini niko na swali rahisi kabisa siku ya leo. Na mnajua kama kawaida tunapouliza swali mwisho wa siku basi tunahakikisha kwamba tunawazawadia. Eti namna gani? Tunauliza swali, alafu mwisho wa siku tunawazawadia. Kwa zawadi namna gani? Credit unakuwa unapata pale. Na swali la siku ya leo wenda eh, niruhusu ni mgeni aulize ama mwenyewe nitauliza. Lakini langu ni rahisi, mboga sana. Eti Nataka uniambie zile a uh, uh, fruits of what? Eh inaitwa namna gani? Ah kwa Kiswahili nasema matunda ya Roho Mtakatifu. Ya, nilitaka nitumie Kiswahili. Matunda ya Roho Mtakatifu. Naomba ukanitajie pale, alafu ukafungu ukaniambia yanapatikana kwa kitabu kipi? Okay? The fruits of Holy Spirit. Si ndio? Pale unaniambia ni hii na hii na hii vile yanafatana, alafu kisha unaniambia yanapatikana kwa kitabu kipi? Na bila kusahau unafata kawaida sheria. Sheria namna gani? MC unasema destiny na MC Sunday jibu la siku ya, ya leo ni hivi 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 hivi. Alafu tunakuwa tunaelekea pale. Basi bila kus, kuchukua muda zaidi, niruhusu nikaribishe mgeni wetu wa siku ya leo aweze kujitambulisha pale, alafu tutakuwa tunaendelea endelea. Karibu sana. Asante. Yes, naomba kwamba ukajitambulishe kwa watazamaji wakakujue alafu tuendelee endelee kutoka pale. Okay, bwana asifiwe. Amina. E, kwa majina mimi naitwa Tekla Sore. Mm. E, mimi ni mwimbaji wa nyimbo za injili. Mimi nimeokoka na mpenda Yesu. Tekla Sore ni mama, ni mke anaoleka kwa mume mmoja ako na watoto wawili. Wow, Tekla Sore. Mm. Tekla Sore jina lako jamani kidogo kama mtu ulimi wake mzito mzito kuita jamani ina inachanga moto zake kiasi. <laughs> Eh, inahitaji kama ulimi wako ni mwepesi lakini ukiwa na ulimi mzito ukamfana kidogo tekila so, unaanza kwa pale sore ni sore ya sorry ama ni sore ya s e namna gani s o r e sore sore wow jina baada jina la kipekee pale unajua kuna watu wamekuja wana majina pale hata zingine huwa anaona pale kwa mtandao kidogo lakini lake lake <laughs> kidogo tricky but sijali mtazamaji najua kwamba ina nguvu so tekila sore unatokea upande gani wa Kenya e, tekila sore ametokea upande wa bonde la ufa wazazi wametoka magharibi lakini wakanua shamba bonde la ufa uh-huh. so bonde la ufa huko ndio tumekuwa mimi mwenyewe nimezaliwa pale Nandis Nandi hiyo. Yeah, tukakaka Nandi Hills hivyo. <laughs> My sister Evelyn, are you there? Nandi Hills wako ndani ya nyumba kutoka huko kwenu kwenu. Eh eh. Eh eh. So kazaliwa umezaliwa Nandi Hills? Yeah, nimezaliwa hapo Nandi Hills. Alafu mkahama. Eh, wazazi walikuwa wanafanya hapo kazi, uh-huh. wakamaliza wakaenda kule mashambani, bado mashambani yes. walikuwa wamenunua tu bonde la ufa bado. Uh-huh. Eh, so tukakaa pale 1 2 3 tukagurugura sasa tukakuja mjini kutafuta Aha mm. sasa size mujini kutafuta, kutafuta. umekuja se una ah, sasa asante tushajua ulitoka uh, Nand Hills ukaenda bonde la ufa sasa size uko mjini kutafuta asa mjini uko wapi asa umetoka wapi siku ya leo ndio kakuja huku siku ya leo nimetokea embakasi yes pale fedha fedha embakasi eh. basi watazamaji wote wa embakasi fedha kama uko ndani ya nyumba unasalimia salimia pale mgeni alafu anajisikia kwamba watu wa eneo lake wanampenda si ndio sasa take la sore nataka nikuulize maswali mawili tutakuwa tunapata mziki wako tena pale swali la kwanza ulianza mziki mwaka gani ama wakati gani e, nilianza muziki 2019 2019 yes aha hapo ndio nilianza muziki hapo ndio ulianza muziki mm. ah. 2019 ndio ulianza sasa kuanza kutoka ama ni lini ulijihisi ama ulifeel ya kwamba you can sing unaweza imba Okay kwa kusema ukweli Dio. mimi nime grow kama ni ngani kadogo uh-huh. nilikuwa napenda kwenda pale kanisani Sunday school uh-huh. nilikuwa napenda kuimba nilikuwa napenda kuimba kabisa yes. lakini sikuwa najua kuwa kuna wakati mmoja nitaja 
toa nyimbo ani tuseme kama zangu uh -huh, uh -huh. na hakuna siku moja tuseme mtu aliniambia wewe kuimba unapenda kuimba uh -huh. siku moja utaja toa muziki uh -huh. a a siku aiambiwa na mimi mwenyewe siku ai imagine uh -huh. nilikuwa nafikiria vitu kama hizi zenye nafanya saa hii zina watu wenyewe uh -huh. so nikiangalia nasema hizo si zangu uh -huh. hizo zina wenyewe mimi yes. niondoe hapo uh -huh. e, mpaka wakati wenye Mungu sasa mwenyewe uh -huh. alikuja akanitafuta penye nilikuwa wakati hebu tuambie ni wakati gani ambao walikuwa wanaona unajua kuna vitu zingine sometimes wao zinafanyika katika uh, maisha yetu eh tunaanza kuona ah ile kile sio kiwango changu kile kina wenyewe ujue kwamba wale wenyewe pia walikuwa kama wewe kabla wafike pale yeah. wakati gani hasa huo ambapo ulikuwa unajaribu tu lakini ona kile kiwango si cha eh huo tu wakati nikijaribu ni kiwa tu hivyo venye nimesema nikiendeleendelee tu pale kanisani nilikuwa napenda kuimba tunaenda makams huko mimi nilikuwa uh -huh. napaka watu walikuwa wananijua hata tukienda mahali unasikia msichana mwenye anatoka mahali fulani uh -huh. kule chemnebo akuja niimbie hapa uh -huh. ni kama hizo uh -huh. so E, siku moja Mungu akawa ananionyesha kwa anania, ananionyesha kwa alikuwa ananionyesha through ndoto uh -huh. kwa unajua Mungu sana sana utuongelesha uh -huh. through ndoto. Yes. Sasa akawa ananionyesha kuna mahali naimba 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 so nikawa najiuliza maswali Mungu umeshinda ukinionyesha hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi na uh hivi. -huh. Ni kuimba hii ya kawaida yes. ama kuna kuimba kwingine tofauti? Uh -huh. Sababu si kuelewa, sababu mimi uh -huh. but sababu ilikuwa imezidi yeah. nikona labda kuna tofauti na hii tofauti ni gani sababu sijui. Uh -huh. Mimi najua tu hii ya kawaida. Yes. Paka siku moja yenye yeye mwenyewe sasa aliniletea. Uh -huh. Unaona aliniletea hivi akanipatia. Mimi niko tu pale siku moja tu niko hapo kwa kasingi naosha tu vyombo wangu. Uh -huh. eh, nasikia nasikia kawimbo kana eh, kujana. Nasikia kawimbo kamekuja. Uh -huh. eh, na nimeimba kametungika. <laughs> <laughs> nikasema haya. Zeni hey. nipiga akili nataka nikasema haya. Uh -huh. Ama hii wenye Mungu alikuwa ananionyesha kwa maono. Yes. So kutoka hapo uh -huh. sasa nilikuwa nakaa chini naandika na record cause nisipofanya hivyo uh -huh. ilikuwa ina, inapotea. Uh -huh. Sasa hapo ndio nilikuwa najua kumbe hii ndio kazi yenye sasa Mungu alikuwa anataka nikamfanyie. Wow. Na si kujua uh -huh. kumbe wakati ningali mchanga nikiendelea hivyo nikiimba uh -huh. sikuwa najua kumbe alikuwa yeye alikuwa ananianda. Uh -huh. So wakati wake wakati wenye ulifika wanasamanga wakati wake wakati wa Mungu. Wakati wa Mungu uh -huh. ulifika sasa uh -huh. akaniambia ndio hivi mwanangu nataka ukanifanyie nataka kufanya sasa. Yes. So wakati huo ndio upi? Asa umesema ndio 2019. 2019. 20, asante sana. Yeah. So kutoka 2019 wakati ulishajitambua kwamba huo ndio Mungu na nataka nifanye hivi maana kuna maswali kadhaa ulimuuliza mm. na ukaona kana kwamba ukaona amejibu. Yeah. Na ulipoanza kufanya kufikia sasa hivi umefanya uh, nyimbo kama ngapi? Kufikia sasa hivi nimefanya album ya nyimbo sita. Album ya nyimbo sita. Eh. Yeah. Aha. Nyimbo sita na zime mix mix. Eh, eh zime mix mix. Unajua generation yeah. yenye tuko saa hizi <laughs> kila mtu ana, ana wimbo wake anapenda. Eh, kwa mfano mimi nikienda kwa albamu yako kuna wimbo mmoja utanifurahisha. Yeah. Zote zinaweza kuwa nzuri yeah. lakini kuna moja, moja itaniguza. Eh. So umefanya ku mix mix. Nimefanya ku mix mix. Asante sana. Eh. So a uh, mtazamaji wangu basi ka pale pale usikie hii album. Nakumbuka kwamba unatuma pale ujumbe wako pale online tuko kwa mitandao ya kijamii pale unatuma pale uh, unatuambia unatutazamia ukiwa wapi alafu pia unajibu swali la siku na pia unaweza uliza mgeni wetu maswali kwa sababu bado yuko kwa nyumba na sisi na ukiangalia pale ule wimbo amecheza pale nimekuambia ni wa wa kutigiza mabega wa kufurahia ndio unaona vile yako acha anza ukata kajasho mimi kangu nimekata kadogo kadogo lakini bado tunaenda tena kile kiwango tunataka tupate tena wimbo wake pale alafu na we pia mtazamaji uzidi kubarikiwa tuma jumbe zako pale kwa mtandao na mimi nitakuwa natenda haki kuzisoma si ndio na kukiwa pale basi tambua msanii wako ama minister wako alafu mambo itakuwa sawa watatupate wimbo wake mwingine pale alafu basi mambo itakuwa safi akidogo naona pale Ah, uh, naona pale kidogo uh, watu wanazidi kutuma jumbe zao, wanatuma wanatuma jumbe zao na kabla tupate wimbo mbaji ambaye tuko naye siku ya leo. Nakumbuka kwamba nimeuliza swali, si ndio? Na vile nimeuliza swali, natumai kwamba na we mtazamaji mali upo uko tayari sana kujibu swali la siku ya leo ili kwamba zawadi ikwe na kuendea. Na usichelewe jamani, usichelewe na usikawie. Endelea kutazama Swali narudia tena. Swali narudia. Wacha narudia swali. Swali la siku ya leo ni hivi, ya kwamba matunda ya Roho Mtakatifu ni yapi? Ya Roho Mtakatifu ni yapi? 
uandike pale hayo matunda ya roho mtakatifu vile yanafatana alafu kisha andika vile yanafatana uandike yanatoka kwa kitabu kipi kwenye biblia na ukisha andika vile basi hakikisha kwamba unafuata sheria zetu za siku ya leo ya kwamba unafanya namna gani destiny show na mc sande jibu la siku ya leo ni hii na hii na hii kutoka kwa kitabu fulani fulani na mimi nitakuwa nafanya namna gani na kubarikia mwisho wa siku basi nataka tupate wimbo wa mgeni wetu wa siku ya leo alafu tutakuwa na rejea rejea kuona ni nani wale wanapata zawadi kimbilio ni Yesu pekee basi pale wimbo ambao unatupambia siku pale wimbo ambao unafanya tunahisi kana kwamba tuko kiwango kingine basi na mimi nataka kuambia kwamba siku ya leo ndio ile siku ambayo tunabarikiwa tukiwa kwa pamoja siku ambayo tunaweza kuinuliwa na kupelekwa viwango vingine basi namna gani nasema namna gani ya kwamba siku hii ndio siku ya pekee basi Nataka bado niko pamoja na mgeni ya kwamba akazidi kutuelezea elezea na kutuambiaambia ya kwamba safari yake ya mziki imekuwa kwako tena na nataka kujua kwamba uka, ukaambi watazamaji wetu kwamba safari yako ya mziki imekuwa vipi tangu uanze je changamoto zipi ambazo umepata na ni mazuri magani ambao umekutana nao katika safari e, kusema ukweli Haijakuwa rahisi. Uh-huh. Sitadanganya mtu pale nje ati ni safari rahisi. Uh-huh. Imekuwa safari ngumu. Uh-huh. Kwa hiyo kitu ya kwanza pale, yes Mungu amenipatia manyimbo. Uh-huh. Lakini sasa sijui nitaenda wapi. Uh-huh. Kitu ya kwanza sijui nitaenda wapi sababu niko green kabisa uh-huh. kwa uwanja sijui studio yoyote na pale nje unasikianga tu story eti ukienda tu kwa kila studio ukiimba imba mm. utashtukia mtu alishatoa wimbo wako uh-huh. so nikawa naogopa nashindwa nitaenda wapi uh-huh. najaribu kuingia kwa messengers za wasanii wakubwa wakubwa at least niulize mtu tu aniambie tu hata studio uh-huh. lakini napata hakuna jibu uh-huh. so nikawa niko pale najiuliza sasa Mungu nitafanya nini sababu umeniweka mahali penye sijui uh-huh. mahali penye sijawahi fikiria uh-huh. mahali penye sikuwahi tarajia kuwa siku moja uh-huh. nitakuwa uh-huh. hapo ndio mimi umeniweka so siku moja nikakutana na mama mmoja tulikutana na kwa group moja tukiongea ongea tu na yeye nikamwambia mama mimi niko na nyimbo ziko hivi na hivi lakini uh-huh. sina mahali pa kwenda ku record sababu sijui studio yoyote uh-huh. so huyu mama ndio akaniambia ah, kuna mahali mtu unajua ni mtu mzuri yes. mtakupeleka pale uh-huh. na atakufanyia kazi nzuri uh-huh. sasa mimi tukaondoka na yeye bega kwa bega paka pale kwa studio uh-huh. kufika pale kwa studio tukapata producer tukaongea na yeye uh-huh. so vile tuliongea na yeye bado nilipata mambo ikiwa ngumu kwa uh-huh. vile nilikuwa natarajia si venye nilipata pale. Mm-hmm. He nilipata anasema we hizi nyimbo zako hivi na hivi na hivi eh. tuseme ni pesa fulani hivi na hivi na hivi. Eh. He nikasema pesa he, kama ngapi? Pesa ilikuwa ilikuwa hivi. pesa kama ngapi? Yenye, album moja. Album moja. Eh. Tuseme eh. tuseme tuweka hapo 40 tusigisti. Eh. <laughs> na mimi na ni mara ya kwanza kabisa. Na ni mara ya kwanza kabisa. Eh. Na mimi tarajio langu ilikuwa yani eh. kiwa mingi sasa yani sasa hata amenifinya. Eh. 10. <laughs> 10,000. Nyimbo sita. Sasa eh. Sasa hapa hata mimi naona ani amenifinya lakini ikiwezekana tu akaniuliza ngapi eh. na muambia naona ni kama 8 itafanya eh. hii kazi. Eh. Sasa unaona wakati ananiambia hivyo eh. mimi niliondoka eh. na nikaenda mimi kiendanga. Eh. Eh. Uh-huh. Nikaambia Mungu we hapo penye umeniweka <laughs> sasa naona kweli mimi hapo kwa sababu ubabiwa nyimbo 640 yes, to 60000 yeah, ukaona hai hapa iwezekani hapa iwezekani mimi siwezi sitawezana nayo hiyo uh-huh. si yangu hiyo uh-huh. iko na wenyewe sasa nimeona ukweli kabisa uh-huh. <laughs> So, yes. mi nilitembeanga na Yesu mi nikaenda kabisa. Uh-huh. Nikakaa nikasema we, mi sioni kama nitaenda. Uh-huh. Producer anashinda anapiga simu, anapiga simu, si ukuje. Uh-huh. Sijui si ufanye ninamwambia nitakuja tu. Yes. Lakini ndani nasema he wewe hautaniona tena. Uh-huh. Ni kwa nisema, roho sasa. Eh, kwa roho sasa nasema utaniona tena. <laughs> Lakini akinipigia simu na muambia nitakuja. Uh-huh. Nitakuja wewe usijali natafuta pesa. Uh-huh. Sasa alikuwa anashinda simu kila saa, akaanza uh-huh. kuniambia tuma hata kidogo kidogo mm-hmm. ukipata kama 1000 tuma uh-huh. ukipata kama 2000 tuma yes. si eti lazima utanini yote pole 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 mm-hmm. na yeye pia alikuwa mzuri mm-hmm. sababu alitaka nikaifanye uh-huh. so wakati aliniambia hivyo 
nikaanza sasa kadogo kadogo nikipata kaangiri na tupo huko nikipata mbili na tupo huko nikipata 500 na tupo huko eh sasa hapo nikaenda sasa tuanze kazi Aha. kazi nyingine tena ikakuwa ngumu mimi nilikuwa naimba si unajua tu huko kanisani ne. kawaida vi kawaida kawaida tu hamna hamna atile unaambiwa hapana hapo enda hivi hivyo sasa sasa nimeenda hapo nyenye ananiambia nifanye kwa ngumu nikasema he Eh. Nitafute hiyo pesa yote na hiyo nguvu yote nilipe tena kuimba ikuwe ngumu. Eh. <laughs> Mimi naona sitaki paka producer anacheka anasema sasa si ni kazi yako ni ya nani? Eh. Saa zingine na kazirika naona ni kama eh. mi venye naenda ni kama sitarudi tena. Eh. Mimi naenda nikienda kwa zinaona sasa kila kitu imekuwa ngumu. <laughs> imekuwa ngumu sababu si sijazo hivyo venye unaniambia mimi. Yes. So nikawa naona ni kama eh. ananisumbua na ananichokesha. Eh. 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 Lakini nikaenda tu kuomba Mungu nikaendelea kuomba Mungu nikasema Mungu wewe eh. mimi sijui kitu yenye uliona kwangu ndio yes. ukanipatia. Ulio ulichokianzisha kikamilishe. Yes. Eh so ulizokianzisha tu uh-huh. kikamilishe tu uh-huh. nipe tu nilikonsistent nilikuwa naona hata tutagombana na producer ananisumbulia nini <laughs> fanya hivi fanya hivi mimi sijazoea mimi nimezoea Eh, na inaenda. Eh, so eh. nikaona ikiwa safari ngumu kabisa. Aha. So tuseme nikinuku pale safari yako imekuwa ngumu kwa sababu ulikuwa hujazoea hii safari ya uimbaji ya kuingia kufanya rekodi. Eh, sikuwa nimezoea. So utu, ah okay. Haya sasa hebu tuambie sasa na uzuri ambao ule umepatana nao kwa hii safari pia. Hapo umetuambia kidogo mahali uliona ugumu iko. Yeah. Sasa tuambie nao uzuri mba, ambao umeona kwa hii safari tangu uanze pia. Eh, uzuri tuseme uzuri tu wenye nimeona Dio. kwa hii safari uh-huh. wenye nimesema kutoka kitambo uh-huh. mi upenda kuimba uh-huh. na inanifurahishanga tuseme wakati wenye tuseme nimeenda mahali uh-huh. nimeimba uh-huh. na nimepata tuseme imeguza mtu uh-huh. unapata pale nje kuna mtu kwa mali anasema na kulingana kwa wimbo wako venye nimeusikia uh-huh. umeniguza uh-huh. na nasikia nimebarikiwa uh-huh. so mi ufurahi sana uh-huh. na huwa inanifanya niendelee zaidi uh-huh. hata wakati uh-huh. nasikia kurudi nyuma uh-huh. naona tu mtu amenitumia message uh-huh. ah, aki nimesikia wimbo wako fulani mahali fulani uh-huh. eh na nimesikia aki umeniguza kabisa endelea tu hivyo uh-huh. so napata na kuwa encouraged yes. na naendelea kabisa hata kama nilikuwa nirudi nyuma hivi uh-huh. narudisha mguu unapiga step mbele uh-huh. asante sana nikumaanisha kwamba wakati mwingine wakati unaona kwamba safari imekuwa ngumu ukipata kwamba kuna ndugu mahali ama dada mahali ama mpendwa mahali anakutia moyo ni vyema sana ndio sababu tunasema mara nyingi ni vyema kukuwa na wapendwa karibu na wewe wanaoweza kukutia moyo kwa sababu kuna wale unaweza kuwa karibu nao na wakuvunje moyo kabisa ya kwamba ah hiyo si yako hiyo si unaona Samuel Dada anasema pale kwamba alikuwa anaingia studio anaona ah hisi hisi wezi mpaka anafika kwa kiwango kingine unajua ana jam ana yani anafimba kabisa pale kwa sababu anaona ah hisi yangu lakini tena anapofikiria kurudi nyuma anapata encouragement pale marafiki saa zingine umata in your life eh? ukiwa na marafiki wazuri watafanya muende kiwango kikubwa pamoja lakini ukiwa na wale marafiki wa waoni vision Eh rafiki ambaye haoni vision atakwambia hiyo si yako bwana turudi tuuze boga hiyo si yako twende tulime hiyo si yako tuingie mjengo ehe ala labda by the way niwaambie mimi nilijaribu kufanya kazi ya kuchuna majani chai pale lakini nilikuwa naumia vidole na umia vidai naambia wapendwa bwana hii si kazi yangu mwingine aniambia my friend unajua acha niwaibie siri wakati tunafanya kuchuna majani chai pale kuna hii kukunywa uji na inakunywa alafu wanalete wanalete unakunywa na gorogoro unajua gorogoro ile ya plastic ama kile kijag eh sasa uh, ule rafiki yangu alikuwa aniambia ushazo eh hey, uji ya majani chai my friend hapa utoki lakini mimi nilikuwa naambia mimi si wa hapa mimi najua mwito wangu ni gani eh na hapa sitaka na kuambia kati nitoka hapo hapo amini sasa unaona huyu ndugu kama angekuwa na mtu wa ku encourage angerudi labda kwa mwito wenye si ya si yake basa sasa zingine tunasema vizuri uwe na marafiki wanaofanya nini wanao ku encourage basi uh, tunapomalizia malizia pale na wewe uh, tekla ni tekila ama tekla ya yeah, tekla tekla yeah. uh, kidogo nataka nikuulize ya kwamba je ni nini hasa wewe unaona kwamba kwa au uh, waimbaji wanao anza vizuri kwa nyimbo za mziki wa injili wanaanza vizuri wanaanza vizuri wanaimba nyimbo zinatubariki mioyo kwa mfano nichukulie mfano na wewe nyimbo zako zinabariki sana si ndio mm. alafu uendeende usonge sengo ifike mahali ubadilishe utoke kwa hizo nyimbo za injili uingie uingie kwa nyimbo za secular mm. je ni nini hasa wa inapea waimbaji wana, wana switch wanatoka kwa gospel wanaenda kwa secular maana imekuwa changamoto sana tuwezi hesabu lakini hata ukiangalia kwa Kenya eh? 
wale tulikuwa tunajua walifika mahali wakapotea ni nini ya sasa za kuwa ni changamoto mm, okay eh, siwezi jua cause unajua kila mtu kuna venye kila mtu wako we kuna venye uko uh-huh. mimi kuna venye niko uh-huh. na kuna venye kila mtu aliitwa uh-huh. mimi sijui we unaimba uliitwa ama uliona tu watu wanafanya hii kitu wacha nikaifanye uh-huh. alafu alafu kitu ingine tena uh-huh. e, kufanya gospel uh-huh. gospel uh-huh. sasa kile sisi ni vitu viwili tofauti yes. mi uona kitu moja ni uh-huh. unajua kufanya gospel uh-huh. kuna kuangana kuna vitu zenye lazima uzingatie aha uh-huh. hauwezi ifanya ifanya tu venye wewe unataka na venye unapenda uh-huh. mpaka uombe mwelekeo mungu naomba unipe mwelekeo venye nitafanya hii kitu uh-huh. na saa zingine venye mungu anakuongoza yes. na wewe hutaki kwenda njia yenye mungu anakuongoza uh-huh. lakini unapata sakula you can do anything uh-huh. unaweza fanya kitu yoyote ile <laughs> bila kuambiwa acha hiyo acha hiyo Uh-huh. Uko free. Uh-huh. Lakini huko kwingine hatuko free. Uh-huh. Hata kuna kitu unaweza kuwa unataka kufanya but ukiangalia unasema we hiyo yeah, hata eh, hiyo ni mbaya hata ifai huko aliona huko mtu akiniona huko Ka- atashindwa na huyu teki kweli huyu ni mwimbaji wa nyimbo za injili so, kweli. Kwa kuanisha ni kwamba wale wanaowaacha uh, muziki za injili wakiingia yeah. kwa za kidunia wanapushiwa na environment environment number one number yeah. two eh, awa, awa, yani kule hakuna vikwazo. Kule hakuna vikwazo kwa hey. kwa injili kuna vikwazo kwa hey. hey. kwamba huko duniani hakuna vikwazo labda hakuna vikwazo kwa sababu ukiona tu unaonanga mtu anafanya kitu yenye mimi siwezi nikafanya <laughs> Unaona mimi siwezi nikafanya. Je, au uwezi ona kwa kwamba hata yule mwenye yako kule kwa ile dunia nyingine, ye pia anaona vile ona, ona ah huku 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 duniani kuna vikwazo sana. Afadhali niende kwa injili hakuna vikwazo kwa sababu unapata mara nyingine wakati wa Kristo uh, mtu amwombea wokovu anaambiwa kuja kwa Yesu kuna raha, kwa Yesu kuna amani, kwa Yesu hakuna kilio. Ehe. Ala sasa sasa hizo hapo natuambia hivi. Tuseme Ehe. wakati wenye yeye hako huko, Idio. labda wakati anakuja huku kwingine mm-hmm. kuna vitu zingine labda ukisoma kama kama kwa Biblia yenyewe unakaa unajirudia unasema yes. hey, yenyewe hii kitu nimekuwa nikifanya uh-huh. but naona nikikosea Mungu uh-huh. na nataka kurekebika nataka kurekebisha uh-huh. so inabidi huyo mtu aachane na so si wachache yes si si yani si wengi uh-huh. ni wachache kabisa uh-huh. mwenye ataamua hivyo uh-huh. si unaona ni wengi wanaingia kwa dunia lakini kwa dunia ni wachache wenye wanakuja huko yes. eh, sababu ni ile unakaa kabisa unajirudia kabisa uh-huh. yenyewe unaona hii kitu sifanyi vizuri hii kitu haiko sawa Mungu naomba nikaondoka huku nikakuja huku kwako niondolee yes asante sana basi ah, ningependa ah, jambo la mwisho ya kwamba tukiachana sasa ningependa utuambie kwamba wewe unapatikana wapi mtu akihitaji kukupata anakupata wapi lakini kabla twende pale ningependa kujua uko na kofia ngapi katika huduma wewe una kofia ngapi una mito mingapi wacha nitumie hivyo una mito mingapi katika huduma okay Nehe. mimi ni mwimbaji mm-hmm. na pia mimi ni intercessor wewe ni mwimbaji na wewe ni intercessor Ehe. do you know that uh, intercessor is a big gift kushinda mm. zote mm. do you know that yeah. sasa wewe ni mbarikiwa Kabisa. kwa sababu <laughs> bila wewe mwimbaji hawezi smile bila wewe kanisa halitasimama. Bila wewe mwimbaji kama kuna mwimbaji anakutegemea hapo ndio unapata wanaanguka. Yeah. Kwa hivyo wewe ni wa maana sana eh, kipawa chako hicho na Mungu akazidishe zaidi. Hata mpaka inji yote. Yote mpaka eh, inji eh, bila intercessor. Eh, eh, Shida. Kabisa. Si ndio? Eh. Kipawa cha maana hicho basi. <laughs> ah basi nataka utuambie kwamba mtu akihitaji kukupata wenda kwa mitandao ama akihitaji kualika kwa mikutano unapatikana wapi? Eh, mtu wa Daka napatikana pale YouTube mm-hmm. napatikana kama Tekla Sore mm-hmm. eh, Facebook mm-hmm. napatikana kama Tekla Sore mm-hmm. Twitter mm-hmm. napatikana kama Tekla Sore mm-hmm. Instagram mm-hmm. napatikana kama Tekla Mma eh? Tekla Mma oh, Instagram peke yake ya Jamani majina zao dada leo ngumu <laughs> <laughs> ametoka kwa Sore na ameenda kwa Mma Mma ya Hapo lazima wa Chinese na <laughs> mshucha <laughs> Mma <laughs> <laughs> Basi asante sana Tekla Sore yeah. uh, kwa kututembelea katika uh, stationi zetu uh, za Nisi TV hapa kwenye Destiny Show wewe ni wa maana sana na tunabarikiwa sana tunapoona kwamba unaitikia mwito wa kuja kuwa wa baraka kwetu. Asante sana Mungu akakubariki na unapoenda ukumbuke kwamba Destiny Show we value you, uh, we love you and we know that what you are doing is the right thing. Yeah. Na umeke hapa kuwa nyumbani kwako. 
Asante nimeshukuru hata nami nimeshukuru pia kwa kuniita Ndiyo. si kawaida Ndiyo. si kawaida so hata mimi nimeshukuru kabisa Asante sana eh. basi salimia wawili watatu tunapomaliza pale eh, ya kwanza na salimia familia yangu mtoto wangu na baba yao Bena Danubi Angu Bretori na Bradley ndio nimeachia niko na kajina kadogo eh. so nimeachia Bradley na nasalimia mafans wangu wote Wote fans wangu wote na wasalimia kozi yao ndio wanafanya niendelee wakati na kwama wananisukuma wananiambia wewe bu twende wacha kurudi huku nyuma so na wasalimia wote na wapenda na wazazi wangu wakiwa pale Chemnego Peter and Rosemary sore mpate salamu <laughs> Chemnego chamige <laughs> mpokee salamu kutoka hapa mama posh e. na kushukuru sana sababu umekuwa mwema kwangu na niambianga take in don't limit god never eh. limit god never eh. limit god usi wai limit mungu wewe mm -hmm. wakati wenye naonanga ni kama nashindwa ananiambia wewe usi limit mungu wewe buendelea eh eh so nashukuru kabisa naona so, pale tekila so eh, sorry amekuwa muluya na salimia na ni wanani na salimia na ni wanani lakini wote ni kwa upendo wa Mwenyezi Mungu basi anapotuaga aga basi wacha producer wetu atupe wimbo wake moja anapotuaga aga alafu na mimi nikirejea nitarejea tena na mgeni wa pili wa kipekee alafu naye pia atakuwa tunasikia kutoka kwake basi mtazamaji usikae mbali wacha tupate wimbo wa tekila sorry anapotuambia tubarikiwe basi kama unajua kwamba kuna mpenzi wa Disney show na ajaingia ndani 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 mwambie ya vipi mwambie kwamba anachelewa anakawea na zawadi itenda kwa mwingine basi akichelewa na nikiangalia pale mtandaoni naona hamna mtu yote ambaye amejaribu hata kujibu swali la siku ya leo na basi ni kumaanisha kwamba namna gani mimi nitakuwa na chukua zawadi yangu ninaenda nayo nyumbani lakini kama nataka nisie na zawadi ingia pale mtandaoni si ndio ingia pale mtandaoni tuambie ya kwamba ili swali linatoka kwenye kitabu kipi alafu kana na kwamba linatoka kwenye kitabu kipi hebu tuambie tupangie pale ya kwamba aya matunda ehe matunda ya roho mtakatifu basi ni kama yapi alafu tutakuwa tuambia pale basi nakuwa vizuri basi na mimi nataka kuambia kwamba mgeni wa pili uh, wa siku ya leo Aa, nataka ni mukaribishe ndani ya Destiny Show na yeye atakuwa anatuambia lakini watu wanajiuliza mgeni wa pili mgeni wa pili leo anakuja kwa njia ya rununu eti kwa njia nini ya rununu manake mgeni aliyofanikiwa kutoka Kenya basi akaenda kufanya kazi mbali pale alafu atakuwa anatuambia bia anafanya kazi wapi na yeye mwenyewe atakuwa anajitambulisha alafu anatuambia anaitwa nani basi natumai kwamba mgeni wetu ayuko uh, online sasa hivi basi watazamaji mimi nitakuwa nafanya ima ili kwamba kumkaribisha mgeni wa siku ya leo akwe anatuelezeelezea yuko wapi na anatupata uh, kwa njia ya namna gani basi mgeni kama uko ndani unaweza salimia was, uh, watazamaji niko 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 habari zenu aha wanakusikiliza kabisa kabisa basi utaanza na kujitambulisha na alafu utakuwa unatuambia mbia ya kwamba wewe mwenyewe uko upande gani ama uko uh, sehemu gani ya hii dunia <laughs> ya yeah, kujina da kwenda video nimefanya uh, gospel kadha yeah. uh, sasa napiga niko nje kidogo niko nje kidogo sasa umefanya gospel kadha na sasa hivi tunavyosungumza hauko uh, ndani ya nchi bali huko nje ya nchi ndio uh, niko nje ya nchi niko marekani kidogo lakini narudi ku shoot video zingine kadhaa uko marekani na dak uh, dakman davido uh, kidogo uh, nimekuwa nikikufuatilia kidogo ni kama kidogo ulikuwa bado hujamtambua Yesu hebu sasa nataka uambie watazamaji ulishamtambua Yesu ama namna gani eh kabisa unajua kila kitu tuna, uh, tuna, tunaenda uh, kila kitu tunaenda through ni kwa sababu ya ya Mungu una unaona ukiona mashida mimi nilikuwa na mashida mingi sana aha nikikuja huku Marekani sasa hizo um, shida zote ni kupitia tu na, na ni Mungu kusaidia hata kufika mahali nafika unajua unajua watu wanafikiri ukitoka nje uh, Kenya maisha ni poa hapana kuna watu wanasumbuka kama eh sasa bado unaid Mungu aha Mungu ndo anasaidia yes Sa ebu ebu kidogo ebu kidogo Dakman Davido ebu tuambie kwanza 
uh, ni lini ambao amba uliweza ama ambapo uliweza kusafiri kutoka nchi ya Kenya na sasa hivi uko Marekani ni lini na umemaliza muda gani huko Ah uh, muda mrefu sana uh, my, uh... Uh, zaidi ya miaka 20 sasa nilitoka <laughs> kidogo lakini hivi <laughs> ulizaliwa huko ama vipi hapa nimeishi kwa nyumba ya matope unaona kama hiyo wimbo vile nasema nitoka kwa nyumba ya matope uh, utaweza ina so, mimi nimeishi kwa nyumba ya matope tulikuwa tuna very poor eh nimetoka Kenya side za karibu na kibera um, eh, lakini sasa mimi nataka watu wajue kama mimi nimefika mtu wote anaweza fika unajua kuna ya Mungu ni Mungu ni mengi unajua lazima uamini uh, Mungu anasaidia kabisa uh, uh, ya kwamba watu wanafaa kuamini ya kwamba hakuna lisilowezekana kabisa kabisa unajua usiwache mtu akwambie uh, umetoka chini uwezi fika hapa uwezi fika pale uh, wewe mwachie Mungu alafu fanye kazi unajua una, unatia bidii alafu unamuomba Mungu sasa eh, yu, Mungu yupo <laughs> sasa Davido uh, kidogo ningependa utuelezea kwamba wewe ulianza safari ya muziki wa nyimbo za injili wakati gani na tangu waanze ni muda mgani hasa umemaliza ukimba nyimbo za injili na naona pale umemshirikisha mwenzako alafu utakuwa pia unatuambiambia vipi vipi imekwaje Ah, si kwanza kitambo sana nilianza 20 2017 nilikuwa na interest ya muziki lakini sikujua uh, kupile inaenda ama kufanyaje sasa nikangojea sasa vile covid ilikuja watu kaka nyumbani kutoka kwa kazi mm -hmm. uh, sasa nikaanza kufanya nikaanua hizo vitu kidogo za muziki hivi nikaanza kufanya kama home studio hivyo um, hey, alafu sasa vile nenda si kwanza na gospel nilikuwa na other tribe kawaida kawaida lakini unajua una unasikia Mungu akiita na una yeah mm -hmm. umefika hapa kwa sababu ya Mungu sasa na nimshukuru Mungu pia wow. sasa niko open na gospel nikafanya nikafanya wimbo na Starboy Major nikafanya wimbo mbili na mpenda Bwana na Sure Bet tukafanya remix uh -huh. alafu sasa um, Starboy Major alikuwa anamjua Mr. Vince so Mr. Vince akaniambia kama tunaweza fanya muziki nikasema uh -huh. mimi niko open tukafanya hii anaweza tuko na hata nyingine poa kali kabisa lakini bado haijatokea itatokea hivi karibuni inaitwa kwa Yesu ni kutamu Eh kabisa kabisa niliona pale kuna wengine hapo ni link nayo ambao uh, imetoka bado iko katika audio pale lyric ambapo unapanga kuifanyia video very soon eh Eh tutafanya hiyo video uh, nafikiri na kuja mei na kuja mei tutafanya video mingi kabisa. Sasa unapofika mei tunajua kwamba lazima watu wamekusikiliza kwa sauti lakini wangetamani kukuona wewe mwenyewe. Eh <laughs> utaniona <laughs> hata nakuja kwa hiyo show na na perform mkini mkini alao ku perform <laughs> na kuja na nafanya uh, Mungu akipenda eh sasa mimi niko open mimi niko Eh hata kwa hata kwa mziki, kama kuna wa, watu wa gospel wanataka kufanya mziki tufanye mimi sina ubaya um, niko open eh All right sawa so, asante sana basi a uh, Darkman Davido tunapoendelea kuka pale pale wacha tusikilize a uh, wimbo wako pale ambao ni huu moja Yesu anaweza kwa sababu ule mwingine bado uko kwenye lyrics na najua kwamba jambo moja najua kwamba wakati Mungu amekusudia kukutumia haijalishi ulikuwa unafanya nini kitambo haijalishi ulikuwa unajulikana vipi kitambo ama mambo yale ulikuwa natenda lakini anapoamua kukutumikia anakuchukua mahali ulikuwa pale anakulete kwa kiwango kingine na ndo naamini kwamba nawe pia uliposikia mwito uka mwa kwamba hapa kwa Yesu ndio kuna raha. Kabisa kabisa uh, kwa sababu unajua mtu anapitia shida leo lakini shida ya leo sio shida ya kesho. Uh, Ukimuomba Mungu Mungu anatoa mtu mbali. So tumwamini na na Mungu anaweza kabisa. Asante. Hebu niambie ni changamoto gani ambazo umeweza kukumbana nazo tangu uanze uh, muziki? changamoto mbili tatu ambazo umeona kidogo ah zimekuwa kama tishio ila kidogo najua nyinyi wale watu mmefanikiwa kidogo mkenda marekani pesa hizi zetu za Kenya mnaziona kama kidogo lakini yote ni ya Mungu haya ah mimi si hivyo kila mtu ndio msiki na yeye nasaidia watu Kenya tuna tuna kuna vitu aha tugrupa moja so mimi sina 
Eh uh, si sina hiyo kiburi ama nini? Ni ni kusaidiana tu na na, na bado niko hambo. Wewe wow, <laughs> nikusa hapa wow. limetoka unajua? Unajua kuna wasanii yeah. wa itakuja kwa hiyo ndio itakuja kwa hiyo ndio ule wanaanza kuimba nyimbo za injili unapata pale kidogo uh, mtu mwingine akasema pesa kidogo kiburi maringo ikainuka sasa unapata badala wa focus eh wakishapata pesa kidogo basi wanaanza kusahau ya kwamba ni Mungu amewatendea haya Mungu amewatoa hapa wanaanza kuswitch je unaweza wapea mawaida ayapi ya kwamba wanapoanza music wa injili wa focus washike na wasemane Eh lazima kwa sababu unaona hata ukiona pesa leo inaweza enda kesho na unajua kila kitu unacho duniani hata uh -huh. hata ukiona pesa lazima kama una pesa uh, utaacha yote duniani au uende na uh, utaenda nayo duniani so um, uende na mbinguni utaacha hapa hapa duniani so ni vizuri kukuwa na kitu uh, kama Mungu atakusaidia unajua sasa ukiona na, na Mungu hai, haiendi mali hata uh, ukikufa bado bado Mungu yupo so um, naona ni vizuri hivyo hiyo mambo ya kiburi ama nini uh, ama kwa na pesa pesa inaweza ndio atakesho si unajua sasa hiyo ni vizuri kwa pesa itakuacha Mungu atakuacha <laughs> <laughs> mawaida mazuri hapo ya kwamba pesa inaisha lakini Mwenyezi Mungu yupo alikuepo yuko na baada atakuepo kabisa kabisa ya kwamba tunapofanya jambo lolote na tumtangulize Mwenyezi Mungu tunajua kwamba tuna uwezo na hata sisi uh, vile umeweza kuingaingia ndani ya Destiny Show unajua kuna wengi wako mbali wanasema ah jamani muko mbali natamani sana kuja pale ni kwamba nikapeane testimony yangu ya vile nimeanza safari ya mziki vile niko lakini mupo mbali je mimi nafanya na mgani hebu waambie wewe uko wapi na uko ndani ya Destiny Show kwanza live kabisa <laughs> <laughs> kabisa kabisa asante kuni um, hata kuni kuni shughulikia hapa na na ini mwanzo mwanzo tu na naona tatoa muziki mwingine tutakuja um, nataka nikuje hata ni perform huko ikiwezekana um, na tukwendelea mbele tu Asante sana. So tutarajie nini kutoka kwako manake umetuambia kwamba kuna mziki tayari mshatoa iko kwa audio lyric eh? Alafu uh, in the next uh, maybe come may mnakuja kutolea video. Lakini wewe personal tutarajie nini kikubwa kutoka kwako cha gospel cha kutia watu moyo. Ah ita, ita kwa mziki kama mbili tatu hivi uh, by by me by the time ni kuje so hizo zitatoka pengine the next uh, two weeks watu hiyo kwa yesu ni kutamu inatoka na Mr Vince bado ah. alafu tuna shoot video hiyo na mpenda bwana uh, na mpenda bwana watu wanapenda sana hiyo wimbo um, ni mimi na, na star boy major hiyo imependwa kabisa kabisa so hiyo so, video tunafanya pia Um, so muta expect kupata hiyo uh, kwa Yesu ni kutamu video na mpenda bwana alafu kama wimbo zingine mbili Wow, asante sana. Basi uh, swali langu la mwisho hapo uh, kabla tumalizane na wewe kidogo uh, kwa sababu naona eh, ngo, ngoma pale umetoa ngoma kama mbili za gospel ama ni ngoma ngapi ya saa zimetoka saa hii uh, pale? Ah, sasa zile zimetoka ni tatu. Kuna hiyo Sure Bet Remix ilikuwa ya kwanza. Um, alafu na Mpenda Bwana. Hizo zote ziko na Star uh, Star Boy Major, featuring Star Boy Major. Alafu sasa hii ndio tumefanya anaweza. Ah, uh, ya tatu. Lakini tulikuwa tu shoot video ya na Mpenda Bwana uh, na hiyo ingine ya uh, Sure Bet. Uh, lakini wakati nilitoka kighafla wakati uliisha. Sikuweza kupata extension ya ya kukaa Kenya. Wow wonderful. Hebu tuambie ni nini hasa kilikuingia ndani ya mawazo ukaona kwamba vile umeanza safari ya mziki ufue na home studio kwa sababu mara nyingi nimekuwa nikiwa hapa na wasani wengi nikiwauliza maswali na wauliza uh, je changamoto ni gani ananiambia kuingia studio kufanya recording mara pesa mara producer je we ni nini likufanya kwamba uka overcome ukasema ununue vyombo uwe na home studio ukafikiria hivyo Ah nafanya kazi sana. Sasa natoka natoka naamka kama saa kumi asubuhi natoka kwa nyumba naenda kazi moja mpaka kama saa nne hivi asubuhi natoka na nyingine mpaka jioni. So by the time niko nyumbani ni, nimechelewa. So uh, na napenda kutumia producer wa Kenya hata kama niko hapa muziki yangu yote inatengenezwa wa Kenya. So natumia producer wa Kenya uh, eh tumetumia tume Mr. Philip Records uh, kufanya hizo muziki zingine hapo. Um, 
Eh so watu wote wanatumia ni Kenya na wanajaribu kujenga Kenya na kurudisha. Eh kurudisha uh, your blessing kule tumetoka. Si unajua mtu huwezi kusawa nyumbani. So unamaanisha kwamba home studio yako uko nao kule Marekani kule huko. Eh sasa kama beats yatengenezewa Kenya, ah. alafu mimi niko na home studio na niko na home studio na record, niko na hizo equipment uh, like unajua pia lazima ulaani na usome hii ujue kufanya hizo which na hiyo time si na so mimi najua ku record vocal kama voice na naweka niko na home studio uh, sasa wananitumia beats na weka vocals pengine uh, na weka vocals kwa nyumba lakini pengine kuna producer fulani mahali hapa ana kazi na amesikia ah ndugu na home studio na labda angependa kuja huko huko bara hiyo hiyo hakusaidie unasema namna gani <laughs> kwa watazamaji hawa kwa watazamaji <laughs> Nawaambia eh ziko pe anaweza kuja na Facebook nitafute na tumetu message tafanya mimi sijai kataza mtu yote kazi Asante sasa basi uh, tunapomaliza malizana na wewe ningependa uambie watazamaji ya kwamba wakihitaji kupata music zako wanakupata vipi na wanapata wapi yeah, yeah, sasa niko Uh, niko YouTube Dakman Davido uh, YouTube uh, sija sija hiyo Instagram ama hizo zingine lakini niko niko YouTube na mziki yangu pia iko iTunes na hizo mitandao zingine zote za za, 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 za mziki kama Spotify iTunes uh, utanipata utanipata wow um, Asante sana. Basi huyo uh, ni Darkman Davido akiwa nje ya nchi ama pale ngambo basi wa wengine wanasema Marekani eh. Uh, Anatuambia mziki wake ama safari yake ya mziki wa injili alianza vipi na vipi ameweza ame kuovercome. Sasa hebu tuambie unapokuwa tunapomalizia unapokuwa pale kazini. Ni unawezaje kufanya hii mambo ya mziki na bado tena huko kazini? How do you manage it? <laughs> Weekends, weekends zote mimi niko niko nyumbani. Sasa niko na watoto wawili wa vijana. Eh, sasa kila weekend niko na watoto. Sasa wakikoje nyumbani kama wanacheza upstairs na, na PlayStation zao, mimi nafanya story yangu ya muziki. Unajua? Eh, sasa hata wengine wanasaidia wanakuja na kama hii ni poa, hii si poa, weka hii, weka hii. Unajua? So, <laughs> ni sawa tu. Na nafanya weekend ama usiku. Usiku. So Uh, unajaribu mpaka ufanikiwe ukifanikiwa uh, Mungu akisaidia uh, kuna mengi bado sasa naona ikifanikiwa ni ache kazi hivyo ama ni kujata Kenya ni, ni kuwafanya mziki tu unajua so unafanya vile Mungu anakusaidia alafu unaendelea maono mazuri sasa jambo la mwisho ni lipi ambalo unaweza encourage wale waimbaji wanaoanza gospel upcoming gospel artist unaweza waambia vipi Ah, us, don't give up. Hiyo ndio the biggest thing, eh? Usisikize yeah. watu sana. Wafuata roho yako, uh, tengeneza mziki, kila mtu ana shida. Najua kuna shida lakini kila mtu nayo. Sasa pole 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 unaendelea tu. Uh, utafika but us, us give up. Uh, don't give up on your dreams. Hiyo uh, ni hata si uduaimbaji na mtu yote wote anasikiza hivi. Kimaishani kitu yote unaendelea. Unaomba Mungu Uh, na bado unaendelea don't give up Asa, asante sana uh, Darkman Davido kwa kukuwa pamoja nasi katika show yetu uh, na umekuwa wa maana sana kuitikia mwito na kuweza kusungumza na sisi moja pamoja kutoka pale Marekani mpaka hapa kwenye Destiny Show ndani ya Nisi TV Asante sana basi ambia wawili watatu jambo alafu takuwa tunamaliza maza pale Ah, asante ni sana na hii mara ya kwanza wa, wala mwisho nataka tufanye zingine na zingine watanzoea watanzoea hapa kabisa <laughs> ah, bas, asante sana bas Dakman Davido na asante kwa kusungumza pamoja nasi hapa katika uh, Destiny Show Mungu akakubariki na akakuweke salama mpaka tena hiyo siku nyingine ambapo tutakuwa tunasungumza na wewe moja kwa moja Asante sana asante sana mbarikiwe na na mshinde vizuri sana asante asante sana god bless you Asante sana basi amekuwa ni msanii ama minister wa nyimbo za injili pale ambaye uh, aliwezewa kwenda ngambo umesikia kwamba wanasema amekuwa ngambo for the last uh, 20 years hiyo ni kumaanisha alienda akiwa mdogo basi ni 
kumaanisha kwamba kwa kila jambo nalo lifanya basi mtegemee Mwenyezi Mungu na utapomtegemea Mwenyezi Mungu na kumtumikia bila ya kuchoka bila ya ku give up ana uwezo wa kukuinua kutoka kiwango na kukupeleka kiwango kingine basi mimi nimekuwa wako MC Sande na unajua kama kawaida nina nikuhakikisha kwamba ule ambaye ameweza kujibu swali letu ala siku ya leo tunaweza kumzawadia na nikiangalia pale kabla niondoke ni watambue wale wawili watatu na mwana pale Merinduta anasema show iko juu watching from Kayole na mwana pale Irina Nyawira anasema vipi anasema tunde in kabisa ndani ya Destiny show asante sana Mungu akubariki na mwana pale Anita Lumumba anasema tunde na mwana Mary Size anasema ndani God bless you so much Anita Lumumba anasema vipi pale Galatians chapter 5 verse 22 to 23 inasema in the fruits of of the holy spirit are love joy peace kindness patience aha alafu generosity generosity faithfulness and gentleness and self control pale asante sana pale anita lumumba uh, anita lumumba umepata swali la siku ya leo unfortunately haujapata sheria lakini tutakuwa tunaongea ongea unajua wakati mwanauza swali kuna vile anasete na anasema fata haya ndio mashariti Haya ndio mashariti. Basi unaposhindwa kufata mashariti, unaweza nilaumu mimi MC Sade jamani lakini haujafuata mashariti. Lakini umepata jibu ila tu haujaliweka vyema vile tulikuwa tumesema ila wenu wa maana. Basi nami nikifanya wima ya kwamba nifunganye virago zangu, ni kweli naondoka ondoka ili kwamba nianzie wale niachie wale wanaoingia pia wakachukulie pale. Ni naacha na kusema nini? Ya kwamba kwa kila jambo ulifanyalo lazima uwe mvumilivu. Ya kwamba vipi? Kuna mambo mengine ama kuna hatua unaweza kuchukua ama uamuzi ambao unaweza kufanya katika maisha yako ya kwamba unataka kuenda kiwango cha juu. Unataka kufanya kwa mfano umesikia kama msanii ametoka saa hizi anasema anakusudia kuacha kazi pale akuje Kenya a settle in music ambapo anajipanga. Ya kwamba kwa kila jambo nalo unataka kufanya lazima uwe mvumilivu. Usipokuwa mvumilivu utapoteza focus na hata kile ulikuwa unataka kufanya uta, utakosa kukifanya hata unachokifanya sasa hivi ukitarajia kufanya kikubwa pia utapoteza uvumilivu ndio unalete basi kula matunda basi mtazamaji wangu na kuacha na ili ya kwamba vumilia mali ulipo chochote unachokipanga kitakuja kufanikiwa siku moja na basi utakuja pia kupigiwa saluti asante sana nimekuwa wenu MC Sunday B na ama ukipendo nita eh, Vincent Sande mwana wa value hashtag imboko basi hapa ndani ya Destiny Show nataka ni wa Kongole au bao tumefanya kazi na kuhakikisha kwamba Destiny Show inakuja kwako kwa live life. Ah uh, sio wengine bali ni ma producer wangu pale Agresi uh, Gracie akiwa pamoja na Liza wanafanya kazi nzuri pale. Na bila kusahau pia walio nyuma ya hizi kamera safi basi ni Kaleb uh, na ndugu yangu mwingine pale eh, he, Mungu anabariki sana basi mambo inakuwa sawa. Usikose kuungana nasi uh, kila siku uh, ya Jumatatu mpaka Ijumaa tunakuletea kipindi hiki cha Destiny. Basi ni ruhusu kwamba nikaombe alafu tuweze kukamilisha kamilisha. E Mwenyezi Mungu tunasema ni asante kwa sababu ya siku nyingine njema kama hii. Asante kwa kipindi chetu ambacho tumekuwa ndani uh, ya Destiny Show hapa kwenye Nisi TV. Baba asante kwa kutuwezesha, asante kwa kutushika mkono tulipoanza mpaka mali tumefika tamati. Tunaomba kwamba ukatubariki na ubariki watazamaji wetu kwa ujumla e, ya kwamba mfame siku hii, wiki hii iwe ya baraka na chochote wanachokitegemea na kutarajia kutoka kwako kikaweze kuonekana na wakapate. Na tutasema ni asante maana na stahili. Kikosi kizi macha Destiny Show bwana ukakibariki na hata Nisi TV ukaibariki bwana ukatuinue viwango hadi vi, viwango ili kwamba watu wakaweze kukombolewa kupita kwa kutokea kwa uh, uh, station hii na tutasema ni asante maana uwezo na mamlaka ni vyako pokea sifa na heshima maana unastahili na kwa jina takatifu la Yesu Mokozi nimeomba na kuamini amina asante sana basi Mungu wameuliza maswali na mimi niko hapa kuwajibu ya kwamba lini destiny show itakuwa ya kupana na ya kupendeza zaidi
Nikiwaletea wasanii mbalimbali ya wa nyimbo za injili chukukizi na waliobobea usikose kuungana nami ili kwamba tubarikiwe kwa pamoja Asante Simulio na yomse sande Kiburi 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 ama waingereza wakakita pride 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 kiburi ni nini what is pride all right nataka tuchukue muda mchache ama dakika chache tusungumzie kuhusu jambo kiburi mara nyingi watu wame misuse ama wamelitumia vibaya ili neno kiburi kwa njia moja ama nyingine kwa kweli neno kiburi linakuwa na effect zake katika maisha ya kila mmoja nenda kusungumzia kwa mjama, kwa mambo mawili ama kwa njia mbili ama maana mbili ya, ya kiburi maana ya kwanza ni effects za kiburi ama madhara ya kiburi uh, madhara ya kiburi ni kama haya kwa sababu ukisoma kwanza katika kitabu cha medhali uh, mstari wa 16 mlango wa 18 inasungumzia kuhusu kiburi ya kwamba pride comes before destruction kiburi uja kabla ya mwanguko na watu wengi wameokoka watu wengi wamekombolewa lakini hili neno hawalichukuli manane hili neno hawalichukuli kuwa linafanya kazi kiburi kinakupeleka mahali ambapo kutoka haitakuwa rahisi. Umepata kwamba mara nyingi watu wacha nitumie nianze kuongelea kuhusu waimbaji wa nyimbo za injili. Wasanii wa nyimbo za injili kwa muda mwingi unapata mwimbaji anaanza vyema zaidi kuimba. Anakuwa na upako, amepakwa na anaimba vyema mpaka nyimbo zinakubalika nyimbo zinafikia watu wote mpaka kila mali anaenda wanatamani akarudi tena aje kufanya nini kuimba mpaka anaona kwamba inafika kiwango hata haitishi kupewa mafuta ya gari ama bahasha ile wenyewe wanaita ya brown sasa inafika mahali ya kwamba huyo msanii akienda we, kama ni kungamano ama ni mchungaji ama ni mahali popote amealikwa wanajipanga wenyewe kwa sababu wamependezwa na kazi anayoifanya sasa jambo moja linatokea kwamba yule kama ni mwimbaji wa nyimbo za injili kiburi kinaanza kuinuka ndani yake anaona kana kwamba yeye ndio sasa mwema kuliko wengine yeye ndio hatari kuliko wengine yeye ndio superstar kumshinda hata Mwenyezi Mungu unapata kwamba sasa wamesahau ya kwamba shetani ndiye alikuwa mwanzilishi wa kiburi na unapofanya ku embrace kiburi inafika to the point ya kwamba utakuja kuanguka mwanguko akianza kujinua hivyo neema inaanza kuondoka sasa kama tulikuwa tunampenda tunaanza tena kuona kama huyu ana kiburi na mambo anayofanya sasa tena hayaleti Inafika mali anaanza kusema amechukiwa lakini ni yeye mwenyewe alianzisha kiburi alianzishaje kiburi wakati aliona kwamba he is, he is celebrated ama ameshe, ama anashangiliwa sana na kubarika alipoalikwa kwenda mahali kuhudumu wakati wengine wanasimama wanacheza kwa nyimbo za wengine wale wametoa wanawaita upcomings yeye amekaa chini anafurahia amechukua mguu ameweka juu ya nyingine amechukua mkono ameshika vizuri kwa sababu yeye ni celebrity so hawezi cheza kwa nyimbo za wadogo 
Kiburi ni nini? Unapata huyo mwimbaji eti wakati wa neno yeye hataki kusikia aku kwa gari pale nje. Neno likisha akuje asikia aambiwe ni wakati wako wa kuimba. Anaambiwa ndugu tubariki na wimbo moja. Yeye akienda pale kuimba anahakikisha anaimba nyimbo zake nne ama tano bila kusahau ya kwamba kuna wengine pia wanatarajia wamepanga laini wanataka kufanya nini wanataka kuimba baada yake hicho ni kiburi na unapata ndio inapea hata wasanii wengi wanapata kuwa walianza na kuimba gospel ama nyimbo za injili lakini imefika mahali wameenda kwa secular kwa nini kwa sababu wanaona kana kwamba wamechukiwa na wale wa Kristo ama uh, wale wa injili lakini ni wao wenyewe walioanzisha viburi ndio ikatokea kwamba wanaanza kutoalikwa kutodhaminiwa kutopewa nafasi ya kudumu kwa sababu wakichukua nafasi wanachukua mingi viburi wakitwa kuja atufike saa nne anakuja saa nane muda yenye atakuja minister na tena akimaliza ku minister anatoka anaenda nyinyi upcomings na wale wengine nyinyi wajinga kaeni hapo endeleeni kusikia mimi nimemaliza yangu anaenda kwingine kiburi Kiburi inaweza kunyang'anya neema. Kiburi inaweza kupea usikutane na watu wa maana na kama ulikutana na wao waondoke katika maisha yako. Kiburi epuka na kiburi. Nikimalizia nataka kuongea upande mwingine ambapo watu wametumia vibaya neno pride. Unapata kwamba kuna watu wameandika watu kazi. Na vile wanaoajiri kazi wanataka kuwa manipulate, yani kuwatumia vibaya wanataka kuwafinya hata inafika wakati wa kulipwa mshahara ataki kulipa yule ameandika mshahara alafu yule mtu akianza kumisbehave kwa sababu amekuwa treated badly anaanza kumisbehave mwajiri wake anaanza kusema ana kiburi ana kiburi alafu anaanza kumsomea maandiko imeandikwa katika biblia kwenye kitabu cha cha medali eti kibu, et kiburi uja kabla ya kuanguka Unatarajia aje haujalipa mtu amefanya kazi yake. Una mistreat, alafu unatarajia kwamba akusikilize kweli. Unatumia hiyo maandiko ama hayo maandiko vibaya. Ukitumia hayo maandiko vibaya hawezi fanya kazi kwa yule ambayo umeajiri, bali atafanya kazi kwa wewe mwe ambao umemwajiri. Wewe ndio utaanguka kwa niaba yake. Unapata kwamba kwa muda mwingi mtu labda tuseme acha nitumie mfano. Siku moja nilikuwa nimeenda mahali kucheza piano na nilikuwa nimeajiriwa pale kwa kucheza piano nikakuwa nalipwa shilingi 1500 tano peke yake kwa mwezi lakini nilipokuwa mimi nafanya savi zangu nafika kwa wakati kila kitu napanga vyombo nafanya kila kitu lakini napofika wakati wa kupewa changu ninaanza kupelekwa kombo kombo mpaka inakuwa ni kama vita kudai nini 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 sasa ikafika mali ni kama tuelewani Ika, ikaenda hivyo hivyo wakaona kama niko na kiburi lakini mwanzo nilikuwa nafanya kazi yangu hakuna siku nilikosea kufanya kazi yangu nilifanya kazi vizuri sasa kati ya mimi na huyo aliyekuwa ameniajiri nani mwenye makosa na ya bado anatumia kile kifungo pride comes before fall my friend ukimkosea mtu na unaongoja kwamba anguke wewe utaanguka kwa niaba yake kwa sababu wewe ndio umemchochea akakuwa na hicho kiburi kiburi kineza pea kama umepata neema ya kuajiriwa mahali na labda your qualifications hazikufit pale kiburi kikiinuka ndani yako neema itaondolewa na ikiondolewa kila mtu ataanza kukuona mbaya na atakapoanza kukuona mbaya hapo ndio unasikia fulani wa fulani alikuwa amekunywa tu kikombe cha chai ghafla kazimia kiburi ndio kimekuwa wala mbaya umeajiriwa na wao umekumaliza asante sana endelea kufuatilia channel yangu na kwa masimulio kama haya mimi wako MC Sande see you next time
What a wonderful day, what a wonderful Friday. Et tunaingia katika siku ya Friday kwa siku a, a kwa njia ya kiajabu pekee na njia ile ambayo tulikuwa tunaisubiria. Jamani what a beautiful and great Friday that God has given us opportunity once again to see this day. We must rejoice and be glad in it. Popote ulipo mara nyingine tena mtazamaji wangu wa Destiny Show ni mimi wako hapa MC Sunday na kukaribisha kabisa katika kipindi hiki chetu ukaingie ndani ndani ukajumuike pamoja na sisi na siku ya leo na kuhakikishia kwamba tumekuletea mambo ya kitofauti kabisa yani katika masifu na kuabudu kwa siku hii ya Ijumaa kwa hivyo popote ulipo ningependa ukajiunge pamoja nami moja kwa moja kama hujapata nafasi ambayo ni nzuri yako ya kucheza ama ya kumwabudu Bwana basi ni wakati wako ukapate na kujitafia nafasi nzuri Manake kwa muda usio pungua dakika chache tutakuwa tunalete wana masifu hapa na watakuwa natupeleka kwa kiwango kingine lakini zaidi ya vyote ama kabla ya jambo lolote lazima tumtangulize Mwenyezi Mungu kwa kila kitu naye akaweze kuenda pamoja nasi basi popote ulipo ninaweza kuomba ya kwamba ukafunge macho yako ama ukachukua hatua ya imani tunapoenda kufungua kwa neno la maombi na Mungu atatubariki Baba Mungu uliye binguni na kuabudu na kutukuza ninakupenda na kupa heshima mamlaka na utukufu maana vyote vimeogarimu mkono wako e mfalme. Tunasema ni asante kwa sababu ya siku nyingine kama hii ambayo imekupendeza ili kwamba tukakusanyike mali hapa, tukakutane mali hapa kwa kipindi hiki cha Destiny Show Bwana. Tukaliabudu na kulitukuza jina lako lenye mamlaka. Baba toomba uwepo wako ukenende pamoja nasi e ya kwamba tunapoanza tukaanze pamoja na wewe tamati ukatubariki bariki baba wageni wetu wa siku ya leo bariki kikosi kizima cha destiny show na nisi tv bwana na pia watazamaji wetu baba toomba baraka zako zikaandamane pamoja nawe nao bwana majeshi uh, kuanzia sasa hadi mwisho wa kipindi nasi tutasema ni asante twakaribisha wepo wako ukenende pamoja nasi katika jina safi la Yesu Kristo nimeomba na kuamini amina Natumai kwamba popote ulipo umesema amen na kusema amen inakuwa lugha ya kukiri ya kwamba basi na iwe hivyo basi na itakuwa hivyo kwako kwangu na kwa wote tunao shiriki pamoja kwa ajili ya siku kama hii ambayo ni Friday popote ulipo nataka tu uchukue hatua ya imani ya kwamba lolote ambalo mwanadamu amekuambia haliwezekani chochote ambacho daktari amekuambia kwamba akimefika mwisho sisi hatuwezi madaktari wamekuambia haiwezekani muganga umejaribu kuzunguka kwa mgango wa dunia hajakupa jibu 
Nataka ujipe imani siku ya leo ya kwamba kwake Mungu yanawezekana na hakuna linalomshinda Mungu. Mimi tangia nimekuwa hadi wakati kama huu. Sijawahi shudia chochote kinamshinda Mungu bali utenda. Unapoomba tena kwa imani, ukimtafuta tena kwa imani, anatenda. Basi jipe moyo imani, shikilia, ongeza imani yako na Mungu atakutendea zaidi ya unavyowaza. Keti hapo pamoja nami usibanduke manake ninakuletea mambo mazuri. So God bless you. Stay tuned. Ambia yule mwingine, ambia yule mwingine atakaye ambia mwingine kwamba Destiny Show tuko live sasa. God bless you. Simulio. Na yom se Sunday. Eh bwana we. Dunia ina mambo. Dunia ina vituko. Dunia ina vijituko. Hey. Wanadamu wamejipeleka kwa viwango hata zaidi ya Mwenyezi Mungu aliyewaumba. Kwa viwango ya kwamba wenyewe wanajichukulia kukana kwamba wana uwezo ambapo hawahitaji msaada. Wanadamu wakati Mungu kawainua kidogo wamemea pembe, wamemea mabawa. Hawashikiki, hawaonekani utamkuta kwamba mtu alikuwa amezoea labda kula kidheri pale madodo pale pale kwa kibanda lakini kwa sababu ameinuliwa kidogo akipita kwa yule mama wa kibanda hata salamu hamna sikia mama wa kibanda akamsalimia he bwana we jambo sikia sasa hivi wewe mwanadamu wafikiria wewe ni nani Usimdalau mwanadamu mwenzio ambaye Mungu kamtengeneza kamuumba yeye mwenyewe kampa hakili zake timamu kampa mikono kampa miguu ana nguvu ya kufanya jambo lolote na kutembea Manake leo hii wenda yeye akawa kwamba yupo chini lakini apo yanaye baraka apo yanaye mali apea naye uwezo hekima akili na maarifa ni mwenyezi mu. kwa hivyo unapomchukulia mwenzako ya kwamba hajiwezi na kumdharau na kumuonea chini hadi wengine wanafanya umbea haipo ambaye haikuwepo ni kumaanisha kwamba aliyekubariki wewe umemdharau manake aliyekubariki ndiye aliyemuumba yule unayemdharau Kumbuka kwamba hamna mahali popote na nuku tena ya kwamba pameandikwa kwenye Biblia kwamba yule mmoja atakuwa tajiri na yule mwingine ataishi kuwa masikini. Hamna ila apea naye anapeana kwa wakati. Na kama kwa zamu alipoku aliyekupa wewe atampa yule pia kwa zamu ama kwa mida na wakati utakapojiri. Kwa hivyo tujifunze kupendana wenyewe kwa wenyewe. Tujifunze kuheshimiana wenyewe kwa wenyewe. Mheshimu yule mwingine kama anacho ama hana. Unamzidi haumzidi. Mpende mchukulie kuwa mtu wa maana kama vile neno linasema. Penda neni wenyewe kwa wenyewe. Mkubwa akamheshimu mdogo, mdogo kamheshimu mkubwa. Na basi ndivyo maisha yatakavyokuwa. Kumbuka ya kwamba neema zina nyakati yake ama the english people they say that the grace has its own time na wakati una neema ama wakati neema yako bado ipo ya kufanya jambo fanya ukijua ya kwamba kipimo unachopimia mwingine ndio wakati neema yako itakapoisha kicho hicho kipimo ndicho utakachopimiwa mimi nimechoka kuona wanadamu wanaojibeba na kujinua kana kwamba wao ndio wanasaidia Mwenyezi Mungu kupeana pomzi. Na ha, sio wao. Kana kwamba wao ndio wanasaidia Mwenyezi Mungu kupeana nguvu na sio wao. Wanadamu tukipendana, tukiheshimiana, jinsi tulivyo, viwango kwa viwango, haijalishi kiwango cha jua macha chini. Umpende kumheshimu wenzako. Anajiweza hajiwezi unajiweza na labda yeye ajiwezi anajiweza wewe haujiwezi umpende vivyo hivyo mheshimu yani tulekebishane kwa upendo na tuzidi kukaa pamoja naye Mungu 
atatupenda zaidi na dunia itakuwa ya kumpendeza Mwenyezi Mungu. Mimi sina raziada ila tukusema tuheshimiane, tupendane, tusemezane, tusaidiane masengenyo, chuki, wivu, kazi ya muovu hiyo tutaenda mbali. Asante. Mwamini Yesu tu na Mwamini Yesu pekee kwa mambo yako yote na Mwamini Yesu na Mwamini Yesu pekee kwa mambo yako yote na Mwamini Siku moja nikajaribu marafiki zangu. Ah. Okay, ah uh, hasante sana. Thank you so much. Ah uh, once again, uh, ni MC Sunday hapa na leo nimetembea hapa Kahawa West, uh, hapa Kahawa West. Kunaitwaje hapa Kahawa West? Niko na madam mmoja hapa ambaye anafanya biashara biashara. Tunaweza biashara jua kali lakini hapa ndio kipato chake. So nataka tuambie hapa Kahawa West kunaitwa aje. Then from there atatuambia biashara inampeleka aje. Habari yako madam? Kwa sana. Hebu tuambie kwamba kwanza haya maeneo yanaitwa aje. Haya maeneo inaitwa Bima Road Kamae. Uh, Bima Road Kahawa West. Inaitwa Bima Road Kahawa West. Yes. Uh, na ninaona hapa madam tukiangalia angalia hapa unafanya biashara uh, ya kuuza chips. Sijui kama umechanganya na mambo mengine hivi hivi ama namna gani? Uh, uh, nauza chips, uh-huh. bajia, smoky. Uh-huh. Eh, tu. Unauza chips, bajia, smoky. Eh. Vile tunaelewa kwamba January watu wameheichukulia kwamba January kuna kuanga na ukame na watu wengi hata wakiwa na kapesa wanakachunga chunga kwa sababu ya watoto kurudi shule. Je, biashara inakupeleka aje na hii January? Wateja wako kama kawaida ama bado unaona wanaogopa ogopa kwa sababu ya January na shule? Eh, wateja bado hawako. Wanaogopa wanaogopa tu kiasi. Ebu tuambie kama kawaida kama kawaida biashara yako kama kawaida wewe unapata kipato ya aina gani ya hasla ama ya ule wale tunaita bazu watu wanajiweza <laughs> ya hasla ya hasla, <laughs> ya hasla. Yeah. lakini katika hii kipato ya hasla tuseme kwa siku kama umeuza vizuri unaweza pata kama ngapi wasiku labda elfu tatu. Elfu tatu. kama nimeuza vizuri sasa wewe si hasla wewe wewe we, at least unajiweza kidogo si ndio eh. sasa okay ni sawa nataka nijue kwamba challenges gani unakumbana nazo ama unapatana nazo kwa hii biashara yako je unaona hata pale ndani kuna kachai kwa hivyo nikitaka pia kachai na kunywa si ndio eh, pia chai iko eh. eh, na Lakin... kamera wetu unahakisha una unatuchukua vizuri wakati tunaongea eh Sijaskia swali lako. Nauliza eh, naona pia uko ndani kuna kachai uh-huh. na pia hapa nda hapa nje kuna chips. Uh-huh. Ningependa kujua kwamba uh, how do you mix this aikazi yote? Kuna mtu anakusaidia ama uko tu peke yako? Hapana kwa sasa hii niko peke yangu sababu bado kazi haiko yote. Haiko hakuna kazi sahi. Na wateja wakikuja wengi wamepangana hapa laini. Utamani jaja wakiwa wengi? Utamani. <laughs> Utamani. Utamani. We seem selfish. Uh-uh. Eh hiyo ni hard working. Eh ni hard working. Ah nice nice wonderful. So uh, kila mahali mpo nataka tu mama madama wakaribishe awambie mahali yako ukiweza kupita pita hapo upate kachai na chips hivi na umesema nini nyingine? na smoki na bajia na smoki na bajia kwa hivyo karibisha wateja waambie ukipitia pitia kaha west mali fulani hivi hivyo hivyo alafu wakaribisha sasa okay ningependa kuwakaribisha hapa kaha west bima road karibuni chai smoki bajia na chips ah vile chai ni special Chai ni special. Kwanza mimi nikimaliza hapa hii aka interview. Hiyo chai lazima nionje. Mm. Kwa hivyo asanteni sana ukipitia hapa hapa ka West Bima Road una, unaangalia tu madam hii sura utaiona. Ita Pitia niyana. hapa msupport kunywa kachai. Mm. Wacha tu support hasla, si ndio? Alafu mambo itakuwa vipi? Itakuwa sawa. So stay tuned and continue subscribing because we are bringing more contents. Tunataka tujue huku mtaani vile watu wanaendelea. So asante sana madam. Wacha data sisi tujipatie ka chips kamoja hapa si ndio hata mimi wacha nijaribu kuonja onja kazi yake kazi yake yeah. wonderful iko sawa nitashukuru nita nimemaliza hmm. eh, nashukuru <laughs> mm, mm, mm. kazi mzuri so asante sana wacha tukutane pale nikishashiba
So. Hello guys, how are you? My names are Sheldon Bryan and I like cooking. As you can see, I am in the kitchen. I want to prepare a supper, something good, something that you will eat, you will eat even you even you see ah, ah, ah your heaven. That thing will be good oh. Eh uh, but please there is something which I want you to do for me just one favor one favor please like share and subscribe like share and subscribe and comment 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 down there down there comment comment please uh before before let me prepare some things then we'll be back cooking with you uh we'll be back cooking with you hello guys my name is Agift Cynthia and I love writing as you can see here I was writing mathematics and please like share and subscribe in my youtube channel like share like share and subscribe in my youtube channel bye hello guys my name is Tumaini John Vint Apostol I love I love watching cartoon I love watching cartoon. Please share. Please share and subscribe. Thank you. Hi guys. My name is Gravin Baraka. As you can see, I was playing piano. Piano. I was playing piano, and and don't forget to to share and subscribe and comment to my YouTube channel. Uh, let me play for you something. Wanafanya mambo ambaya Continue, continue, I want to sing eh? One, two, three, let's go Wanafanya mambo ambaya Mwanadam kawezi kufanya Unatoa faraja ambaya Mwanadam kawezi kutoa Una fanya mambo ambayo Una damu hawezi kufanya Una toa faraja ambayo Una damu hawezi kutoa Amfanya nishwi na kitu kingine Come close. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. Guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, Sheldon, uh, Gravin, you can hold that for me. Now, guys, 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 guys. Wow, wow. Thank you so much for being my subscribers. Thank you so much for being my follower. Thank you so much for being my fan. Okay. Uh, one thing I can say that in this life, whatever you want your children to become is what they will become. If you want them to become uh, thieves, kindly teach them how to steal. If you want them to become pastors, teach them how to read the Bible, pray, and always take the word. If you want your children to become arm robbers, <laughs> give them the gun, okay? And if you want your children to become important people in this world, take them the way to go. If you want them to become content creators like you, okay, take them that way. Whatever you teach your children, is what they will become and now as you can see that is my family i'm teaching them to become content creators those that fears god okay so i just want you to do me one favor and this favor that i want you to do for me is this one all right 
one make sure you watch all of this content or you can also watch my content on this channel uh make sure that you like subscribe leave a comment down there down there tag someone tag someone okay then share this content wildly all right and i tell you that we are together all right we are together in this i just want to promise you that we are going to be bringing more and more and more and more and more and more content so stay tuned please do that Mommy, 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 mommy
Mommy, you're back. Mom. Mommy. 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 So you're back? Yes, mommy. Yes, mom. Oh, you're back, my children. Yeah. Hey, how was the school, my children? Hey, the school is fine. Fine, mom. What did you learn today? Mom, we learned, we learned a lot, lot of things. Mom, wait, I show you. In the school, they ask this question. One plus one. I, I got it all. Look yes. at me, look at me. Look at me. Hey, I don't mom. do your clever. Mom. And you told us when you were in school you are so clever. Yes. Yes, I was. I want to. Yes, I was. Mommy, you, I I want to ask to ask you one question. Go on. One plus one. Of course. Eleven. Oh, mom. What did you say? <laughs> For school you know, you are clever. One plus one is not eleven. Denied. It's two. I want to ask you another question. Go on. Two plus four is equals to sixty-six. Hey, mom, mom, not sixty-six. Seven. Two plus four is seven. You are telling me like that, and I am the one who always plays school fees in your school. Let me ask you a last question. There are five birds in the tree. A hunter came and shot two birds. How many birds remain? Five in a tree. Shoot two. Yes. Zero. Hey. hey, look. Not zero. There will remain three. I have a last question for you. Don't get angry. Huh? Here there are four women. One of them is wearing a ring, and the other one is wearing a gown. And the other ones are wearing a trouser. Which one is married? The one who is wearing shorts. <laughs> well, mommy, mommy you are wrong. wrong. Mom, you are wrong. The I one that is, the one that she has. Hey, like you stop it! Hey, mom, mommy, Jesus, Jesus, born in Israel. Hey, hey, mom. So, mom, mom you, 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 you. So, mom, you wasted your father's school fees. <laughs> hey, you <laughs> stop there! Shut up! You're telling me like that, and I'm the one who always pays school fees in a school. But mom, you are, mom, you are sorry. You are yeah, yeah, sorry. you're sorry. No, no, no I just want to see you are never in this. You can't see. You can't see. We are yes, seeing so mama. I am clever. Yes, I am very clever. Yes, yes. you are a winner. You are even the best student. And uh, now, mom, I have a question. Where are you going? Yeah, I want to live. live. To live where? I, I want to leave, and this is the instruction. I want to leave here, you with the baby. Mm -hmm. you, I'm leaving here tea. Mm -hmm. You will give the baby tea. And listen to me careful. Yes, Don't mom. take the tea of the baby. Mommy. Listen to me careful. Don't yes. take mommy. baby's tea. Yes, yes. Mommy, us in the school, we haven't eaten. That okay. means leave the tea. <laughs> Since yesterday, lunch time. In the morning, lunch time, uh, even at supper, we haven't eaten anything. Even uh, they are saying, I feel so hungry. And you will find mom, she will just bring for us here water to drink. No, even leave water, they will just bring for this cowboy here something to eat so sweet, and us, she will bring something bad for us. Yes, I don't know. This man. Yeah, mom, you, you. Ah. 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 Ah.
not fair. You are self going well. I wish even you you will not be my mother. You mother. What did you say? You are not <laughs> Cynthia, a student at Kamiti Primary School, a born again Christian, and I love Jesus Christ as my personal savior, and I love reading story books. And today's story is about dear mom and dad. So sit back, relax. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Dear mom and dad. How are you doing? I hope you are both fine since I saw you last month. I miss everyone, everyone very much. Were you able to fix the calf pen whose door was broken? I bet you are worried about me and how I am getting on in my new school. Initially, it was hard being away from home. Life in boarding school is very different. For instance, you have to wake up very early to prepare for the day. In addition, the bathing water is cold. It took me some time to get used to it, but now I don't, I don't find it that cold. I found it, I found it very tough during the first week. 
I felt as if no one cared about me with time. I made good friends. Their names are Natasha, Wamboy, Cynthia, and Kazu. They are very hardworking girls. Kazu is the is also talented in music. I am determined. I am determined. Determined to re, to realize my full potential potential both academically and in co-curricular activities. Our teachers are quite interesting, friendly, and very knowledge knowledgeable. They, the subjects we are doing are different from what we had in primary school. The new subjects include biology, chemistry, physics, social ethics, and business studies. I must confess that biology is my favorite subject so far, but I, I am also working hard in the rest of the subjects. In co-curricular activities, I have taken up hockey and netball. They are both very interesting. In fact, we have a friendly netball match with our rivals, Matura Secondary School, next week. In two weeks' time, we will have our visiting day. I can't wait to see all of you. I hope that you will come with Lulu and Mwamba. Don't forget to prepare my favorite food. I am looking forward to seeing you. Pass my regards to everyone. Your loving daughter, Gift Cynthia. Thank you, my viewers, for listening, for listening to my story. See you next time. Bye! Hello, hello guys, hello guys, how are you once again? Uh, this is MC Sunday Vino, you can call, you can call me a producer Sunday. And uh, today I am here for us to talk about another topic and that is on how to load beats in keyboard Yamaha PSRE473. PSRE473. You know, these things are whenever something new comes on the market, or rather when they upgrade it, uh, some things also changes on the on the, on the machine. Something like loading uh, builds, something like uh, setting the keyboard, and something like that. And you can find that many of people are struggling to know on how to load the beats on that keyboard. But don't worry, because we are here for you and we are always here for you, we will always be there for you. That's why today I've decided to take you through on how to do what? On how to load the beat on Yamaha PSRE473. So, uh, first of all, before we continue, or rather before we go far away, I want to ask you kindly, uh, press that bell and uh, subscribe to my channel. Make sure that you put it on uh, that bell for notifications. Eh? And also make sure you like uh, and also leave the comment down there and share this to many or to a lot of people so that they can know on how to deal with this machine. Actually, if you don't know how to set this machine, you can say that it's a not good keyboard. If you don't know how to load the beats on it and set maybe those uh, uh, things inside settings, you can say that this machine is not good. But I want to tell you, this machine can do wonders. It can do marvelous, you know? So, without taking a lot of your time, let us go direct to the machine and know how to load the beat in machine. So, come with me. All right. Now, this is the Yamaha uh, PSR, uh, Yamaha PSRE 473 machine. This is what we are talking about. And today we are going to know on how we can load the beats on in this keyboard. First of all, you must get uh, your beats in the flash. 
uh, th those bits that you must get in this flash, make sure that they are, the bits are who can ma uh, the bits that can match with the machine, so that it can give you humble time and good time for you to do what to load the bits. So immediately after getting the bits that uh, switch this machine, you put you insert here because when you go behind here, back here, you can see the uh, USB slot here. So when you see the USB slot here, you insert it correctly. After inserting it correctly, uh -huh, you go back now and switch on the machine. Switch on, switch on the keyboard now. We switch on the keyboard. You switch on the keyboard and the keyboard is turning on now. The keyboard is turning on, you can see. Yeah, you wait until it's on. All right. Now, if you look up here, you can see that a lot, there are a lot of things here that you need to, the sometimes that they confuses people. This is the Yamaha, the new series of Yamaha PSR4, uh, PSR E473. You can see there are a lot of things here. There are a lot of things. Now, okay, today we are not talking about setting it. Today we are talking about loading the bits in this keyboard loading the bits in this keyboard now we want to go direct on how you can load the bits on this keyboard one first of all after you have inserted the usb the usb that has the bit that is compatible with this machine now what you need to do is you come here let me just take you directly you come there is something here written shift eh? written shift so when you press this shift you hold on it after holding on it you go here on function eh? you go where on function you press function holding on the shift button like this then look at the screen look at the screen it will come that way then after coming that way you scroll you scroll here you scroll you scroll until it it shows in the screen uh load style load sty load style then after doing that after doing that you go to the enter button enter button enter button here you press you see it is an enter button you enter after entering you can see on the screen there are bits that are in, in this uh, usb now you choose the bit that you want you choose the bit you want and the bit that is compatible uh, with this machine so for example for example let me take this one this one aha uh -huh. there is a bit i'm looking for uh let me let me try this one let me try this one i'm not sure if it will go into work but after selecting it you come to enter button you press enter then you see on the screen it will ask you where to load the bit so let me do this because i wanted to load it on 295 so after that i press again enter it will show you load and then it asks you it asks you okay you continue with enter you see now it's loading okay and because this keyboard is faster it has already loaded okay now let us go and check if the bit is working eh? aha we press style then we scroll to number this one this one is what we have loaded and actually it is working wow uh -huh. so you can come after it's loaded you can uh, put on where you want it to be let me say for example I want it to be that there. Yeah. You can you can see now the bit is working. Uh huh. The bit is working. You see. Uh huh. Now that is number one. Okay. That is number one. So we want to load to load again uh, another bit. The same same procedure. We hold shift. The same same procedure. We hold shift. Then we go and press. I press function while holding the shift. It will bring the same message on the screen. Then you scroll, you scroll, you scroll to where? To load style. After there, you press again, enter. 
enter. Now enter, we want to take another, let me say, we want to take another praise. Uh -huh. Okay, let me say I want to take this Pokea Sifa. So uh, after selecting that, I press enter Pokea Sifa. Then I'll put it on uh, 296 and then I press enter, enter. Uh -huh. It is loading, it is loading, complete. Uh -huh. The one thing I love with this keyboard is that this keyboard is faster. Then I go, I press style. Uh -huh. Now this is the bit that we've loaded again. Uh -huh. Did we repeat? No, this 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 one another this is another one, huh? You can live here. So a lot of people love using these styles. Uh -huh. We shift function. Shift function. Enter. And then we look for this tile. This tile. You can see that my USB has a lot of bits. It has a lot of bits here. So, okay, I don't want to go to all of those bits. I'm looking for one bit here. There's one bit that I'm looking for here. You can see that the keyboard has a lot of the styles, a lot of styles, but there's one bit that I'm looking for. uh let me try this one 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 let me try if it can work in this piano all right so ah it is not working because this one is not compatible with this piano of course, now, wh whenever you are loading, you make sure that the bits that you have are compatible with this piano, okay? Because it cannot accept all bits. There is a bit I'm looking for here. It seems that, it, that the bit that I'm looking is missing. Uh -huh. Let me try this one. Let me try this one. All right, it's done. It's also not working. But remember, there are bits that, uh, the bits which are compatible, like this one is compatible uh, with this uh, keyboard. And a lot of people are using this bit uh, for braces and such. Uh, now, let me say for example, okay, today I was not showing you on how to set the keyboard, but I was just showing you on how to do it on how to load the beat. okay so now no now after doing all of that after now loading the bits and the keyboard is ready for you you can now set the keyboard use it on braces you can load even worship bits as long as you have the compatible bits in the usb you can load them that way it's just simple as that you have your bits on the keyboard so next time I'll be teaching you on how to set this keyboard, okay? So do this, do me a favor. Leave a comment down there uh, if you want us to teach you on how to set the keyboard, everything. This keyboard is wonderful. It has good tunes on it. Oh, do not say that this keyboard is no good. It's only when you don't know how to set it, it is when you say that it's not good. But the keyboard, trust me, is good. So God bless you. See you next time. As I tell you, I am with you. Thank you so much.
matendo yako ya adabu dunia yote ya kushangilia mungu umaminifu wewe ni mtakatifu matendo yako ya adabu ya kushangilia
tunapokaa hapa is not just a, a gospel artist is also uh, i think you're a pastor juzi so we, we, we really want to get into detail to one what is the journey of a minister ever to fanya nini tusifanye nini niko ndani ya nyumba na pastor sunday wherever you are uh, tufuate tu kwa 2291 tuma ujumbe wako kwa 2291 na pia kwa facebook page yetu mwangaza tv we are streaming live as well just make sure that you share that ili tuweze kupata mo swali lako himizo pendekezo changamoto ambayo unakutana nayo kama mtumishi ama kama mkristo aliyeokoka basi usikose kusema nasi hapa ndani ya mwangaza asubuhi kwa heshima karibu sana mtumishi asante sana title ili change <laughs> title ili badilika <laughs> yani mambo badilika Ukweli. mungu badilisha historia amen ndio sababu pia amebadilisha ya kwangu amen ah uh, ulikuwa mm-hmm. umenizoea kama mc mm-hmm. sande uh-huh. lakini kwa sasa uh-huh. I'm no longer MC Sandy. Na wana hata nibadilishe hilo mpaka kwa 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 vile ambavyo nimekusema. Vile umesema. Yes. Na no, unaweza save hivyo kwa sababu unaweza kuwa bado na harusi, mm-hmm. unihitaji hat, hatujawasha kwa Aya, sasa sasa hebu hebu tuambie introduce yourself fully with all kofia zako zote. Oh, mm. kofia zangu zote. Yes. Okay. Ah, uh, asante sana. Mimi naitwa kwa majina kamili mm-hmm. naitwa Vincent mm-hmm. Sande mm-hmm. Odhiambo. Mm-hmm. Ilo ni jina langu la kuzaliwa. Sande ya, ju, ya siku. Sande Okay, ya Jumapili. Ya Jumapili. Okay. Ile ndio jina langu. <laughs> Alafu sasa na Mungu naye akanibariki. Mm-hmm. Uh, mimi ni producer. Mm-hmm. Uh, mimi bado nafanya kazi ya MC. Mm-hmm. Alafu kwa sasa naye Mungu ameninua zaidi. Mm-hmm. Amenipeleka kwa kiwango cha kuwa mchungaji. Amen. Ambapo sasa mimi ni mchungaji na chunga kondoo zake. Mm-hmm. Pale Kahawa West. Wow. Kwa kanisa letu la El Shaddai. Mm-hmm. Na niko na mambo mengi mimi ufanya. Mm-hmm. Bado mimi ni actor. Mm-hmm. Nafundisha watu acting. Mm-hmm. I teach music. Mm-hmm. So I am so blessed. Mm-hmm. Yes. So let's let's talk about you as a minister. Labda kuna yule ambaye anafuatilia alafu anauliza sasa minister ni nani? Yes. Kwa sababu theme yetu nilieka minister strong servant. Exactly. Yes. So minister ni nani? Uh, first of all let me mm-hmm. say a minister. Yes. A minister you can be a minister because we have different minister, ministers eh? yes. one ni yule anafanya kwa government yes two kuna minister hata ukienda kwa hizi watu wana, wanakuwa na courts hizi pia kuna ma ministers mm-hmm. but now we are talking about the ministers mm-hmm. wa gospel ama minister ule wa injili, wa injili yes. kwa mwenyezi Mungu mm-hmm. sasa a minister first of all let me say for you to be called a minister mm-hmm. first of all you, mm-hmm. that effort of serving god must mm-hmm. be seen in you Okay. Uh, from the way you started mm-hmm. up to where you are mm-hmm. mpaka ukaitwa a minister. Yes. Lazima kwanza ionekane matunda ile umeleta. But okay. be, you cannot be called a minister mm-hmm. kama akujaonekana matunda yale ambayo umeleta katika huduma. Wow. Yes. Kwa hivyo ndo mimi niwe minister. Yes. Lazima niwe nimeonyesha ma, nimezaa. Lazima uwe umezaa. Na huduma yako hata ukifanya ukienda mahali mm-hmm. lazima ionekane ya kwamba this one is a minister because we di- we have a dif- we have difference eh? mm-hmm. e, between minister and that person mwenye anafanya i kazi ya Mungu anajiita acha nitumie jina msanii because mm-hmm. we are talking okay, about yes, two yes, things yes, eh? yes, uh-huh. kuna yule mtu anajiita msanii mm-hmm. na kuna yule mtu ambaye anaitwa minister yes. first of all m- let me say before even i became a pastor mm-hmm. people started calling me pastor Mm-hmm. Mpaka kuna wakati nilikuwa naambia I'm not a pastor. Okay. Unakutana huko mtaani nilikuwa nakaa pale umoja 3 unakutana mm-hmm. na vijana wale wezi mm-hmm. usiku. Mm-hmm. Wanasema huu ni mchungaji wa chana na yeye. Na, na, na labda nini nilikuwa nafanya wa kuita hivyo? Kwa sababu Be- I'm so sure lazima uliuliza mbona naitwa pastor <laughs> na mimi sijafikia kitengo kile. Because of characters. Okay. One of one uh, first if you want to be uh, rather if you are chosen to become a minister mm-hmm. Even if when you are walking outside mm-hmm. kama vile wanafunzi wa Yesu ilisemekana kwamba matendo yao kutembea kwao kunaonyesha kwamba ni wa Yesu, ni wa Yesu. Mm-hmm. sasa mimi katika mienendo zangu pale mtaani mm-hmm. watu walikuwa wanaona huyu ni mtu ameokoka mm-hmm. aya wakati mwingi unapata tukieka pale mikutano mm-hmm. i'm doing mc program okay, okay. wakati program yes. sawa sawa yes. so nikifanya hiyo program watu wengi wananiangalia mikutano mm-hmm. wananiona so nikitoka mm-hmm. hata usiku nikitembea wanasema huyu ni pasta huyu uh-huh. wachana na ye. Mm-hmm. not only that 
there was a time hata nilipo hama kwenda kwingine mm-hmm. au unapata kwamba nikitembea watu wanasema huu ni pasta hata kwa gari kwa matatu mm-hmm. unaitwa mchungaji kuja okay hapa mbele <laughs> matendo peke yake na Amen. matembezi yako Amen. inafaa kuonyesha kwamba wewe mm-hmm. you are a minister of gospel mm-hmm. yes. na sasa nataka tuweze niweze kurudisha nyuma kidogo yes. uh, wewe kama Vincent mm-hmm. uh, wewe kama Sandy eh, tukiacha hizo titles zingine yes wewe kama sande labda maisha yako yalikuwaje wakati ulikuwa na grow because maybe your life could have contributed to you being a minister tushirikisha maisha yako kidogo haleluya hapo umeenda hapo hapo mm. hapo hapo kuna ka history kidogo <laughs> uh-huh. uh, na niko na ka historia mm-hmm. first of all let me say nilizaliwa kwa jamii ambayo mm-hmm. ilikuwa imeokoka mm-hmm. and my mom was very powerful prayer mm-hmm. warrior even mm-hmm. right now as we are speaking mm-hmm. she still a prayer warrior mm-hmm. Uh, most of the time tulikuwa tukiwa pale vile unapata mm-hmm. my mom anaomba usiku wa manane tunasikia anaomba sana analia mm-hmm. we are we were asking ourselves mm-hmm. why is our mom crying every t- every time mm-hmm. kwa sababu atakuwa nayo knowledge mm-hmm. ya kwamba anaomba mm-hmm. so akiingia kwa room yake anaanza ku anaanza kulia mm-hmm. sisi tunasema analia mm-hmm. kumbe ni kuomba mm-hmm. so she was a very powerful prayer warrior but mimi mwenyewe maisha yangu kwanza hayakuwa mazuri mm-hmm wakati alikwambia ndio uitwe minister lazima kuanza shetani akupige kwa sababu vizuri. shetani alitaka kunimaliza mm-hmm. ili nisikuje kufulfill Aha. ili kazi ya Mungu mm-hmm. so nilipokuwa napelekwa shule badala ya mimi kwenda kusoma pale shule mm-hmm. vitabu zile nimepewa nenda kuuza mm-hmm. unaenda kuuza na uza okay. na kuja kununua nazo hizi mabiscuit hizo vitu kama hizo mm-hmm. ninakula naona alafu shuleni ufanyeje sasa mimi nikienda shule niko na kitabu kimoja Mm-hmm. Unapata naenda naanza kuomba wenzangu vitabu. Mm-hmm. Nakumbuka nimeniliwa vitabu. Mm-hmm. So maisha kama hiyo ikaanza kunisumbua nikakuwa kijana msumbufu pale mm-hmm. kwa village mpaka ikafika to the level. Mm-hmm. Lakini hata nilipokuwa mdogo hiyo I was praying. Okay. I don't know what in nini nilikuwa inanifanya naomba na nasumbua. Okay. <laughs> okay. Naomba but nasumbua. Mm-hmm. Sasa siku moja nikakutana nikaenda mahali mkutano nikapata one pastor. Mm-hmm. He was singing very well. Mm-hmm. Nikasikia tu machozi na nitoka nikasema kwa roho yangu nikikuwa mkubwa nataka, nataka kuwa, kuwa kama, kama huyo mchungaji. Amen. And I came nikasahau hiyo story. <laughs> sasa nikasumbua pale village nikatolewa nikapelekwa Kericho. Mm-hmm. Wishi na, na my dad sasa. Mm-hmm. Sasa nilipokuwa na my dad uh, nikaenda hivyo hivyo mpaka nikapelekwa kwa kazi sasa kazi ya mechanic. Mm-hmm. Nienda kufanya. Mm-hmm. Lakini hiyo haikuwa mwito wangu. Mm-hmm. Wakati napelekwa pale mimi naenda kana nimevaa nini ya white, suit ya white kutoka juu mpaka chini <laughs> na ukumbuke naenda kufanya kazi ya nini ya mechanic. Mm-hmm. So mimi kufika pale kufanya kazi ya mechanic mimi naambia mkubwa mimi siwezi fanya hii kazi ya uchafu. Amelipwa pesa. Mina, Akufunze. Anifunze. Mimi natoka naenda zangu. Nikasumbua hivyo. Mm-hmm. Sasa my dad was playing the guitar. Mm-hmm. Alipokuwa na play guitar, mimi mm-hmm. nikaanza nikaanza kupenda pole pole. Mm-hmm. I just learned to play guitar. No one taught me how to mm-hmm. play. Pole pole nikacheza. But maisha yangu yakuwa mazuri vile. Mm-hmm. Nili ilikuwa ya kungangana sana. Na kuambia shetani alinipiga vita. Mm-hmm. Ikafika mahali nikaona now I can no longer take this. Mm-hmm. I try to take my my life. Three, three times why are you doing this uh, ulikuwa umekataliwa ama ulikuwa kwa sababu kulingana na vile unavyosema wazazi walikujaribia sana ni shetani si mzazi mimi ndio nilikuwa nasumbua mzazi mm-hmm. kwa sababu mzazi anataka niende hivi lakini mimi nataka kwenda Hivo. vile mm-hmm. mzazi anataka niende hivi mimi nataka kwenda mm-hmm. hivi so tulisumbuana tulisumbuana kwa sababu nilikuja nikajiunga kwa kikundi fulani tulikuwa tunaenda tunafanya mazoezi kwa msitu mm-hmm. tunafanya gym mazoezi ya gym gym, gym tunajif, tunajifunza hizi vitu wanazita karate nini mm-hmm. so we were rude pale kwa kampuni kwa huko uh, tunaitwa estate unajua kulikuwa kumetenganishwa estate estate mm-hmm. so tunasumbua maskari tunasumbua watu wa huko mm-hmm. tunalikuwa tunatengeneza hizi vitu tunaitwa fair Mm-hmm. tunaweka kamawe tuna time watu usiku tunawachapa kwa kichwa na tunatoroka mm-hmm. so tulisumbua sana ikafika mahali siku moja nikachapa kijana mmoja mm-hmm. tulikuwa tunashindania msichana mm-hmm. just giving you a line of history before mm-hmm. nikuje mahali nimefika mm-hmm. nikachapa kijana mmoja jicho ikatoka kwa sababu ya msichana mm-hmm. na nikashikiwa p3 msichana wako 
tulikuwa na girl, nilikuwa na girlfriend eh? mm-hmm. na huyo girlfriend hiyo jamaa pia kumbe akaanza kufanya nini kumtongoza mm-hmm. sasa katika ile ya kumtongoza mimi nikakuja nikagundua msichana akakuja akaniambia mm-hmm. sasa kwenda kumuuliza na yeye akaleta ufuja na wakati hiyo nilikuwa nimeunga nilikuwa niko mm-hmm. na maso mbaya sana so hiyo <laughs> wakati nilikuwa na hasira ambapo mtu wange nijibu mara mbili ama mm-hmm. mara ngapi mara ta ukinjibu ya pili ya tatu usinijibu mm-hmm. juu ngumi ni ungefata ungefata ni ungefata so nilipiga kijana nikatoboa macho nikaenda kwa nyumba ni nikashikiwa P3 sasa niliposikia nimeshikiwa P3 mm-hmm. nikaenda nikaishi kwa msitu nikaenda nikaishi kwa msitu katikati kuishi ni, kuishi ulikuwa na kulaji ai my dad alikuwa akienda kazi mimi na, naangalia najua nyumba yetu ilikuwa karibu na msitu huko kerichas na kuanga hivi kubwa hivi <laughs> so naingia na pika haraka haraka kama nime lock mlango so mtu mm-hmm. akuja hata jua mtu wako then nachomoka narudi kwa msitu nilika kwa msitu almost a month na wakati wote babako hajui unaishi wapi hajui yeye anajua kijana wangu ni msumbufu ameshikiwa p3 na alitoroka so <laughs> wow. mm-hmm. so nikaishi kwa msitu almost a month nikafika mahali nikachoka nikasema hawacha tu nirudi mm-hmm. liwe liwa liwalo kurudi kumbe hiyo story ilisaulika wakaachana nayo mm-hmm. Walipoacha nao so mimi nikaanza kucheza gitaa nikakuja polepole pole. shetani alikuwa tu ananipiga vita hata mm-hmm. kitu yenye sijafanya na danganyishiwa mm-hmm. lakini mimi sikuacha kuimba nikaanza kuimba mm-hmm. na kucheza gitaa nikaenda nikifundisha kanisa nilianza na kanisa lile linaitwa PAG mm-hmm. eh, ni Church of God mm-hmm. not PAG so kanisa lingine lilikuwa opposite lakini kulingana na ile music nilikuwa nafundisha mm-hmm. watu walitoka kwa hiyo kanisa wote wakakuja huku wakakuja huku mm-hmm. and by that time i was just teaching sunday mm-hmm. school mm-hmm paka watu wazima wakaanza ku join Sunday school. Mm-hmm. Sasa ikaonekana watu wazima wazi join Sunday school. Mm-hmm. Nikatolea kwa kiwango cha Sunday school nikapelekwa youth. Mm-hmm. Remember by that time the devil is still fighting me. Mm-hmm. Nilikuwa nashuka nywele katikati ya wiki. Hata ukiangalia masikio yangu niliacha nilikuwa nimetoboa mara mbili <laughs> when I was still in the yes. world. Eh? Mm-hmm. So nilikuwa naweka hapa kipulile fupi na hapa mm-hmm. naweka ndefu. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, mm-hmm. <laughs> so nikaenda kanisani nafunguanisha nywele naishika hivi na, natengeneza na finya okay. then natoa vipuli na kuja naweka tu tu nini tu nyazi eh aha aha naingia kanisa tu nyatutaonekana tu nyatutaonekana na ukutaka kujua Mungu anataka kukutumia mm-hmm. nilipokuwa nafundisha Sunday school kijana mmoja kwa wale nafundisha mm-hmm. akaniuliza teacher sasa kama wewe una unaikaanga hizi na unashuka si hata sisi tufanye hivyo juu inaonekana mm-hmm. ni poa mm-hmm. alafu kiti kanikuja tu mara moja akaniambia hapana msifanye hivi mm-hmm. amwezi fanya hivi mm-hmm. then wakati nilitoka hapo nikajiuliza ai mbona ukijana ameuliza swali kama hiyo mm-hmm. that is the day i stop putting mm-hmm. on this is the pulley okay. nikaambia Mungu nisame you are challenged na mtoto wa sunday school mtoto wa sunday school wow <laughs> so nilipoacha uh, mm-hmm. one day my mama alipokuja kericho sasa mm-hmm. akaniambia mimi nataka uende uombe wokovu mm-hmm. unaimba na hii gitaa unacheza mm-hmm. but you are not born again mm-hmm. akaanza nani alikuambia wokovu nikamwambia hakuna mm-hmm. kanipeleka nikaombea wokovu ndio nikanyoa mm-hmm. kuanzia siku ndio nimekuwa nikinyoa box ukiangalia my previous <laughs> nini have been putting on box <laughs> yes. so nikaanza pole 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 kwa kazi huduma lakini maisha ilikuwa mbaya siku moja nikasema mimi sitaishi hii maisha tena mm-hmm. nikaswaga chupa Mm-hmm. mingi vizuri nika mm-hmm. nikasema naenda kulala kwa room moja kwa sababu ma, my dad had two bedrooms mm-hmm. eh, nikaenda kulala kwa room moja nikakunywa nikasema Mungu mimi nakuja kwako na ukakunywa yes umesiaga chupa <laughs> i took it not not once nikakunywa hiyo chupa vizuri nikamwambia Mungu mimi nakuja kwako sasa hii maisha yamenishinda i don't want to live nikakunywa vizuri kwa sababu tu utaki wokovu a uh-uh. Si wokovu, maisha nilikuwa naishi ilikuwa mbaya. Si kwa sababu ulikuwa umekataa wokovu. <laughs> <laughs> Mungu alikuwa ananitaka. Yes, lakini, lakini wewe una resist. Mimi sitaki. Okay. Mhm. Nikakunywa hizo chupa nikalala. Mm-hmm. My sister trust me nilikunywa chupa nikalala na nikaota vizuri na nikaamka vizuri. Mm-hmm. Life ikaendelea kama kawaida. Na ukwai umwa ama kuwa na complications. Nikashindwa what is not happening. I took this and I hear that when people take this they die. They die. Why? Ah, nikasema ni sawa. Mm-hmm. Let us leave it for another day. Tena maisha ikaendelea hivyo hivyo tena siku moja nikaenda kwa msitu. Tena mm-hmm. nimechoka. Nikasema nikaswaga hasa zile nonono. No, no. mm-hmm. Kwa sababu pale nilisema labda niliswaga zenye mm-hmm. kidogo. Kidogo. Mm-hmm. Kaswaga nonono no, nikalala katikati ya msitu nikasema sasa leo mm-hmm. nitakufa. Mm-hmm. Askari hao wanapitanga hapo wanipata hapo kwa msitu. Mm-hmm. Ah nimekufa, nibebe, nipeleke matanga hivi pale. Mm-hmm. Ngakunywa chupa. 
kukunywa chupa ni kalala tena ili kifo inipate kali kukosingiza <laughs> <laughs> Sasa kuamka tena ni kwetu sawa tena vizuri kabisa hakuna shida yote okay. Now the last time when i said that, that now sitafai sitafanya kitu kama hicho mm-hmm. ilikuwa sasa siku nilikuwa natembea na kisu nilikuwa nimetengeneza coat nyingine kubwa hivi mm-hmm. na nafunga na ndani naweka kisu naweka hii nyaunyo mm-hmm. na nilikuwa kama jambazi <laughs> was kama jambazi Ulikuwa si <laughs> So, so sasa ni Ken nikasema hii maisha imefika mwisho nimejaribu chupa zikufi mm-hmm. sasa ni hiyo nilichukua hiyo kisu yangu mrefu mm-hmm. nikaenda katikati ya majani chai mm-hmm. nikakaa nikasema mm-hmm. sasa vi hizo zimekataa hii kisu sasa tuone kama sitakufa leo mm-hmm. Mungu mimi nakuja kwako nipokee nimechoka na maisha nikainua kisu namna hii kuinua kisu nikishaomba nikachukua kisu wakati nilifika hapa hivi nataka kujidunga mm-hmm. nikasikia kitu imenidunga hapa hivi Okay. Nikasikia kitu nimenidunga nikashtuka nikatupa. Imagine unataka kufa lakini unaogopa kifo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, baadaye uka, ukagundua ni nini kilikuwa kimekudunga? I don't know. What? Kwa sababu wakati nilisikia hiyo nikashtuka nikatupa hii uh, nilitoka mbio. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Niliacha hiyo kisu nikatoka mbio. Yes. So nilipotoka mbio ndio nikasema kuanzia leo mm-hmm. sitaijua tena. Mm-hmm. Na hapo ndio maisha yangu sasa ya kukuja Nairobi ku minister mm-hmm. ilianzia. Wow. <laughs> yes. Mtazamaji haya ni baadhi tu ya mengi ambayo uh, yes. Mtumishi amepitia. Producer vile ambavyo amesema hapa hivyo ni producer wa I don't know why. Yes. You love me so. <laughs> This much. <No. laughs> so uh, baada ya haya yote sasa nataka kuna yule ambaye anatuangalia anasema he Uh, kama pasta amepitia haya ama kama MC amepitia haya kuna wale wanakujua kama producer kuna wale wanakujua kama artist kulingana na ile title ambayo wanakujua nayo nasema jamani kama huyu amepitia haya uh, labda yeye hajapitia zenye mimi nilipitia wakati ambapo tunapatana na changamoto sisi kama watumishi wa Mwenyezi Mungu what are we supposed to do uh, changamoto zipo mm-hmm. na lazima zitupate hiyo mm-hmm. aina excuse kwa sababu mm-hmm. hata vile nimeanza kazi ya huduma mm-hmm. ni hii muda mchache 6 month actually yes. my hiyo huduma yangu iko 6 month old yes. but in that ya, short ya, ya kanisa sasa. Yeah. Mm-hmm. but in that short time mm-hmm. ile changamoto nimepatana nazo mm-hmm. zinaweza fanya kama ujaitwa mm-hmm. give up okay lakini mi, changamoto wakati zinakuja kama mtumishi what you should do mm-hmm. is to pray Amen. the only key to overcome is mm-hmm. prayer mm-hmm. when you read the bible when you are, you understand that those ministers those servants mm-hmm. who are in the bible mm-hmm. even wengine hata walikatwa vichwa mm-hmm. but they never gave up they never say that because mimi napitia hii nitaenda kufanya nini kuacha people those servants went on the mountain they mm-hmm. prayed mm-hmm. they prayed mm-hmm. until okay. uta, utapata kwamba katika hiyo maombi ndio utapata nini mm-hmm. ushindi mm-hmm. it's only prayer amen na kwa kila jambo mimi wa usema hivi mm-hmm. Mungu atabaki kuwa Mungu hata mm-hmm. majaribu ikuje aje nifikishe chini mm-hmm. God will remain to be God kwa sababu si makosa yake mimi nipitie majaribu mm-hmm. no ye yeah, Mungu ananitakia mazuri mm-hmm. narudi nyuma najichunguza ni wapi nimekosea Mungu mm-hmm. labda kuna mahali nimefanya makosa mm-hmm. then i start praying kijichunguza tena anatengeneza njia kidogo mm-hmm. tena analeta jaribu lingine mm-hmm. <laughs> ni ukweli <laughs> ni ukweli <laughs> Wow, asante sana Eliza unasema huko ndani unatufuatilia moja kwa moja. Helm Kiplaga tunasema amen, amen, amen. Alex E Amani, my brother, Magufuli, how are you? Unasema uko tuned in, nisalimie papa. Unaona anawakilisha vizuri. <laughs> asante sana. Sheri ndio tu unasema huko ndani tuna sana Davido Boss. Unasema huko ndani, good morning my sister Salasi Nwaka, nisalimie Pastor Sunday na ako smart sana. You like this yellow color. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> Ah uh, Davido Boss thank you so much. Um, I'm trying to read between the lines. You like this yellow color. Jacinta Nafula unasema huko ndani. Purity thank you so much. You're listening to this man of God Asante sana boss. Uh, Miriam unasema you are watching. I don't know why. Hit producer. This song is still a hit to date. Job well done Pastor Sandy. Thank you so much. We thank God. <laughs> thank you so much for his doing. Na Sheila unasema say hi to my producer. Definitely your producer is here and anaskiza uh, Uh, tunapoendelea jumbe ni nyingi uh, lakini uh, Davido Boss anacheka anashangaa kwamba yani wewe ukakunywa chupa alafu kaamka ukajikuta bado uko hapa 
when you expected Wende Ju. I want to say my music director, thank you so much, Sheila. Uh, such an inspirational life story. I'm listening keenly. As the sun. Indeed, it is a wonderful morning that he has granted again. We have nothing to give unto him but to say thank you. Thank you so much, Adada. Uh, oh, my God. Ukasiaga chupa, ukakunywa tu hivo, na baduka. <laughs> Uka mkaedelea kutazama tuko ndani ya mwangaza asubuhi jubilation monday ya leo ni siku ya kipekee tarehe 12 by the way and today is my anniversary oh my goodness wow. i need a cake Happy today anniversary Thank to you. you wow i think so, i'll sing a song for you oh, tumalizia yeah. malizia hapo ah, ah nice sawa kuna so, ah si sai <laughs> kuna swali ambalo ningependa ujibu ah, kabla hatuja tambua dhamini wetu. Yes. Uh, kuna mtu anauliza kwamba sele morning say hi to pastor Sunday. Alafu muulize kwa nini ukiokoka shida wajukuu shosho wote wanakuja kwako. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, this is a very good question. One let me say this. Mm -hmm. Unajua most of the time when we preach yes. we tell people that kuja kwa Yesu kuna mazuri hautateseka tena utapata kazi utapata kazi utapata bwana mambo yako iko sawa mm. yani kama ni harusi unafanya next Amen. year but let me tell you one thing mm -hmm. when wakati tunakubali Yesu ni bwana mm -hmm. ume declare wo. yes kwa sababu wakati ulikoja kubali we ulikuwa wa shetani so hakuwa na shida na wewe sasa mtu wako atakupiga ata nini na wewe ni mtu wake tayari <laughs> wakati hujaokoka wewe ni wa shetani shetani mm -hmm. ana haja na wewe mm -hmm. lakini wakati unakubali Yesu ni bwana mm -hmm. na unajua shetani na Yesu ni ma enemies yes hapo si umedeclare mm -hmm. already mm -hmm. so unafaa kujiandaa kwa nini kwa vita mm -hmm. na hiyo vita wakati inakuja ukumbuke kwamba mm -hmm. Yesu hata kuacha mm -hmm. kwa sababu anakutetea yes. shetani anasikia vibaya kwa sababu umemkana mm -hmm. umemtoka mm -hmm. ni kama ni kama girlfriend na boyfriend let me just take that yes, simple yes, example yes, wakati umewacha girlfriend wa kama mmewachana mm -hmm. unajua nyinyi wawili mtaanza kuchomeana Nukweli. Wewe akiona uko na ule na anamjua ataenda kwa mtu ni mbaya. Wewe mtu si mzuri ya hivyo mm. hivyo. Mm. So it the same na Mkristo wakati umeacha umetoka kwa dunia umesema sasa mimi nataka Yesu. Mm -hmm. Vita zinaanza vizuri sasa hapo na for jipange mm -hmm. kwa vita. Mm -hmm. But wewe sasa mwenyewe ndio utaamua. Mm -hmm. Urudi nyuma naye kirudi nyuma kama mapepo zilikuwa saba Biblia inasema mm -hmm. zitakuja zingine saba mm -hmm. zikuwe 14. Mm -hmm. Sasa utakuwa worse than the way you were before <laughs> tutaendeleza hapo <laughs> yes. eka eka pause tutaendeleza tunaporudi ikiwa ni saa mbili unusu nataka tuweze kutambua dhamini wetu siende bali kwa sababu tuko ndani uh, a journey of a minister what it takes usiende mbali Zama Mwangaza TV Tumaini lako Biashara haramu uliwacha Biashara nilikuja hata naye nikaacha Gwambiana sasa hata pesa ikikosa atutaingia Tukienda kuhubiri tunapigwa mawe na niko na alama hapa niko na alama nilipigwa mawe kichwa nilipigwa mawe tukihubiri Ninaposema askofu ashawai kulala nje ndakuwa nimekosea ama nitakuwa Aniko sawa. Tutakuwa umeongea ukweli mtupu na sio kulala jaa siku moja wala mbili, no. ni kulala jaa kwa siku nyingi. Mimi nikajiangalia nikashindwa. Mtu kama mimi anawezaje kutumiwa na Mungu? Ni nini nzuri Mungu ameona kwangu? Ile bidii nilikuwa naye na kufanya mambo mabaya, nilibadilisha nikaiweka kwa mambo ya Mungu. Katika kazi ya Mungu hakuna hasara. Kwa hayo yote ungana nami Kelvin Kariba kila siku ya Jumanne zinapotimia saa moja na dakika 45. Unatafuta vyombo vya muziki? Nam usitafute tena. Smart Search Limited ni suluhu lako. Tuna vyombo vya muziki aina zote. Power mixers, speaker cables, microphone cables, amplifiers, drum sets, condenser microphones, speakers, keyboards microphones aina zote guitars na accessories zingine nyingi kwa habari zaidi tupigie simu kupitia 0720 au 0739 smart search limited your trusted sound partner
ukiwa na biashara yako ambayo ungependa imfikie mteja wako vyema na kwa njia sabamba zungumza nasi kupitia 0754 0758487904 Mwangaza TV ni tumaini la biashara yako Kampuni ya Kemuma Engineering System ni kampuni tajika ya uzaji wa bidhaa zote za umeme. Kemuma Engineering System pia wanakuuzia bidhaa na vyombo mbalimbali vya usalama kama vile kamera za CCTV aina tofauti tofauti, battery inverters na fire extinguishers kati ya zingine kwa bei nafuu. Kemuma Engineering Systems pia wanakuwekea ua la umeme kudumisha usalama na vile vile access control kwenye afisi na biashara. Zaidi ya hayo wanaweka milango ya remote na huduma zingine nyingi za usalama. Kampuni ya Kemuma Engineering System imekuwa ikitoa huduma kwa wateja kwa zaidi ya miaka kumi nchini na mataifa ya mbali ya Afrika Mashariki na imepokea tuzo kwa huduma bora. Tembelea maduka yetu ya Kemuma Engineering System jijini Nairobi eneo la Kamae Road kutoka Luthuri Avenue kwenye jumba la Nyandarwa House, orofa la pili, room number 204. Pia unaweza kuwatembelea katika tawi la Kema Gaberone Road karibu na mkahawa wa Sagret katika jumba la Pwani Guest House Ground Floor eneo la Kasarani wanapatikana Max Plaza Ground Floor mkabala na kituo cha polisi cha Kasarani karibu na benki la family kwa maelezo zaidi wasiliana na Kemuma Engineering System kupitia 0721250846 ama 0721828 0721828996 Kemum Engineering Systems a Security at its best Unatazama Mwangaza TV Tumaini lako Welcome back saa mbili na dakika 34 ndani ya Jubilation Monday. Na leo niko na mchungaji, niko na MC, niko na producer, niko na director, niko na a husband, niko na father ndani ya nyumba. <laughs> <laughs> Vincent <laughs> na tabaita tutapoelekea kuzungumza unaweza mtafuta pale YouTube MC Sunday Vin. Mtafuta pale YouTube by the way. Anafanya vitu vingi pale. Just be a blessing even as you subscribe and share that ili tuendelee kusukuma huduma ya Mwenyezi Mungu mbele. Uh, kabla hauja hatujaenda mapumzikoni, ulikuwa unaangazia ama ulikuwa unatuelezea kwa nini mtu anapomkiri Kristo yes. maisha yake yanakuwa magumu sana. Nataka uweze kamilishia pale alafu tuweze kuangazia changamoto zako uh, kama mtumishi kama mtumishi hata ulipoingia into active ministry yes. uh, like an artist a gospel artist like a producer and and, and nini uh, all right changamoto mm -hmm. vile nilikuwa nilikuwa nawaambia kwamba wakati umemkiri mm -hmm. Yesu lazima utencounter vita yes. na mimi nimepigana na vita mingi hasa mm -hmm. kwanza acha niseme before ni, i became a pastor yes. nilikuwa nimekuwa employed somewhere mm -hmm. and i was uh, being paid around 25000 mm -hmm. na nilikuwa nimeambiwa after this month yes. tutakuongezea ikuwe 30000 mm -hmm. now that nini because i'm a teacher of music yes. i was teaching music there mm -hmm. so uh, nilikuwa naenda kwa siku tatu kwa wiki mm -hmm. na mwisho wa mwezi napata 30000 25000 yes. but the spirit of god ilitokea tu kwa mtu from nowhere mm -hmm. akasema mwanangu na kuhitaji kwa madhabahu yangu mm hiyo -hmm. unafanya hiyo mimi sipo simo ndani yake mm -hmm. so uh, ikabidi ni drop ile Mm -hmm. nikuje kufanya kazi na 25000 ni achana na 25000 na huo wakati uko na kazi no Okay. My house ile kazi niko nayo ni ile tu yangu ya studio of course uh -huh, eh. uh -huh. My house rent ni 13000 plus. Yes. I have hizo vitu zingine watoto uh -huh. bills. Uh -huh. Nakumbuka ninaambiwa wachana na hiyo kazi kuja ufanya kazi ya. Uh -huh. Hii kazi nienda kufanya nienda kuanzisha huduma uh -huh. silipwi. Sawa sawa. Uh -huh. Na kwa sababu silipwi inamaanisha Mungu mwenyewe afanye nini? A provide. Uh -huh. But I thank God because God gave you kwa, by then nataka kusema kama we ni mchungaji ama mtu unatarajia kuwa mchungaji. Uh -huh. Omba Mungu akupe muke uh -huh. mwenye anaweza kulinda hayo maono. Hallelujah. 
kwa sababu <laughs> it is not easy yes. my wife is a very good wife mwenye ni encourage Amen. wakati hata tu, anaona kwamba tuko chini anasema don't worry God today we may uh, we may be down but tomorrow you never know what Amen. God will do. Amen. Na huwa na ni encourage sana. Amen. And in this six month lengi nimekuwa mchungaji, mm -hmm. nimekuja kuona kwamba wale wachungaji mm -hmm. unaonanga sasa zingine unamwambia mchungaji nisaidie mia moja ya fair, mm -hmm. anakuamambia kwa sasa wacha tuamini Mungu. Mm -hmm. Usiai kejeli mchungaji. Hana. Usiai kejeli mchungaji kwa mm -hmm. sababu ni kweli hana. Mm -hmm. Ukiangalia wakati ni manza ministry everything is mm -hmm. looking at me. True. Wakati tumeanza tu we don't have instruments mm -hmm. we don't have chairs mm -hmm. and we need those things mm -hmm. for the work of God to go on. Yes. You will not go you are starting with people na unaanza kuaitisha pesa exactly. bring this we kodesha this ufanyani mm -hmm. no mm -hmm. it's upon you you make sure ya kwamba on Sunday you have the instrument you have the chairs katikati ya wiki everything is set mm -hmm. for people to hear so mm -hmm. that they can do what they can come. Remember I am not working anywhere. Kazi ya studio hii wacha niwaambie mzafikia hapa producer wana pesa. Mm -hmm. Watu kitambo mtu akuja studio sasa au ulikuja studio long. lini? Mwisho <laughs> tuseme tu tuko mfano. Nataka kunitumia kama example. <laughs> ni Na, kitambo. Kitambo, kitambo sana, sana by kitambo the way. Sana. Sasa tena ndio fikirie urudi. Mm -hmm. Kwa nini nimekuona hivi nitaanza kufikiria hiyo story. You see now. <laughs> yes. And remember so the church. Long. The church needs mm -hmm. cash. Yes. So inabidi we kama mchungaji mm -hmm. ugaramike. Mhm. Mm Ukianza kuitisha member pesa hiyo umempoteza umempoteza mm -hmm. so unapata kwamba hiyo challenge inakuwa ngumu lakini Mungu anatuwezesha mm -hmm. Mungu naye hajaruhusu kwamba kazi yake ikose kufanya nini kuendelea ya, jambo ni kwamba kama Mungu amekuita na kweli unamaanisha mm -hmm. one thing nataka kuambia watumishi ni kwamba mm -hmm. when you are a minister mm -hmm. inafaa ujikane na mambo ya dunia kabisa okay. ukijikana na mambo ya dunia God will surely fight for you amen kitu ya kwanza unapata wa, wa, wa many ministers wameka ujanja mwingi mm -hmm. kwa huduma na wanapoweka ujanja mwingi hapo ndio Mungu anaondoka. anaondoka Mungu akiondoka anawaachia sasa wako baridi na wako moto mm -hmm. and the bible says is either you choose one yes. either ukwe moto ama baridi, ama ukwe baridi. but unapata now this minister wants to be moto and baridi sasa vita ile unapigwa ni vita mara ngapi mara mbili. Mara mbili ya baridi na ya moto na vyote wewe mwenyewe umejitakia mwenyewe umejitakia okay. so it's either you choose one, one. battle Mm -hmm. to fight na Mungu tangu tuanze hajaruhusu tushindwe. Amen. Tulipoanza pale kwa plot nilianzia kwa nyumba. Mm -hmm. I thought I think you came and you saw. Yes, yes. Nilianzia kwa nyumba. Mm -hmm. Tulipokuwa tunaweka vyombo tunakuja tunaambiwa mzime vyombo mnapigia watu kelele. Mm -hmm. Paka siku moja nikaambiwa ni hame kwa mm -hmm. sababu napigia watu kelele kwa plot. Watu walianza watu walihama hiyo plot karibu wote. Mm -hmm. So landlord akasema no biashara yangu inaharibika. Mm -hmm. Mtoke kwa hii plot. Mhm. Mm Akaniambia I'm giving you two options. Mm -hmm. One kama unataka kuendelea hapo na huduma usitumie vyombo. Mm -hmm. Two, kama unataka kuendelea na vyombo, mm -hmm. toka hapo enda tafuta mahali pengine. So mm -hmm. I saw kuliko tufunge kanisa na pia, na pia tusumbue watu kwa sababu mm -hmm. kanisa si kusumbua watu, mm -hmm. ni kuhubiria watu. Yes. Wacha tuachane na speaker kwanza mm -hmm. ili tukitoka nje tutarudisha. Mm -hmm. Tukawacha speaker. Naye Mungu ni nani? Tumewaacha speaker but watu wanasikia sauti wanakuja. Amen ndio tutoke kwa hiyo nyumba tulikuwa tumefikisha almost 20 people mlikuwa sasa mmezidi tumezidi mm -hmm. sasa ikabidi tutafute mahali naye Mungu mm -hmm. naye akanipea tu mahali tena hapo karibu mm -hmm. a good place sasa hapo unatumia vyombo sasa sasa inatumia vyombo hakuna mtu hata nikitaka kesha hakuna mtu analalamika we amen there's someone watching us today even as we wrap up our show anasema mimi ningependa sana kuwa mtumishi lakini nitajuaje kwamba nimeitwa ah uh, kujua kwamba umeitwa mm -hmm. Kwa mfano wacha nitumie simple term ya mm -hmm. mwimbaji. Yes. Kujua kwamba umeitwa kitu ya kwanza ni kwamba wakati unaimba, mm -hmm. wakati una minister somewhere, mm -hmm. utaona mtu anakuja na kuambia my brother, you are a blessing, umenibariki tu moyo. Amen. Wakati unaimba utasikia mtu anasema nimepona kupitia ile uimbaji wako. Amen. Wakati una minister, yani when you are ministering anywhere you go, mm -hmm. lazima kuna mtu mmoja atatoa ushuda mm -hmm. ya ile kitu ulikuwa unafanya pale, mm -hmm. imemguza mahali, mm -hmm. imemuokoa ama imemponya. Amen. That is hapo ndio utajua kwamba umeitwa. Mm -hmm. Kingine ni kwamba unaweza kuwa wewe hata si mwimbaji. Mm -hmm. Lakini ukiwa kwa ofisi unasikianga tu kila saa unapigia watu kelele ukimba. Kila saa unapigia watu. <laughs> Unauliza wewe unaona hiyo record hata hapana 
kuonekana hata siku kwa nini naimbaga eh. ujue we ni mwimbaji lakini ujagundua mm-hmm. we ni mwimbaji ukiwa mhubiri hata kwa matatu ukienda kuanza kuitisha pesa mm-hmm. unasikanga twende 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 na sauti twende sauti yako haifungiki tutakuanzia asubuhi <laughs> sauti haifungi unaitisha pesa but sauti iko pale pale unaona <laughs> so there are a lot of things mkianza kugombana pale kwa plot mm-hmm. sauti yako ndio iko juu mm-hmm. ujue ni evangelist na we ni mhubiri Amen. Yes. Ah yeah, so, <laughs> kuna yule ambaye angependa ku, kuzungumza nawe uh, yes. labda tuambie tu, uta, unapatikana wapi? Okay, asante sana. Mimi napatikana kwa socials med, uh, social media ya kwanza ikiwa ni Facebook mm-hmm. na patikana pale kama uh, Pastor Sunday, mm-hmm. Sunday ya Jumapili. Mm-hmm. Alafu <laughs> uh, kwa YouTube naitwa MC Sunday Vin, mm-hmm. M.C Sunday Vin. Mm-hmm. Alafu WhatsApp Niko pale na mimi wasiogopi kupeana namba kwa sababu mimi yes. ni producer na mimi mm-hmm. ni mchungaji. Yes. Ukitaka kunipata kwa studio namba yangu mm-hmm. ni 0717100653653. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, alafu uh, hapo utanipata kwa WhatsApp na tutaongea. Mm-hmm. Amen. Yes, na pia kwa UMC. Mm-hmm. I'm a good MC. Mm-hmm. Tafadhali ukiamu ni wedding, mm-hmm. usione mchungaji hawezi fanya MC. <laughs> Niite uone vile shere yako itakuwa mzuri sana na utabarikiwa. Mwelekezi wangu niko na dakika ngapi? Mbili ama tatu? Tu. Niko na dakika moja naomba niimbie wimbo Hiyo lazima ni kuimbia. Ah, yes. Okay, sasa kuna keyboard <laughs> nataka kuimbia. Sele umebarikiwa sana. Tunakwambia hongera ah. Mungu akubariki unapoendelea sele. Nataka ufurahie kujua kwamba ni matendo ya Mungu maishani mwako. Sema asante, sema na Asante. Sema nami asante. Asante. Ninaona hata miaka umekaa katika ndoa. Unanga pia mali bwana yako yupo. Twamwambia hongera kwa kumchunga huyu. Asante Mungu akubariki sana. Amen. Thank you so much mtumishi for coming. Thank you for that wonderful song. Amen. God aku bless sana na kupadulie mipaka yako akutumie zaidi na zaidi kuwa an instrument of healing to the many broken and wounded hearts. Kwenu ambao umefanikisha kipindi cha leo what else do I say? Jamani asante sana tena sana Mungu awabariki na watende wema. Mtazamaji wangu asante sana kwa kunifuatilia. Asante kwa kunitumia ujumbe kwa kushare ile post Mungu azidi kubariki na kutenda wema wewe ambao umenitakia happy anniversary. Vile vile God aku bless sana my brother na aku, uh, akutende wema tuonane kesho ndani ya fitness tuesday
salam Watoto wakona af Wagari nina elesha Majuma nayo nimejenga Na mshukuru mungu Una kila sababu Ya kumshukuru Shukuru Mungu, 
Sasazi tu tenga nishe Kwa sababu mimi mluya wewe mjalu wa mkiku yu na ule mkisi Eti tu pigani Wana siyasa wasi tu tenge nishe kam Badala yake tu tangazi umoja Upendo amani Tu shika mani tu songeze inchi ye tu mele
Studio welcomes you to its launching and dedication on 5th June 2022 at Kahawa West Nairobi. Miss note, come all, come one. Let's cut this cake and let's dedicate the studio in the high school. Thank you. 
We are taking the first, second, and the third seat in each in each quorum. Praise the Lord. I hope that is clear. Then at the, at the door there, we have the condolence book. So if any one of us would want to leave behind a, a, a condolence message, you can go there and write it down for the sake of the family, and I know it shall be well. Then for them that are new in this place, we have the toilets outside there on the right. The first the, the first line you see the ladies, then at the far far outside you see the jets. So don't be stranded. We are just about to start. Them that are outside, we request you to come in. Wale amau unge kuwa mponje. We ingie dani kwa tuwanze kuwa tuwanze rasmi. Memorial Service ya dada yetu, Pastor Adorable, 
Kwa hivyo kama uko nje nje kusini kwa ujenyekevu uweze kuingia ndani azwisana If you feel you can sit down, I'll just sit. We are waiting for them that are outside. We are about to start, just come in. Just get in. Hey, uh, uh. Sunny Wheel, empty shelter. Ipo siku yangu tu na mimi pia nitabarikiwa Ipo siku yako tu na wewe pia utainuliwa Ipo siku yangu tu na mimi pia nitabarikiwa Ipo siku yako tu na wewe pia utainuliwa Nina paju ju 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 Nina paju chini 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 chini
Nime itwa mbariki wa mana Mungu yuko ndani mangu anafanya kazi yake Ata unitilie dharau Ya dunia nishajika na nina yo Nina anda mapole pole na nina mapole pole Nikitafuta ufambe Mana neno linasema top Taini faunme wa mungu mengine mtongeze wa Nina paju ju 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 Nina paju Chini 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 Siko pare tena Ju 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 Say the goodies. Say with me. Yes, the goodies. Uh huh. You know, a lot of people have been struggling to create beats in this keyboard. Yes, in this keyboard. In your Maha PSR SX 600. And always as your teacher on these things. <laughs> show you something goodies what is that today i want to show you on how to create beats on this keyboard this machine machine you know machine but before we get there what do i want to say kindly let me request you to do this subscribe on my channel and also do what like share comment and also remember that Keeping in touch with me is a good thing that makes us keep going, you know, going. Let me appreciate you also for always supporting this channel, subscribing, liking, commenting. And a lot of people have been calling me from this channel to ask me questions after the last upload that I did for keyboard for Yamaha uh, PSRE S473. A lot of people have been calling, asking questions. People have been calling, asking for the beats. Let me tell you, by the way, there is nothing for free. Oh, if you want the beat, you must make sure that when you call, you are ready to pay. Oh, there's nothing for free now, okay? Nothing for free. Even me, treat where I am. Oh, oh yeah, I spent some cash, okay? Some cash. Now, that's not our problem today. But let me just say thank you for continuous support that you have been giving unto me, subscribing, and making sure that you ask questions and you have been helping a lot of people out there. So today, we are not going to touch any topic aside from creating beat on this Yamaha SAPSR 6600. And today, as your teacher, 
MC Sunday. There is only one MC Sunday Vin. MC Sunday Vin. If you see other MC Sunday Vin somewhere, that is that is that. Let me not say like did you are from Mafia and they get it. Uh, sorry. If you see other MC Sunday Vin somewhere, that is that is a fake MC Sunday Vin. Yes, I know we have MC Sunday. Uh, she's a lady at Mombasa there. Big up MC Sunday. And another MC Sunday Vin, it is me here, aka Pastor Legendary Producer. Now, let us not waste time, but let us go to the business of the day. Big up, let's go. Now, we are here, and the bit that I was using actually, I was the one who created it. When you view on the screen here, and my camera, you can check on the screen, you can check on the screen. The bit that I was using, uh, I'm the one who created it. You can see on the screen is written MC Sunday Vin. And Sunday Vin, that is the bit that I was using actually, actually. Eh? So I'm not doing or rather I'm teaching you what I don't know. So today we are going to create a new uh, bit. We are going to create another bit. And for that reason, my people, let's start. How do we start? We go here to function add uh, menu. You press menu. There is a menu button here. You press it. After pressing menu button, you go you go and use this tab here. Tab here. You press next, and you will see on the screen we are going to the uh, we are using a second menu. Remember there were uh, we were on on first menu. Now, after there, you can see that there are a lot of things there, a style creator, song creator, multi-pad creator, a code tot, uh, tutorial, master tune, and whatever. All right? We do not want that. We just want to create style. The number one, the highlighted one, number one, create style. What do we do? We come here to enter. We enter. Finger. Enter. Press enter like that. After pressing enter, it will show you on the screen. Now, how? It will ask you, do you want to create a new style, create style, or a current style, or new style? What do we want? New style. Where do we go? We press here, down here, down here, 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 yes, new. Now, it is new, it is new. We are starting to make or to create a new style. Now, what do we do next? So, we want to create, uh, let me say we want to create seven, uh -huh. And we don't want to start with rhythm two. We want to start with rhythm uh, one. So we come here, here on rhythm one. You can see on the screen rhythm one. So we come down here, here. Then we hold on this button. After holding on that button, you can see that it brings there. Uh, it goes now to the rhythm one. Uh -huh. Now after there, you can feel that my keyboard is ready for programming. My keyboard is ready for programming. Now, we go and select the voice that we are going to use. We go and select the voice that we are going to use. And on the voice, we are going to take perfect, perfect, and drums. Okay, we press there. Uh, we have pressed this one, okay? Don't mess, oh, don't mess this one. This one, not this one. This one. We have pressed this one. Uh -huh. And we go back to the screen. On the screen... Uh, we have a lot of bits, but because uh, uh, we want the kick, the kick we normally use this uh, electric, electric kit, electric kit. You can see electric kit, kit there. You press after selecting it. You press enter. Always we enter. Okay. After entering, uh, what we do? We exit. After exiting, exiting, exiting button is here. Okay. We exit. After exiting, now we go on. Uh, first of all, let us uh, balance and set the tempo that we need. And I know that we, all of us knows about the tempo. The tempo that we need, we need uh, to use uh, 15. 15, let us balance it to 1, 115. 115, yes, 115. After there, because the kick, we, are do we don't want to play or to complicate the kick, we shall just use a, a, a number one length. Eh? You can see pattern length is on one. one. So we just want to use a length one because we don't want to complicate the kick. All right? Length one. 
Now, after there, where do we go? We start. We start. And remember, when you're creating, please don't forget to put on metronium. Metronium. Metronium is very important to guide you. This one. You hear? Then, when you want to start, remember, okay, we have not started. There are these two kicks that we normally use on the keyboard when creating kicks. Aha, uh -huh, here. This one and this one. So you can select either this or this one. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, what do we do? You put on metronome, metronome on, then come and put on sync start. Okay? Sync start, then you come. And one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You hear? Right, we come and stop. Right, we want now to quantize our beat in case it has not balanced itself while recording. Right, we use a uh, next tab button to press uh, uh, to seek or rather to look for the quantizing. Now, aha, it's already there at the level that we want, though it has a it's, it has a lot of uh, choices on the level and uh, that you want to quantize your beat on. So, after there, we press enter. Press enter. On the screen, it will show you that it's fine. So, in case, in case maybe you want, uh, you want to undo the quantization, you just press enter again. Then you select the size that you want, the size that you want on the screen. All right. Now, after there, let us hear what we have created, the kick. Uh -huh. My kick is cool, eh? My kick is fine. Nice one, nice one. All right, now we want to uh, create snare, snare percussion, and those symbols, okay? Are you ready? Now, what do we do? Or where do we, all right. We want to create, uh, to add snare. And when we want to add snare, what do we do? We go on there, we can see on the screen, uh, it's written uh, record channel. There is where we press, down here, down here. We press record channel. And then it takes us back there to rate theme one and two. So we need to use rate theme two this, this time. So what we do, you hold on rate theme two, you hold here and it comes there. So it is on rhythm too. Now, because we want uh, to play snare percussions and uh, those things, what do we do? What do we do? We set our length. We set our length. Don't mind about my camera today. It is somehow very poor, but I'm sure, let me I believe that you're seeing everything, okay? Let me believe that you're seeing everything. So, we go and set length. Okay, we use next, uh, we use this tab to go to next, uh, here, back here. Then, back here we can see on the screen there is pattern length. Yes, we select length. Uh -huh. and then, after selecting length here, we need to use at least, we set it at four. And then after setting it at four, you press enter. You press enter. Uh-huh. You see on the screen, it's already set. Now, why do we uh, put it at four? Because we need at least when you are playing this, like this. It gives you the option to a paragashantos a snare. Mix those snares. Now, we want to do just that we want to do just that so we are we are going to play now and remember when you feel like your snare has a lot of reverb what do you do you come on the mixer and then you use tab to look for the snares and effects there after we have, we have seen on the screen effect you come back here on this one use this this one uh -huh, you go to reverb you go to reverb here then we want to reduce the reverb we use this one 
we use this scrolling button and then now you can feel my snare now is somehow dry okay all right we want to start are you ready we go we one one two three four Now, for example, I am feeling that that snare have not played the way I want it to be. So I want to remove. How do I remove? You come here on the screen. You can see that there are uh, something written rhythm clear channel delete and drums to set up so you come on these buttons okay you scroll down up to there uh -huh. after scrolling down up to there you come here on channel or rhythm clear you hold on rhythm clear then you come here after when you're holding on the rhythm clear you come on the the, the thing that or rather the part that or the uh, tool or the instrument that you want to delete let me say this one. I press it that way when holding on the other side. Then let's see. Here. Okay, it's not. It's no more there. Then we continue, right? We come back again to create what we feel like it will be good for us. And in one, two, three, we go. Nice one, nice one. Now we go to. Mm -hmm. Quantizing always, I, I told you quantizing. When you go to quantizing, you will use this button. Uh, you come back on the screen, you find that you find that it's uh, still there on the normal size. You press enter, press enter. Aha, let us hear. Nice one. Now let us come, come. We want to add something like I had. Ah, no, 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 that's not good, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good. It is not good at all, it is not good. Yes, and we go to clear, we clear it. Mm -hmm. It's not good. For example, let me say we are using this, okay? All right. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. to quantize and make sure that everything is on the level one level that we need always we use this tab okay uh, whenever you are selecting anything you remember to use this ones and this one and this one for selection after we have selected uh, remember that it's on that size we press and okay let us hear what we have created it. Now, uh, we want to create fill because fill in this bit without fill in, it is not good at all. How will you roll now? How will you roll? We need to create fill, okay? How do we create fill? We come here on this tab, then we go back here, okay? There is section A. So on section A, we use this tab to go on section A. After going on section A, it, it will give you an option here, uh, main A, main B, main C, but we need a fill A. You select fill A, fill in A. Okay, fill in A, it is for... You see? Have you seen that? Something like that. Now, we want to do that 
Yeah. Okay. In two, one, three, let's go. Nice one. What do we do? We go back to quantize it, okay? Uh -huh. Here. Quantize, quantize, quantize. The same size, okay? The same size. Then we press enter. Uh -huh. Enter. Now let us hear. Nice, my friend. This is just cool. It is just cool. All right. Now, by that short, that uh, that short a uh, tutorial, I've just showed you on how to create the beat. We have not yet done. We are going to save the beat. Okay. You see on the screen here, it's written and showing save. Okay, save. Now you come down here. Come down here. You press this one. Save. It will take you to the screen. You see those names. Then you continue by saving. Uh -huh. On the screen, you will see that it's written style, new style. Delete, delete. You can put there your name, your name. Now, let me say that uh, I want to create it right again. MC Sunday V. How do I do just that? Okay, you come here. Mm -hmm. Where, where, where? M, M, M is here. And then you come on the C. C is here. All right. After doing that, you come here. You put a space. One. You just press here. I think you're showing everything. Eh? Uh -huh. After here, you come back and then select a Sunday. S. Uh -huh. U. We are looking for you. You here. Then we are looking for N. N here. Then we are looking for D. D here. Then we are looking for A, A here. Then we are looking for Y, Y here. Then a space. I, ho I hope you're following everything, okay? A space. Then we write VIN. So we are looking for V, V here. VIN, I, I here. N, where is N? Here. After doing that, you come and press OK. After pressing OK, it will ask your name already exists. So we say no. Then we come back here and we write, uh, we add something like maybe say B. We can say B. Uh, okay, or rather we can add an icon, okay? Icon. Let me say I can add this icon. I press enter. Then uh, in front of the name, let me add T, okay? Then I press OK. Here, it is executing, guys. Now, let us test the beat we've just created. Are you ready to test the beat we've just created? Are you ready? Are you ready? My camera person, hold it very good because we want just we just want to test the beat that we created. We want to, uh, to test the beat we created. Are you ready? Okay. Mm -hmm. sisters and my friends. Now, that is how you create the beats on this keyboard. Very simple step. You don't need to struggle. And maybe you need to know how to create beats on other keyboards. Uh-huh. Just call me, ask me any question, and I will make sure that I show you on how to do it. Remember, my number is just one WhatsApp number. One WhatsApp number, and that is 07 You can call me from America. You can call me from China. You can call me from Russia, from everywhere, Nigeria, Kenya, Mom, uh, let me say Tanzania, Uganda, 
South Africa, my people from Ghana, people have been calling me from all over, you see, and that is good. So let me say that don't forget to follow the steps and you will succeed. And those people who are in Nairobi and you are a gospel minister, we are here at Vincent Sound Media or Vincent Media. Here, we teach vocals and everything and we record music at only 3,000, you have one, one single track. So, see you next time and welcome. Please, always do the justice. It is good to do the justice. Subscribe, like, comment, share, and call me for any question and inquiries. So, God bless you and see you next time. Hude!
Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, my Father, I give you glory, I give you honor. I worship you, Father. I bless your holy name, for there is no any other name but your name, O oh God. Thank you for your mercy upon our life. Thank you for your grace upon our life. Thank you for enabling us, oh God, to see this wonderful day. Thank you for enabling us to see this wonderful hour. It has taken your hand. It has taken your power for us to be able to see this hour. I pray that God Almighty, may you be exalted on your throne. I pray that King of Kings, may you be lifted, for there is none like you. No one can ever take your place. No one can ever pause, Father, whatever you, had, you have said. Receive all the glory and the honor. And may you be exalted. Take the preeminence, King of glory. For we are nothing without you. We are nothing without your power. This wonderful hour, my Father, I want to pray that God Almighty, may you, Father, Lord, bless each and every one. May you, Father, touch that soul that God Almighty is down. May you touch that soul that God Almighty needs you this wonderful hour. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My Father, my Father, I pray that God Almighty, may you heal the sick. May you heal the sick. Those who are down, Father, lift them. Those who need you, Father. May you, Jehovah Lord, remember them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I know there are a lot of people outside there. They are crying day and night. Father, some, they, they, some has other problems. Father, they cannot share with anyone. But Father, they are hurting all oh, in their hearts, oh God. Some are sick, oh Father. They are not even, Father, able to stand up or to wake up, Father, and say a word. But Father, we are alive. It is just for you, for your mercy. I pray that God, may you remember them. I pray that God, may you remember them. I pray that God, may you heal them. I pray that God, may you mend that broken soul. In the mighty name of Jesus, for power belongs to you. Honor belongs to you, Father. We take not part of your glory. It all belongs to you, Father. You are wonderful. You are powerful. You are merciful. You are gracious. Father, all glory belongs to you. Let us, Father, disappear for you to appear. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we need to see your power. We need to see your grace. We need to see your anointing. For you are worthy. God Almighty, we raise our voice unto you that God, may you give us peace that we desire. May you give us love. May you give us unity. Father, to unite the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you are gracious. You are mighty. You are powerful. Thank you, Father, for this wonderful moment. Thank you, Father, for my viewers. Thank you, Father, for my viewers. Father, I pray that God may you bless them. I pray that God may you touch them. I pray that may you turn their situation around. Those, Father, who are passing through hardship right now, may you remember them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that soul that is broken, my Father, may you heal it. In the name of Jesus Christ, release the fresh anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, may you touch them. Lift them, Father, to the glory of your name. For power belongs to your Father. You are God. You are mighty. You are powerful. My Father, I trust and believe in you. Unchangeable God, the God that never fails. My Father, may you touch them. May you heal your own. In the name of Jesus Christ, I worship your Father. I give you praise. 
give you praise, love. How I belong to you. How I belong to you, love. How belongs to you. I worship you, Lord. I worship you, Lord. I worship you, King of Kings. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your anointing. Thank you for your power. There is none like it. There is none like it. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I worship you, King of Glory. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hello. Praise the Lord, my viewers. I believe that that prayer has touched your heart. That prayer has healed the person who was sick. And I believe that God Almighty is changing and turning your situation around. Those who are weak, you are going to be strengthened. Those who are weak, those who feel that they have been left out, this wonderful hour, the Lord is doing something in your life. And your life shall never remain the same. Your life is not going to remain the same in the name of Jesus. My father is a promise keeper. My life had, has not been the way it is right now. And my life could have not been the way it is. If it not by the grace of God that has carried me. If it is not by the masses of my father that he picked me from the dust and brought me where I am. If it is not by his masses, I don't know where I, would have, where I would have been or where I could have been. I don't know what I could have said. But because of his mercy, because of his power, because of his grace, today I am here. I am preaching the gospel of God. And so, my brother and my sister, I just want us to share shortly the word of God about the calling and the gift. Praise the living God. But today, I want to focus on the calling. Why am I sharing about the calling? Because I remember, or rather, my history has been like this. Most of the time, I've been ministering through music, through worship, through praises, through praying, playing instruments, because God has blessed me. I can play guitar, I can play drums, I can play keyboard, I can teach music, and God has blessed me in music industry. So most of the time, I've been uh, in music industry ministering that, playing keyboards here and there, and uh, not knowing that God called me in, in a ministry of, uh, w of preaching the word or so. So, uh, most of the time I've been passing the streets and you just find and see people calling me pastor, pastor, pastor. Most of the time when they call me pastor, I've been denying, telling them I'm not a pastor. Some, even you, when you deny that you are not a pastor, they insist. They say you are a pastor. You are a pastor. <laughs> it's like a story of uh, Peter. When Peter uh, tried to run away, he was trying to run away when Jesus was being uh, uh, given the, uh, or, or rather way they was beating uh, Jesus. When they been, uh, by that time when they was mistreating him, Peter was just walking far away. It was like that person you see that is just looking from a far away. He knows you, but he cannot come to accept that he knows you. So it was like that story. So when people used to call me pastor, I always denied. 
Sometimes even my wife and some of his her friend they told me to start something that we can maybe be having like a fellowship and then I denied. But one thing I want to tell you that story is long I cannot I cannot finish it uh it all right now. But I want to say this when God calls you it doesn't matter how long will you run away it doesn't matter how long it will take you it does it doesn't matter that you will deny the calling when god calls you he will make sure you does exactly what he has called you to do and that is what has happened to me now <laughs> yes i am happy because the willing of the will of god is finally taking place in my life so i want to say this sometimes when i am I, i am in a mission when maybe i've gone somewhere for a conference i've gone somewhere for a crusade as normal praise and worship sing a minister of worship when i'm at sleep after praying and god gone to sleep now i hear a voice calling me telling me vincent vincent i am releasing you to go and preach the word and i find myself a work when i look around i don't see anybody i don't see anything but i i start telling god god if it is your will let it be done let it be done so i've been running away most of the time but one thing i want to tell you is that when god calls you when god really wants you to serve him to minister for uh, to his uh, for his glory or rather to minister to his people his word you cannot hide you cannot run away he will pick you from the dust he will pick you from nowhere and he will make sure that you fulfills his will in the name of jesus and that is what has happened to me right now praise the living god if you are sitting you can stand up if you are sitting you can stand up as we share the word of god that is what has happened to me you can move move around move around move around exercise exercise so th- god is wonderful god is powerful there is none like him yes as i've been saying or rather as i was saying that when god wants you to serve him it doesn't matter how long you run away it doesn't matter what you will try or it doesn't matter where how you will try to deny it he will make sure you serve him and i want to say this when you are called to serve the lord through the music through singing you don't need to force yourself in preaching you don't need to force yourself in doing other things you should do exactly what you're called to do like me i didn't know that i was called to serve in the ministry of the war so most of the time i just told people who were telling me that i'm a pastor i have the gift of preaching no i'm a minister of worship and praise and also that and also remember that is a great gift worship and praise because in heaven <laughs> we shall be worshiping praising dancing and exalting the most high god so uh let me cut a story short so that we can uh, go to the word and start a little bit about the gift or the calling and today i want us to learn through the man, one man called jonah in the bible so you can open with me the book of jonah chapter 1 and verse 1 downward the bible or the bible or the word of god says in the book of jonah chapter 1 verse 1 now the word of the law 
came unto Jonah the son of Amittah, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it, for their wickedness is come up before me. You see, God is sending Jonah to go and preach the gospel for people, or rather to people, like now I'm doing. Verse 3, But Jonah rose up to flee unto Tarshish. Now you hear. The Lord is sending Jonah to go and preach the word. But instead, instead of Jonah going to preach the word, he's fleeing away. He's trying to run away. Aha. But Jonah rose up to flee unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord and went down to Joppa. And he found a ship going to Tarshish, so he paid the fare thereof and went down into it to go with them in Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. Verse 4. But the Lord sent out a great wind into the sea, and there was a mighty tempest in the sea, so that the ship was like to be broken. Verse 5. Then the mariners were afraid and cried every man unto his God, and cast forth the war that were in the ship into the sea to lighten it for of uh, them. But Jonah was gone down into the sides of the ship, and he lay and was into the sides, or rather, and he lay fast asleep. Praise the living God. The Bible is teaching us how Jonah was sent or he was appointed by the Lord to go and preach the gospel. But instead of Jonah doing that, he flee away, he tried to flee away to go and run away from this call that uh, was called by the Lord. And you find, if you, if you read the Bible, the Bible tells us that uh, when Jonah uh, paid the fare to run away to go to uh, another country with the Lord, which the Lord did not send him to go to, they came big wind and everyone who was in the ship, they were afraid. They were afraid of what is going to happen to them next. And when you read the Bible downward, it tells you that they started asking uh, to the, uh, each other. They started murmuring. They started uh, uh, calling each other and asking, what is happening? What is happening? Are you the one causing this? Are you the one? They threw a lot of things that they were on the, uh, on the ship so that to make the, uh, the ship light. But actually, the wind never stopped. Until when you read the Bible down there, down there uh, you will find that uh, Jonah confessed that I'm the one who is causing this ship to tramp, to travel. I'm the one who is, co who is causing this ship to tremble. So Jonah told them to throw him or rather to throw him into water so that the ship may continue moving uh, well. So when they threw Jonah into the water, finally the ship came stable and they continued, they continued their journey. Praise the living God. What I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to, uh, to show you, that when God has called you to serve him, you cannot run away. There are a lot of people outside there they are like me they are called to serve the lord but instead of them serving the lord in the category that they have been called into they're running to do other things some are worried of what they are going to eat some are worried of what is going to be next into their life because their life is not stable why they ran away from what God has had appointed them to do. When God appoints you to preach the gospel, you cannot run away. When God appoints you to do something 
even in ministration of worship praising and whatever that god has appointed you to do you cannot run away god always finds a way to bring you back to do what he has appointed you to do the way god has uh, god find the way to bring jonah back to go and do what god has had called him to do you know god bringing a, a fish to swallow jonah in the water so that the fish can be the transport to where god wanted jonah to go you see that you see how god works it is the same way the same thing that happened to me i i had refused to do the way god want but in the place where i was i was chased away like a thief but i was not a thief why when i was chased away actually that was the the end that was the end for me to be employed in churches uh to play piano and do all those it was god's time for me to start to preach the gospel for me to start and uh, preach the gospel of god because most of the time i've been hearing the voice or uh, the voice of the lord most of the time i've been saying now or rather i've been desiring that god i want you to help me so that i may not serve you uh, i may not do what i may not be paid to serve you and i found that my life is just uh terrible most of the time i find that i like something then i find myself then uh, i'm employed somewhere i'm being paid to serve the lord but my heart was not there so uh some few months back there i was just away from where i was uh, employed uh and then my wife told me now the time has come for you to stand to the call that you are called to serve i just looked at her smiled and said let the will of god be done and trust me since i stopped uh serving the lord through payments i've been seeing the lord in my life and i believe that god is going to do something powerful and wonderful in my life and i know through me god is going to save many souls why did i read the book of jonah because the story of jonah is like my story i used to run away i used to ignore i used to say that the time is not yet i used to say that uh, i'm just called in the ministry of worship i cannot preach the gospel i cannot preach the word of god but truly god had a reason god had a purpose with my life he wanted me to go far he wanted me he wanted to lift me from that level that i i saw myself or i was seeing myself in to take me to another level to his glory and it, it goes the same to you who is watching maybe the lord is calling you to do something but you are running away you do not understand some of you you are not even aware what is your call in the church and the bible says that everyone has a, a role to play in the body of christ but many of you you don't know you find that in the church some people are fighting one another instead of uniting the body of christ they are fighting one another you are splitting the body of christ when you see vincent is worshiping better than you when you see that people loves be vincent than you you try to find how you will chase vincent away instead of you uh, strengthening or rather uniting holding one uh, each other's hand with vincent or rather with that person that you see maybe is powerful than you so that you can lift and unite the body of christ you find a way to chase him the person away you start fighting him without knowing 
that maybe that person you are fighting is the person who can help you to also know to also achieve and also understand who you are praise the living God so this wonderful hour I just want to say this that you need to acknowledge you need to know you need to understand who you are in the Lord who you are in the body of Christ you need to know what you are what you should do in the body of Christ many of you have been chased away from churches and you are suffering out there you were a powerful minister you have in, you have gone back uh, to drink uh, uh, in drunkenness you were a powerful servant of God but today as we speak you have lo uh, maybe uh, you lost the hope of serving the Lord I want to encourage you that know the cope that God has called you know the category where God has called you know what you should do you should do in the body of Christ know your place come back from the world come to the Lord and the Lord will bless you as I continue if you are sitting down kindly arise up kindly rise up kindly rise up if you are sitting down I just want you to stretch up stretch, uh, stretch up stretch up hallelujah hallelujah glory to God glory to God I know that we are watching we are being blessed and I want to wind up because most of the time I don't want I don't like to take uh, people's time but I want to leave you with this one that the time has come for you to arise and serve the Lord the time has come for you to arise and know who you are don't just go with other people because they normally go to church on Sunday. Don't just escort other people to go because you see that they are doing, that they are singing powerfully, they are preaching the word powerfully. Yes, it is good to go with them. But you also need to know what is your position in the body of Jesus Christ. You need also to know what is your position. You need to take part of it because we are all servants. Praise the living God. The time has come for you to know and understand who you are. You need to rise up and worship the living God. You need to rise up and do the will of God. You need to rise up and make sure that you preach the gospel of the living God. In the name of Jesus, praise the living God. I know that many of you are watching me. And some of you don't know what to do. You are sitting in the churches, sitting back, you are backbenchers. Even people know you that when you come, you sit back there. You don't know what is your call from starting now start to find out who you are in the Lord let us serve the Lord let us unite the body of Christ and one thing I want to leave you with when you come in the church or when you go in any church don't try to split people's uh, uh, God's people instead when you go there and you feel you're not comfortable live peacefully you find that in churches pastors wives are the ones that are chasing people away because of their evil heart most of them are filled with evil in their hearts so instead of them loving people they feel like people are taking away their husbands they feel like people are trying to compete with them but not competing trust me if God brings you in my church and you are powerful as long as you're in the right way we will serve the Lord together and that is what I want to tell you this wonderful hour that don't allow anyone to pull you down don't allow anyone to make your faith go down but stand firm for the Lord is with you stand firm for the time has come for you and me to rise up and preach the true gospel stand firm because the time is now for us to tell people the true gospel the gospel of the living God the true gospel of the Lord for people to repent for people to know that God is coming that Jesus Christ is coming soon for people to turn their evil way and come back to God for people to understand that we should unite but not divide the body of Christ 
Many churches are out there, but instead of uniting, they are fighting one another. They are fighting one another because they are in competition. You need not to compete, but stand firm. If you see your brother preaching the gospel, as long as he's preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, you should go and, and give him strength, or rather give her strength. Because it is the right thing to do. May the Lord God bless you as you meditate upon that word. May the Lord God bless you as you start meditating to understand who you are in the Lord, who you are in the body of Jesus Christ. Praise the living God. God bless you. God bless you and God lift you. Allow me to pray for you or rather to pray with you as I wind up. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, thank you for your word. Thank you for allowing us to share your word. Thank you for allowing us to hear your word. And thank you, Father, for enabling us to understand who we are. Thank you for opening our minds. Thank you for opening our ears. That God, we've heard your word. Let your word work in us. Let your word bring new revelation. In the name of Jesus Christ, my Father, my Father, lift us from one glory to another. Elevate us, Father. Father, make us to understand who you are in us and give us the knowledge to understand. Give us the wisdom to know who you are and what you want. Father, help us to unite your body, but not to split it. In the name of Jesus Christ, for God, we desire to know you more. I pray for my listener. I pray for my viewer that God Almighty, may you, uh, may you enable them to understand who they are in the body of Christ. In the name of Jesus, this wonderful hour, let the word bless your people. Let the word lift your people. Let the word make them to go to another level. In the name of Jesus Christ, expand their mind. Expand their mind. Expand them. In the name of Jesus, for you are powerful. You are wonderful. You are gracious. You fail not. You change not. You are the same yesterday, today, tomorrow and forever. The real miracle still exists in you, Father. For I know that God, if you trust and believe in you, my Father, you are turning around to the glory of your name. My Father, you are bringing the true gospel to your people. In the name of Jesus Christ, this wonderful hour, do something new in the life of your people. Father, touch them, heal them. Father, and we shall say thank you because Lord, receive all the glory in the horn because I know that God, you've answered and you're going to bless them. You're going to bless us and lift us. And it's in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray and believe. Amen. God bless you. See you next time. Shalom.
my friends, greeting my brothers, praise the living God. I hope you are alive and I hope that you are healthy. I hope that you are, uh, you are happy wherever you are. And if you're not happy, just know that the Lord is going to give you happiness. Yes, my names are Minister Vincent Sunday, the preacher of the gospel the minister and music industry and the producer. I'm glad to come to you this wonderful hour to just share a little wisdom with you and tell you how precious you are, how wonderful you are, how worthy you are. And I'm glad that you are watching this video with me. Yes, uh, as, a, as a minister of the gospel, I have been moving around the world. I've been moving here and there in ministration. And I've met a lot of people on the way. i met good friends. i met friends who, who later on became enemies. And I've met the disappointers. I have met the encouragers who have encouraged me in one way or another. I met the failures who have made me to think, to see like I cannot make to do some things. But in all of these things, I've remained focused and I've remained strong in the Lord. So this wonderful hour, I just want to share with you about two friends that maybe I have met on the way. And maybe you have also met them, or rather, you will, meet, you will meet them later. These two types of friends, one, they are those friends who tell you that uh, in whatever you've decided to do, in this journey you have decided to take, I will support you. I will stand with you to make sure that we finish it powerfully. And there is this friend... When you meet them, they just tell you openly and frank, I cannot support you because I don't see where this thing is going. So we have those two friends in this life. Now, all of these friends are good. All of these friends, they have value. All of these friends, they can add value in your life or make you to lose hope in whatever maybe you had planned to do. So, my question tonight is, uh, between these two friends, whom, we, whom will you choose or whom can you choose? That is a question to yourself. Keep an answer for yourself. Because there are these friends, the first type of the friend that I said, there are these friends who tell you that, uh, in this decision you have taken and this vision that you have decided or started, I will stand with you to the end. Now, when you find that kind of friends, don't push them away. Or rather, don't bring them too close to yourself. Because you need to be careful with them. Some of them, they come close to you to steal the idea that you have. Some of them, they come to you because of the benefit they will get from you. And some of you, they come to you to destroy you. That is the first type of the friends that I talked about, I told you. Now, when you find such a friend who, is, who tells you that I will stand with you, I'll go with you, I want you to put this in your mind. That it's okay for them to tell you that. It's okay for them to promise you. It's okay for them to stand with you. But one thing I want to I want you to know, the vision is for you and you alone. When you get a vision, when you have a vision, it is you who must push the vision to the end. But if you 
Start thinking that the people who will come, they're the one who will help you or that the one who will make sure that the vision is achieved. And then I can tell you, Frank, I can tell you frankly that that is not possible. In everything, in every organization, in every ministry, in every uh, business, we have one person who sat down and thought and said to himself or to herself that I want to start this sad thing. God help me when I start this. And then the person started and the person took an action and went or, or rather started to do whatever he had planned or thought in his mind or her mind. And later on, he met other people along the way. And the people came in and then they strengthened the person. Remember, the vision barrier cannot die. The vision barrier, even, even when you have those people, one thing you want to know that when you, you give up on that vision, even those, even if those people will say that we'll continue with it, they will not make it to be the way you had thought of it or the way you had planned for it to be. So I want to tell you that when people come to you, yes, welcome them, embrace them. But remember that no one will stand with you to the end if it's not only the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. Our Lord Jesus Christ, he said that he will be with us to the end. No matter what comes, no matter what arises, no matter what happens in your life, no matter what arises, no matter what tries to shake you, I want you to know that Jesus Christ is the beginning and the end of all things. And when you put your trust in him, he will never disappoint you. Men, people can disappoint you. Even your own family can disappoint you. Even your own lover, your husband, your wife, your children, your father, your mother can disappoint you. But God Almighty cannot disappoint you because he is a promise keeper. And whatever he promises, he fulfills. That is why I want to encourage you this wonderful hour. That if you put your trust in God, he will never leave you. If you put your trust in God, he will not disappoint you. If you put your trust in God, he will not let you down. But he will stand with you to the end of it. So this wonderful hour, my brother and my friend, whichever situation you might be going through right now, whichever situation you might be passing through right now, I just want to encourage you that there is one person who died for you. There is this one person who offered himself and died on the cross for your sins. That is our Lord Jesus Christ. And actually, all this year that I've believed in him, he has never disappointed me. He has never failed me. He has never told me lies like any other people does. So put your trust in him. Don't put your trust in men. Don't put tr your trust in your pastors. Don't put your trust in any living being in this world. Put your trust in God and he will never leave you. Now as I finish, or rather as I wind up, there is this another person I say that a friend who comes when, or rather when you come across them and give them the vision you have and the idea you have, they can, they will tell you frankly and openly, for sure, that is a good vision. But as for me, I cannot support you. Trust me, those are the people you should stuck or stick on because in the future, they may be the ones that there will be pillar in your life. Some other people, they want to know the step you have taken. If they see that you have taken a step strongly and you have stood, you have not been shaken by wind, you have not been shaken by storms, they come across now and they say, now, oh, so you were serious, my brother. Okay, so I am with you. So be careful in choosing friends. And also, as I find, I finish, I want to say this. Know that you are the one who carries the vision Know the people who are coming around. So don't give up when you see them running away. Don't give up when you see that you're trying to do this, but no one is embracing it. Know that whatever decision or whichever decision you decide, or rather the vision you have, 
Go on your knees. Pray about it. Call God. Involve our Lord Jesus Christ in it. And for sure, he will go with you. He will never leave you. Because our God is a promise keeper. And he will make sure that you finish the race. Because he has never disappointed. God bless you so much for listening to me. God bless you so much for watching this video. God bless you as I welcome you to our Sunday services. Every Sunday starting 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. We have our service in Kahawa West at El Shaddai Rescue Branch. Come, one come all. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we shall be having a powerful service like never before. And the gospel must go on. Shalom and God bless you. Look at the GP, a special ones, huh? Oh my God. 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 This day, the day of joy. Tell the person who's sitting next to you, this day is a day of joy. Not looking gloomy. Not having sorrows where you are. This is a day that we should be happy. Isn't it? Now smile as you be a big part. And now today we are not going to be good seeing languages, okay? Because we have mixed over here. We have Swahili people, we have Uganda, we have Samian, and we have English people. So when you when you hear me speaking English people, you know that we have this inside here who knows only English. And when I start to work on the people like our team, you also understand. Because we also have those people in here. <laughs> and now when I go back, they are going to find the same about to again and go! so that we can continue with our program. Although we are late at uh, our program, but I think we should run, we shall run, we will continue until we are through with this, and the day will be successful. See me all. So I hope that they are ready, so that I ask them to me. I don't think they are ready. Somebody can check for me and then. Sunday evening <laughs> It's time to light the gospel shine Shine up heaven above Never letting down Hakuna mtu Aweza ikushika mkono Haka kuangoza Hadi misho wa safari Hari mana wana damu Awa necha ni kudangaina Hila kuna emo Haki kushika utafi Asasa Ikefika wakati wa mamule na mbima Kuna wae Hawezi kubukisha Nimejaribu wei Lakini kila mtu wanafika mahali na choka Takiri Yesu wame nishika Kwa nige hadi za kezu milele Haki kushika haku waji Sika mawingine watakutupa Matatizo ya ki ingi ya Rafiki wa kweli, rafiki mwena Yeah, yeah, yeah 
kujeni kwangu jinsi mlivyo ngo kwa mimi mitawabadilisha makosa yenu pia tayafuta hey 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 na nitawafanya kuwa viumbe vipya nyumani kwangu tafakia huyo ndiye Mungu ninayeongelea aisa mwadhami alisema ngija kwangu nitayafuta nitawafanya kuwa viumbe vipya the gospel higher wanaosema gospel imeenda chini basi hawajui ni nani wanayemtumikia ha ha kwa ni Yesu huyu anakushikaga tena kwa dhambi ya kutowage hakubadilisha uwe kiumbe kida eh hey, hey. nimeona wengi wamepona waliona niwa hawawezi wameinuliwa kwa neema yake pale dunia Sema ukimwi hauna dawa ukijanga kwa Yesu tu haraponya kwani tatizo gani linalo mshira umejaribu kwa watu wa dunia maana kitari wa msema impossible kwake anasema ni pokwa kwani rafiki ya Yesu adanganyi yeye jana leo na milele akikushika I 
Those tables gon' be on that snag Give me that strength, oh Give me that strength
No, 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 no. Ma, 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 Viogozi wote Warumisha mami Wahubiri Wahubiru pendo Hatutaki kamwe Umwagi kaji wadamu Tunachotaka Ni upendo Simu leo pita Tulimwaga damu Na kuwana Wandugu Shiriki 
Amani upendo ndio tunataka Amani upendo ndio tunataka Amani upendo ndio tunataka Kenya Amani upendo ndio tunataka Kaskazini mashariki tudumishe amani Kenya Amani upendo ndio tunataka Katika mipaka yetu tudumishe amani Si basi na kwambia ni hapa hapa katika Sky Note Match of Market eh? <tipos> Wakati wengine wanapandisha bei basi na shukisha chini chini na chini na kimisa <tipos> Basi nambake hapa kila kitu napata kwa bei na kutumeangusha bei zitu sawa sawa <tipos> Eh ni nini nauliza macho kiko tu basi mwenda kwa hile mepata kime pandisho <tipos> Sisi nakwambia mwona kutu napata na bei na kutu katika Sky Note Match of Market <tipos> Na bila kusahau pia na kuzawadia zawadi tele tele kwa sababu ni msimu wa Christmas. Tunajua kwamba unataka ukajiendoeke pamoja na familia yako. Au vipi? Eh mimi unapita hapa katika Sky Note Mart supermarket na kuja nanunua cha kitu hapa ndani. Yeye anakuja anafanya shopping hapa hapa ndani. Yeye anasisika kwambia kwamba walani ndio mambo yatakuwa safi mambo yatakuwa sura hata. Inao kufanya shopping ya KF moja kwenda jumba na kisa na kutoa zawadi. Yaani watu wazimbe kuwe pesa za watu maana kwa vidhana bei ya bia juu yani. Unakuja hapo unafanya tu shopping hapo kwa bei nafu basi. Tunakwambia kwamba kwa kwanza alf moja kwenda tu basi unapata zawadi keke basi. Unapata zawadi kama tishi ta. Eh unapata zawadi kama kofia sateni sana pamina sisi. Thank you so much for choosing this kind of tomorrow supermarket. Eh yes supermarket yako na yako hapo. Ah bebe. Eh ni Yeah, 
Isaya arbaini na moja Usari wa kimtogo wa kumi
wale ni tangazia vita wakasema wamenipa siku hata wale nilio waeshi wali sema nisi kitu tena wakani hatarisha wakani abia naelekea kwenye hatari pasipo wao kujua kwamba mimi nilijikana msalaba mwenyewe hata kama vita vita inuka juu yangu mkono wake utanishika aliahidi kwenye kitabu cha Isaya albanera moja atoni ata mara ahadi zake ni za milele halichokisema lazima atimize toto twingine hapa tunataka tuulize ulize maswali si ndio sasa tunataka tuulize hawa watoto maswali tuko hapa twingi unaona ni tudogo alafu kuna kengine hapa kafupi aka aka kamsea aka aka mseka kwa mabanono so, nataka kutuuliza uliza maswali sawa haya tuanze na nani tuanze na nani kuuliza nani maswali mimi tuanze na wewe haya Kuja kuja huko. Ni basari ya. Kuja hapa. Asali ikara hau. Ikara hau de. Sio ndio vitu koziko huko. Na hawa toa hii. Lakini tutakuja tutarudi. Huyu hapa ni mwanzako. Huyu hapa ni mwanzako. Huyu ni mwanzako. Oh. Eh, utaki. Aya, mwenzako ni mgani pita hebu muulize ule kama ule ni mwenzake. Aya na huyu. Na huyu. Ah, 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 ah,
Pigo picha na mwenza mwenzako huyu huyu eh akuje hebu waenda amekataa hauna shughuli na yeye tena eh sio ni mwenzako huyu Suni beshta ako bwana, wewe ni beshta. Ombe ruka kuchelele. Mimi rafiki yako. Mimi rafiki. Ni wado. Wewe ni mzako si ndio? Hapana mimi naona, naona huyu. Huyu huyu ndio mwanzako wewe. Huyu huyu. Nani huyu? Uyo. Uyo. Oh, uyo. Ah, bas, uyo. 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 Anastasia Mdoni, kweni ni wapi? Atena huko. Kwani hujui kweni? Kwa dawot? Wa daka. Ah huyu hata huyu anaanga maneno mengi, si ndio? Huyu hayuko fan. Wacha tuulize huyu. Ah tika tika wewe. Unataka kumuuliza kwa Kiswahili. Unaitwanga aje? Nataka tena ile. Ate wewe We unaishinga wapi? Kwenu ni wapi? Nakule. Nakule. Kunaitwa aje? Kidhuradi. Kunaitwa aje? Ah sasa nikuulize masharia. Kwa hao watu wote bu angalie vizuri. Ah simameni huko. Nataka kuuliza. Kwa watu wote simama hapa simama hapa simama hapa Kwa watu wote hao wote wote hao wote wote eh Ehe unapenda mgani hebu angalia mmoja hapo niambie ni gani unapenda Angalia wote angalia wote angalia wote kabisa Ehe unapenda mgani Oreko Please aitwa anaitwa ngaje Praise Ah mbona upendi huyu huyu? Kwani huyu si rafiki yako? Huyu. Ah ngoja. Si huyu ni beshta yako huyu. Kwa nini? 
Kwa nini si besta yako? Ha? Kwa nini si besta yako? Ngoja nikuulize. Angalia hapa masharia. Angalia hapa, angalia hapa. Ulisema kwa hawa nani anakojo anga? Eh? Onyesha, onyesha, onyesha vizuri nani? Ngani? <laughs> Aya, na huyu ulisema si rafiki yako kwa nini? Ulisema huyu si mwenzako kwa nini? Eh? Mbona ulisema huyu si mwenzako? Huyo. <laughs> Yeah. When you are given this, it means that you are a leader. Yes. So, you are a leader in God's kingdom. Yes. Thank you very much. You are a leader in the kingdom of God. Say thank you. Yes. Bishop is also a leader. And when you get this, it means you are a leader. Thank you so much. Ah, yeah. <laughs> now, ma'am. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bishop, leo na vai. Ai. Ai.
sehemu yangu rafiki rafiki yangu wewe katika katika safari yangu yangu wewe katika katika safari yangu tatembe tatembe na wewe pamoja pamoja na wewe pamoja pamoja na wewe katika katika safari yangu
Tumevikwa utukufu Hadama Mfano wako Hakuna Na tena Patajwa puchina Lako Uzima Wapatikana Kwa hivo Kando na we Yewe Sija mwona Aliye Kama wewe Pokea sifa Pokea Sifa mwona Takatifu pako Dipo ni na itajikuwa Ni kuabudu wewe Peke fame wangu Uliezi fanya mbingu na inchi Ni nani wakulinga nishwa Na wewe Hakuna 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 Yeah Wakupinga neno lako bwana lakini hata moja hakuna aliyeweza kamwe he bwana inanitia nguvu kujua kwamba wewe upande wangu he he bwana pokea sifa zangu Si wewe ungelikuwa upande wetu basi maadui wetu wangetumeza hai Pokea sifa maana ni wewe tu pekee Kuinua wewe tu Atuja okolewa Kufanya biyashara Tafauti buwanda Hila kukuinua Na kusema Pukea sifa Ulie kuepo mwanzo Upo sasa Na bado utakueko Nani wakubishana na we Haku Pokea sifa zangu bwana Pokea sifa bwana Pokea sifa zangu bwana Pokea utukufu Niwewe, niwewe tu Pokea sifa bwana Pokea sifa bwana Pokea utukufu 
mama na baba nimeamini maneno mlioniambia ni ya kweli siku moja mama kanipita sabe ni kanambia mwanangu kechicheni nataka nikueleze jambo moja eh kwani mimi mama yako Nana kamingi umu duniani lakini nataka nikwambie ukweli ambao utauona usimwamini wanadamu yeyote kumu duniani maana wanadamu kote wabadilika hata yule unayemwita mpenzi wako kwa karibu Hata kugeuka ukiweka tumaini lako kwake ila kuna mtu mmoja ambaye nilimwamini hata mimi tangu nilipozaliwa tumboni kwa mama yangu huyo rafiki ukimwamini hawezi kuacha kamwe wala kukuangusha Hauta kutala na hilo uh, Uwe kama tumaini yako kwake Hato kuwacha kamwe Anaitwa na hey, hey, hey. Kaniita kanyambia mwanangu Joke tena mi Nina jambo moja nataka nikwambie eh Ya kwamba duniani hakuna mali pana raha Kama sio kwa Yesu ukimtambua utapona eh Mama rafiki unaona wana kwambia wako na wewe wakati uko mema utawaona karibu na wewe lakini kosa kidogo ipo utajua marafiki wa kweli hakuna rafiki duniani kwa dhati marafiki utakusaidia tu wakati uko mema wakati una wapa pia wao watakusaidia lakini wakilemea ati umeishiwa mwanangu hakuna rafiki wa kweli duniani usiweke tumaini lako kwa mwanadamu nikamuuliza baba sasa ni tumaini nani bana nikitemea kote kote nikienda kwenye kazi ya mziki na kutana na wala hata makanisani pia nimekutana na marafiki wengi wameniaidi kunisaidia kifedha na watanishika mkono mimi niamini nani baba kaniambia mwanangu sikia nikueleze kuna rafiki mmoja Aliye mtoa mana we wa peke na huyo rafiki ukimwamini yeye peke hawezi kuangusha milele wala atakuachilia anasema iwe kwa njaa iwe kwa magonjwa iwe kwa shida iwe umelazwa huyo rafiki tu ndio anaweza kuokoa Oh, 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 oh. Ukitaka kujenga nyumba, kununua gari, hata kuanzisha biashara. Mwamini huyo tu na yeye ni Mungu. Baba yetu kwa mbinguni akamtuma Yesu Kristo aje katufilie. Madhambi zetu zote akazichukua. Mwamini Yesu tu. Yes, 
siku moja nikajaribu marafiki zangu tukapanga na ovyema lakini mara ya mwisho wakaniangusha pia nilikuwa na rafiki aliniahidi wakati umeisha wakati hauna kitu nipigie tu simu mimi nitakutumia kitu na utakula ha siku moja nilishangaa kiniambia hey, mimi sio benki yako wala mimi sio mtu wa kukupatia patia tu na hapo hapo nikamini maneno nini yoambiwa ni kweli usimwamini mwanadamu weka tumaini lako kwa Yesu Kashida zako zisiluisho kwa mani Mwachie mungu Mwachie mungu Ata wale Mwachie mungu Ata wale He's the chief immediate The priest to the all Mwachie Mwachie Ata wale Ata wale Mwachie mungu Ata wale Kusumbuwa umebebe shwa mizigo ni Paneno ya nakusumbuwa ya nakutesa na kuanga isha Umezungu kaka waganga na wafumbu wajumi ya hau japata jibu Maada kitari na o wamekupa masiku ya kwamba Hizi ndizo zimebaki nataka ule temzigo kwa keyesu Umambie na epi ya tunjaribu Anasema mni jaribu muone kama sitatenda Sitatenda Anna it wa chief mediator The provider and his protector Hila kitu kwa kekiko sawa Hile unalona gumu mulete Mwachia mungu Ata wale Mwachia mungu Ata wale Mwachia mungu Mwachia mungu 
Cause it is the late quarter Yeah, you're taking the info Me mwambi ni flow Haki sema kamba haki tenda Hakuna wakusima makinyume na ye Nina kumbuka mea kakada po yuma Hata mimi nilitoseka Hata mimi nilipitia Sikujua kwa mba nitakuwa jinsi nilivo Lakini yesu alipo ingi ya maisha ni imangu Hame ni barilisha Leo ni mimo ni ushikuda Hey, hey Ana ito history change up from this keeper Out for me, the beginning and the end Who came to reboot on a mambo ya keni kweli Na hami na Oh Wati Ni hino kumu kwa ke Unaona kwa mbahali wezi weze kana Umezunguka zunguka kwa waganda Wafumu wa dunia wamesema yu weze kani Nataka ulilete kwa ke Mana yeye pike ndiyo ana final say Final say Final say Final say Final say Sometimes it's good to do this work. Uh -huh. At least to make yourself flexible and also know how you can do your things in your house. Uh, right? Yeah. So me I do I do like doing this. Yeah. If despite of at a if despite of one a chair at mini boss, I'm a kufanya mini. I like doing this. Mm. Because art a mini in a kind of form Even if you notice when I come in, uh -huh. you have never found me at Niko Shadi or Manini. Yeah. Right? That's so true. it is better off to help each other sometimes. Yeah. Because it's not a matter of finding that you but I have so many clients who come in, and they'll find the place if you can shag in a car by a sana, and they won't like the place, right? Yeah. So, a funny guy, a kama melemeo, it's fine. I can do help. Manake, it is all go working together. Yeah. Na improving the company, right? Yes. So only depend a sana to find it. Hello. Yes. Eh, mi ni kosa wa. Eh, wakanda wapi? Oh, kosa wa. Sasa, mi ni ni koka zi, sai ni koka zi. Eh, singe kujaza sai. Sasa, ni kikuja tu tonge ya. Uningoa, jua uningoa jana ni takuja. Sasa. 
Eh, pia wasalimia sana. Eh. Sawa. Finally, wow. ah, finally, ah. oh my god, it's so good you are good, hey, you are this good now, I finally find a job now, hey, <laughs> after Kutemba, you say, hey god, thank you, oh my god, this is good, let me go and ask this, <laughs> Uh, hi, hi guys. Hello. How are you? Yes. Uh, uh, I want to talk to the boss. I want to talk to the boss. Okay, I want to talk to the boss of the company. Yes, boss. What do you want? I want to talk to the boss. What do you want? I'm asking you. Madam, I'm not talking to you. If you're not talking to me, shut up. Ah, shut up. I want to talk to the boss. What do you mean, Saidia? I want to talk to the boss. Are you the boss? What do you want here, Mr. What do you want? Where are you going to talk with people like you? You are putting on feet water, you are putting on Do you think I can talk with people like you? You are putting on feet water, you are putting on In fact, you deserve that the job you are doing. Where one? I want to talk to the boss. Some people I've been looking for ah, I want to talk to the boss. Ah, some of say ideas. Just say what you want. Ah. Sasa, who is this? What is this? Me, I'm not talking to you. Shut up. You continue what you are doing. <laughs> ah, in fact, oh, that is secretary. Yeah? <laughs> secretary. Secretary. Okay. What kind of people are these? Ah, who are these people outside there? Imagine, I, 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 I am, I'm, oh my God, Paka Kizungu hmm? okay. I'm looking for the boss. Imagine I talk to your people outside there. Nowadays. Instead of them telling they me the boss, where the boss is, they're just making the noise. What do you mean, Are you learning? Yes, but Are you learning? Are you educated? Do you have documents? Yeah, you put a ukipika makelela kupiga ukipika. Unaingia kwa ofisi ya nani hivyo? Yeah, eh? secretary. Ni kwa ofisi ya nani unaingia hivyo? I want to talk to the boss. Tunataka kuongea na boss. I want to talk to the boss. Na mimi nimeuliza swali moja. Ni kwa ofisi ya nani unaingia? Madam. Salamu. Madam. Eh, madam. Kwa ofisi. Madam. Eh? I am Mr. Vincent. Uh -huh. Or you can call me Bwana Oviambo. Oh, yes, okay? Vincent. Eh. I am learned, I'm educated, I have documents, and I have diplomas here, my certificate. You can check them out. You can check them out. Ah, no, 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 no. Siezi, siezi. You wezi kwa sababu is not your level. Anyway, where's the boss? I want to talk to the boss. Kita ni tuambie. Unianembe, ebus mama. Can you stand up? Stand up. Good. Turn around. Sit down. <laughs> you see, now who is the boss around here? I ordered you to stand up, you stood up. I ordered you to, to, to turn around, you turned around. And I ordered you to sit down, you sit down. So who is the boss? Bwana natuwa kuangia na boss, ala. You are wasting my time. Are you... Usha wa yenda job wengine wewe. Usha ikuwa na job. Look at me. <laughs> Do you think this kitambi is for nothing? My friend, we are learned. So tunafanya kazi ya manager. We don't just do any, any work. Kitambi donini. This is now the level. Ebony in part me and base boss of what? Yes. Unataka job. Yes, Nataka cars like Nataka no mena was money. For Sababu, my education does not allow me to talk to people like you. Now I took it with the Nesco Palinje. Come on, Makin, come at your funga to be less on the camera, come a potest, you come a toko masaini, Kijana Mangina Pan and Bad Yosoja. What kind of people are those? Panica Mama, do no honor. I love who? I tell you, come back to Moza. Yes. Hey Kenya. What do I Kenya? Hey, what a kuanga we ndi ne. Hey, um tu anadiringa, kudiringa. Listen. Kudiinu atu. Awatakangi kuambi wakitu. What do you do? Um tu anadiona gani? Madam, me me ni mesoma. Sawa sawa. Do you even can you even talk English? 
Do you know how to talk Chinese? Chong Chong Li? How you? Who? Mi yeah. Mi mi si, mi si Can you talk yo. French? Bonjour. Mi si so I'm learned. I want to talk to the boss. In fact, you're wasting my time. Where's the boss? Hey. I want to talk to the boss. Yes, I want to talk. Hey, aha. Who get fired? Who get tumbled? No, no. He's only the one Eh, kaga ni kale kacap kapa le. Ako kaca mama apo. Ako kaca ah kale kale takata. Ako kile kame kame mama tambara. Ako. Ako ni ko. Uyo sasa ni boss. Kasi ako. Mo ni ni ta ako. Uyo boss. This company has. Buna propaganda. Nani boss? Who is the boss? Uyo ni boss. Bosses are like me. Okay? So let me talk to the boss, not that person. But I'm going to boss. Ah, you are wasting my time. I want to talk to the boss. Ah, Rakisha, Aish, Mulata, or boss, no Mulata. Ako ako, you know the boss, Rakisha, Rakisha, Rakisha. Ah, you are wasting my time. Let's go. I don't know. Back at the other boss, back at the other boss. You talk to him, Mulata, because you do the job, and I. Don't talk to him, Rakisha. We must not talk to him, Rakisha. No way. Mulata, Kuta, Mulata. What are you doing? Kuta, Kuta, Kuta. Television, Why you not taught one of yes. yes. Why you not taught I, I can make your company at least to come. Yes. So you what? With this rudeness of yours, mm. talk to my secretary the way you want. Okay, Enter my cup and start can, shouting can, at can people. This out? Calling can the me? boss a camada monkey. What are Madame, you? you can check my document. Why now? should I check your stupid document? Ah, because you are not educated. That's why you come with fake documents, right? They are not fake, madam. These are uh, fake documents. Even uh, if yeah, I check, yeah. I can see that you are fake. Uh, madam. Despite your, do you okay. think those people who just wear the shaggy things or they wear clothes, you think they are just mere people? You think so? No, madam. You I'm think sorry. so? I'm sorry. You are sorry for what? Keep I'm the sorry. sorry for yourself. Next time, I don't... Mulachake, don't Dio. ever allow such people in my company. Dio. Right? Dio. If you don't want to lose your job, don't. Can you get this person out of the house? Mula, 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 Nilian mama ni popo tene kita futan sa ada si pada hey yeah. Kwa ganga na wafumu wa dunia nilizunguka kote kote ni kita anisaidiwe akundari ni yoko hata nika acha wokovu nika sema labda pale dunia ni ni yoko na ushindi siku pada. Lakini mwisho wake mika kutuwa kwa mbanyia zangu Kili kuwa zimpende zimungu Nika mjajere ya yeye Oh, haka nitengeneza na leo na imba na sifuwe Kwa 
friend don't like her What now I'm Nilianza kufanya mambo yangu mwenyewe Hata bila kukumbuka kwamba mimi nili uwata na ufamfano wake mwana Lakini acha ni kwambie Tafuta kwanta ufalme wa mungu Hayo mengine ya takufatilia Usio kobe Hata kama unafungi wa nyumba Unafukuza kwa sababu mekosa tela Usio kobe Mwambie mwambie
come up since I received Jesus in my life. I've seen his goodness, he has always been with me.
Wow, wow. Sante sana mpenzi mtazamaji. Tunamshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu nafasi na nyakati ametupatia tena ili kukutana hapa hapa. Bila mbavu waswahili wanasema kwamba kama ni mvuvi wa poeza basi tunakutana hapo mwambani na tumekutana katika makala ya mshawishi hapa ni Hope TV ambapo natazama unapata kuishi mimi ni mwalimu Shaban Mlima lakini kabla hatujazama katika makala siku ya leo ningependa tufanye jambo moja ambalo Mwenyezi Mungu ametusi na ametuomba na akatuidhinisha tu tunalifanya mara kwa mara na hiyo ni kupatia nafasi ya kwanza kabisa katika maisha yetu kama vile ilivyo kawaida ya makala yetu basi tumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu katika maombi Baba yetu na Mungu wetu jina lako ni jina kuu kuliko majina yote. Maandiko yanasema kwamba umeketi juu zaidi ya mbingu na huko katika maskani yako una inama kuitazama mbingu na kuitazama nchi. Tunakushukuru mfalme wetu na bwana wetu kwa kutupatia nafasi nyingine njema kabisa ili kwamba tupate kuungana pamoja mimi na mtazamaji wangu kukupatia sifa na ibada kupitia kwa njia ya nyimbo na kukutukuza katika mashuhuda ya maisha yetu. Kwa hiyo ni mfalme wetu kwa hivyo pokea sifa na utukufu ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba na kushukuru. Amen. Natumai kwamba umesema amina popote ulipo basi raha ujipe mwenyewe keti mkao wa kula vile waswahili wanasema keti mkao wa tayatu. Sasa hapa ndo penye umefika makala ni mshawishi na leo nimekuletea kaka ambaye uh, ana vingi tu. Yeye ni mwingi wa vitu sana. Yeye ni producer wa muziki mwimbaji wa nyimbo za injili, mwalimu wa sauti na mwalimu wa kucheza vyombo. Kwa hivyo yeye mwenye ni package moja nzito sana. Kwa hivyo kaa vizuri, kaa wima manake hapa tukishaanza safari inakuwa ni mufti kabisa. Na ungependa kuzungumza pamoja nasi, sasa nenda katika mtandao wa kijamii fungua Facebook yako, angalia Hope TV Kenya, piga comment yako hapo tuachie mawasiliano hapo na nambari ya mawasiliano ujumbe mfupi ni mbili 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 tatu mbili kwa hivyo zungumza pamoja nasi na vile vile tuko twira unaweza kututafuta katika at hope tv underscore ke au at mwalimu shaban au at shaban mwalimu zote mbili zinafanya kazi huyo ni mimi na ni mtu mmoja kwa hivyo namshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kaka vini unaitwa papa vini kabisa ile jina nzuri sana asante ndio jina la kuzaliwa la kitambulisho Ah, sio jina la kuzaliwa ila vini de la kuzaliwa. Mhm. Ah, lakini ni shorten. E unafaa kuwa Vincent. Kwa hivyo majina kamili ya kitambulisho na Vincent Sande. Una majina mawili? <laughs> Vincent Sande Odhiambo. Hapo kabisa. <laughs> <laughs> yes, kabisa. <laughs> Sasa niko na kaka Vincent Sande Odhiambo ambaye tuko naye katika makala ya siku ya leo lakini sasa tukimpenda kutumia jina lile ambalo ni la kisani jina ambalo linafahamika zaidi katika himaya na katika tathnia ya mziki. Mm. Kuna ule wimbo wako ambao unaitwa ni nani kama wewe? Ndiyo kabisa. Huu wimbo umezaliwa wakati gani? Kabla tujaanza kukufahamu zaidi, tuanze mm. kufahamu wimbo wako wa kwanza. Ah, uh, huu wimbo uh, ka actually umezaliwa like uh, 2018. Au oh. 2018 ndio wimbo niliupata kutoa so it's like a uh, 3 years down the line miaka mitatu sasa yes. na bado unapaa na unasonga vizuri sana kabisa na unapata kwenye youtube sure unapata na kwenye youtube nikirudi yeah. mpenzi mtazamaji nitakupatia sehemu ambayo utaupata wimbo huo katika youtube lakini kwa sasa tuone raha kwanza nani yes. kama wewe oh hallelujah ya wewe shilo kutoka kwa budu wana Utukufu ni kwako Nani kama wewe bwana Hakuna mwingine ukulinganishwa na wewe bwana Ni wewe pekee Nani kama wewe bwana Hakuna mwingine Ya 
Nyanza kuina mia Wanda Masafi na makerubi Wana kwa budu milele Na mi Na inuwa sauti yangu Kusema Hakuna kama wewe Hakuna kama wewe Wewe ni mungu wangu Hakuna mungine kama wewe Maofana nishu na yeote Mwana 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 Ufame wako Baba ni wajabu Jisu nabo tena kazi yako Nizaidi ya mawazo yetu Tunairuwa mikono zetu Sauti zetu Tuainuwa kwa ango Tukisema kuna kama weo 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 Haleluya yewe Nandi kama weo Makuna mwengine Wakulika nishwa na wewe Mwana Inawe peke Nani kama wewe Makuna mwengine Wakulika nishwa na wewe Mwana Inawe peke Nani aliyashina kifo na mbauti Makuna mwengine Wakulika nishwa na wewe Mwana Unasikia hiyo mambo eh hapo ndo tunacheza sasa hiyo ndo hii nitwa raha eh, ya kuingia katika makala mshawishi hapo tumepanda kweli kweli hakuna mwingine hakuna kama wewe kabisa ngoma imekaa miaka mitatu na bado inapanda kabisa kabisa Mungu ni mwaminifu sana aise asante sana asante wow 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 kabla ya kufanya mziki huu ambao tumeuzungumzia tuanze safari yako ya ya maisha tu umezaliwa wapi aha mm, na aise ah mimi ni mzaliwa wa Busia kabisa ah. mimi mluya kutoka kule western odhiambo sasa ni mluya odhiambo ni uh, ni jina mjaluo ila uh-huh. odhiambo sasa baba yangu ni mluya okay. oh, oh. yes you know uh, in, in the past yes 
Sijui kama in bado inaendelea but kitambo yes. kidogo wa Luya na Wajaluo mm. tumekuwa tukishare names. Oh. Yeah. Zaidi ya mna wale ambao wanatoka kama mipakani kabisa kama mnapakana hivi. Yeah, kabisa. Hayo ni raha kubwa sana ise. Yeah. <laughs> Kwa hivyo sasa wewe umezaliwa ume, ume ukasomea kijijini au umekuja kusomea mjini? Ah nimezaliwa kule lakini nimekuja kusomea mahali panaitwa Kericho so sijui kijijini mjini. Kericho pa. Twitter tui, tui, mjini hapo. Mjini. Oh, ni mji. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ama kijiji kingine. <laughs> mjini. Manake hapo sasa ndio mzazi alikuwa anafanya kazi na si baka kule kijijini okay. sasa. Mm-hmm. So tunaita mjini. Kwa hivyo hapo ni mjini. Kweli kabisa. Ah, miaka ya mapema sana. Sana sana. Baada ya hapo ah. umeingiaje Nairobi sasa? Ah, nikiwa kutoka kitambo nilikuwa mwalimu wa kwaya na uh, Sunday school. So maono yangu ilikuwa kwamba nisibakie pale Kericho. Kitambo yako ni lini? Hii ni kitambo gani tunazungumzia? Nilianza pali. kufundisha Sunday school nikiwa na miaka kumi na mbili. Sasa huu unafaa kwa Sunday school wewe yes. unakuwa unafaa kwa mwanafunzi na tena mimi ndio mkufunzi. Wow. <laughs> so nikaanza wow. kufundisha nikiwa na miaka kumi na mbili. Okay, hili ni kanisa gani sasa tunazungumzia baadaye? Ilikuwa kanisa la Church of God. Okay, hapo Kericho. Hapo Kericho. Alright. So manake baba, baba mzazi alikuwa anafanya kazi pale so nikiwa pale kama yeah. uh, nikienda shule at the same time naenda kanisani. Wow. So nilipata kama baba mzazi anacheza kiobo kinaitwa gita. Oh, mzee wako ni mchezaji wa gita. Yes. Kwa hivyo ngoma ilikuwa kwa system. Ili toka dra kwa damu. <laughs> so nami nikajifunza, nilipojifunza okay. kidogo nikaenda kanisani. Mm. Kwa kuimba tu kidogo na kucheza, mm. nikasikia naambiwa wewe utaanza kufundisha wenzako. Alright. Alright. Muziki sasa pale kwa kwa ile ya Sunday school. Kabisa. Okay. Na ndio hapo hapo nilianzia uimbaji wangu. Wow. Lakini nilikuwa na vision kwamba sitaki uimbaji wangu fanye nini ukwetu pale. Wow. Nilikuwa na maono manake nilikuwa nasikia kuna Nairobi, Nairobi that is the city. Yes. Nairobi the city. Nami nikasema ah, ni Nairobi si nikienda inaonekana nitakuwa juu. Okay. Manake sasa ngine unaangalia ai kwa TV unaona watu wako juu wanangara na, <laughs> na mimi nitafika huko. <laughs> Lakini siku moja Mungu ni mwaminifu. Manake nilijaribu kuja Nairobi miguu kutoka Kericho. Hebu subiri subiri kidogo. <laughs> yani <laughs> umetoka Kericho yes. ukapanga safari ya kuja Nairobi. Mm-hmm. Kwa mguu kabisa. Kulikwaje? Ni nini hivi? Ilikuwa mwaka gani kwanza? Ah, sasa hapo hizo hizo nyakati wa kibaki akitoka toka kwa kiti. Okay. Yeah. Siwezi eh, inaweza kuwa ni pale nyo akiingia actually akiingia first time. Miaka ya mapema mapema. Eh akiingia first time. Ya yes. Mm-hmm. So nikasema na hapa Kericho maisha ya Kericho imekuwa ngumu kidogo. Mm. Manake nilikuwa sasa nimekuwa mkubwa. Nimeanza kufanya Mimaliza kazi high school. Oh. Yeah. Si kuingia high school mimi. Oh, umesoma primary school. Yeah, primary mpaka 7 hapo. Okay. Yeah. So nikaanza kufanya kazi. Okay. Uh-huh. Sasa kazi wakati ilikuwa ngumu. Hii ni kazi gani sasa unafanya? Kuchuna majani. Unajua kuchuna majani chai? <laughs> <laughs> kwa sasa naweza kuwa sikumbuki lakini ni kwa guji eh? kabisa. Wow. Lakini ilikuwa inanilemea. Ndio mm. sababu sasa nilianza kupiga. Ulisema ikaze stack hey. sasa hii ni nguvu. Wenzangu wananicheka wanasema wewe hapa si bali pako. Na mimi pia naambia kweli kabisa hapa si pango. Wow. Lakini nikifika pale naona hiyo kazi ngumu. So nilikuwa na maono kabisa ya kwamba siwezi kaa hapa niimbia hapa. Lazima mm. nipia nifanye nini? Yaani ninga. Sasa hii shule ya kuacha kusoma katika darasa la saba. Mm ili nielewe vizuri <laughs> e, ni wewe ulikuwa ulikataa uli uli ama <laughs> ni mzazi alisema acha sasa hapa ndio tunaita challenges ya life okay manake uh, ilinipata kwamba mzazi alikuwa anafanya kazi hapa kilicho vile nimekwambia yes. na sisi tulikuwa tunaishi village alright sasa vile tulikuwa tunaishi pale village maisha ikakuwa ngumu mm-hmm. manake our dad alikuwa anamaliza labda kama mwaka ndio anakuja nyumbani. nyumbani my goodness unapata nimebaki mm. na mam kule mm. vile unajua maisha vile iko ngumu mm. tunaenda kulima tufanye kazi ndio mm. tupate kipato wow, wow. sasa mimi nasoma lakini kwa ile hali i feel mm. i'm not supposed to kuwa kwa village okay. nafanya niende town yes. sasa siwezi nilisema ilikuwa shetani naongea ndani yangu ama ni, ama ni mimi <laughs> ama ni nini kwa sababu nilianza kusumbua sasa yes. akili yangu inaniambia ninaposumbua mm. nitachokora my mom ili apigie baba yangu anichukua nipeleke wapi enda ukae na baba yako mjini na sasa hiyo ndio ilikuwa madhumuni yangu <laughs> na yalitimia Yaani timia lakini sasa ili niharibia masomo. Sasa <laughs> ukachukuliwa na mzee. Yeah, baada ya kusumbua kabisa kabisa darasa la saba sasa. Hey, ma- na... Mama aka give up. Akasema tenda kwa baba yako. Akasema baba kuja chukua mtoto wako. Akaja holiday. Eh. Hey, Mkarudi Nairobi. Nani mkarudi Kericho? Kericho. 
Sasa pale kericho kufika nikakaa ni au kuingia shule kericho. Ah ah. Ilikuwa nilipofika pale sasa nimeshinda mama. Yes. Baba akaona the only way hmm. ni kupeleka wewe ajifunze ka ala kazi. Kija hapa mtoto yeah. akili akili? Yes. <laughs> akili, akili mjini nyumbani kijijini nguvu nguvu. <laughs> so, sasa kanipeleka kwa kazi ya mechanic. Na mi kutoka kitambo napenda usafi. Sasa oil upendi, uchafu taki shida. My goodness. Sasa nilipopeleka kwa mechanic natoka nyumbani nimevaa nguo za wetu kutoka juu mpaka <laughs> Kufika pale mkubwa ananiuliza, "Hivi ndio umekuja kazi? Uh-huh. Hivi uwezi toka enda." Nikifika wow. pale mimi naenda shughuli zangu, unarudi mm-hmm. jioni kwa nyumba. Mzee anafikiri umetoka kazi, umetoka ujifundisha kazi. Eh, eh. Baada baada miezi mbili mm-hmm. ndiye anauliza, "Kazi inaendelea je na kijana wangu?" Anaambiwa kijana gani? Kijana gani? <laughs> Ati si yule mlete. <laughs> Anaambiwa huyo huyo kazi hata nikaa pesa zako ziliharibika. Oh, oh, Sasa kibati mzuri mzee wangu alikuwa mtu wa kuelewa. Oh akanikalisha aka chini akaniongelesha na akanitafutia kazi kwingine. Mm. So aliponitafutia kazi kwingine ndio nikaanza kuchuna hiyo majani lakini nilikuwa nachuna mm. lakini roho yangu haiko pale. Wow. So iki kipawa pia kilikuwa kinanisukuma. Wow. So ndio ilikakuja hivyo ikakuja hivyo ndio siku moja nikasema wacha nijaribu sasa. Ni siku moja nikakaa chini kando kabla nijaribu kuja Nairobi mm. nikaambia my dad sidhani kama anakumbuka hii hata kama ananitazama atashangaa. Yeah. Nikamwambia my dad <laughs> ninaomba kurudi shule. Okay, akaniambia it is too late. Hapo <laughs> ni baada ya miaka mingapi sasa? Hapo ni after labda something like one year sasa nimekaa na yeye pale Kericho. Mzee akasema umechelewa sasa. Hey, too late. Aliponiambia hivyo nikalia nikalia machozi lakini uh, ni, ikakuwa vile ilivyokuwa. Ikakuwa ni late bado kwake ni late, late kwake. <laughs> so ilipokuwa late sasa ikaonekana ika, sasa I'll have to work hard yeah. myself. Lakini ilikuwa ngumu kidogo ndio sasa nikaanza kungangana ili chombo nikifundishana pale Sunday school mpaka nikakuja nikajifunza keyboard hakuna mtu actually hizi vyombo hakuna mtu amenifunza wewe unacheza vyombo vingapi Vi, nacheza keyboard nacheza guitar nacheza drum set hata hii kuna ingine inaitwa accordion oh hiyo accordion ya unacheza pia pia nacheza wow na hakuna mtu amekufundisha sipo guitar hakuna mtu amenifunza ulishika tu kama ulishika tu na actually kuna watu wengi nimefundisha through mimi mwenyewe kujifunza uh-huh. and when you compare my skills right now in those people when you amend labda classes yes. unapata kuna a big different. Wow, wow, yeah. wow, wow. So that uh, ikatoka hapo mahali nikafika nikaona nao hapa hii kazi ya kuchuna chai imekuwa ngumu. Mm. I have to ukaanza kufundisha watu kucheza mziki. Nikaanza kufundisha watu. Lakini kwa hiyo hali nikasema bado maisha imekuwa ngumu pale. Mm. Bado baba mzazi pia anangangana kijana achitaki kushika laini. Mm. Nikakuja nikajiunga na vikundi mbaya lakini sasa mwishowe mm. nikasema no. Vikundi, I have vikundi mbaya sasa. Yes. Kama ga, vikundi mbaya hapo kwa vikundi mbaya. Unajua vikundi mbaya sasa sijaelewa kama inakuwaje hapo. Kikundi kama gani? Yes. Sasa kulikuwa na kikundi ya vijana hmm. wale tulikuwa tuna terrorize uh, estate. Eh? Yeah, okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> sasa sisi kwa estate ndio tulikuwa tunasema estate iko na maskari iko na nini lakini sisi tulikuwa tukifika mahali hmm. hata maskari wale tunaita maskari wa kawaida wachana polisi. Yeah. Maskari wa kawaida. Soja wale oh, oh, oh. Yes, wanatupea nafasi tu. Kipindi hicho ulikuwa na wewe well, huu mwili mkubwa. Uh-huh. Umeupata wakati gani? Ama umezaliwa ukiwa hivi hivi? Nimepitia kwa gym mimi. Nimejifunza gym nimeenda nikajifunza taekwondo. Hiyo ni hapa Nairobi sasa. Kericho hapo nilikuwa najifunza gym. Okay. Yes. Kwa hivyo ukiingia kwa hiki kundi ulikuwa bado umejenga sio? Eh. <laughs> si lazima uko umejenga ndio upate sasa kukua recruited pale. <laughs> oh. So nilikuwa na misuli kabisa mimi pale. Sasa mnakaba watu. Eh. Hatukua tuna ile ile ya kuiba lakini hatukua mtu anatuchezea. Tunakuja kwa nyumba tunapiga. Yes. Kabisa lakini kuiba mtu aa hapo tu kwa hivyo ni ukorofi tu wa kupiga watu kuzivita tu na kusumbua <laughs> na kusumbua tutambulike <laughs> umwahi kipindi hicho choto umwahi tumia dawa zote ama vileo vyo vyote hapo ndio nashukuru Mungu hmm. sijawahi tumia dawa ya kulevya kujavuta weed ama bangi ama nini siku moja nikajaribu pombe ile ya, ya inaitwa ya mtama ama ya nini 
Eh ile busa ile. Eh hey, kaona ni tamu lakini <laughs> <laughs> lakini ilinipeleka mbaya akili hata mama mzazi na baba hawajaijua hii lakini nilikunywa siku moja. Wow. Kaona imenipeleka mbaya nikaenda nikalala kwa hii kitu sisi tunaitanga siaki sijui inaitwa ile ya kuweka chakula hey. wakati mnavuna nyumbani. Osto hiyo. Yes. Gala. Nikae nikarudi usiku nikaingia na nikalala huko asubuhi sasa. Ndio nikaamuka na kipindi hicho tangu wakati huo hujalewa tena. Tangu wakati mungu ilikuwa, ilikuwa tu mara moja Mungu alikulinda kabisa kwa hiyo. Kwa hivyo kazi yako ilikuwa ni uchokozi tunakusumbua tu. Ndio hiyo. Haya baada ya vikundi hiyo ndio kikundi ambacho kilikuwa uliondokaje kwa hicho kikundi? Sasa mimi nilikuwa kwa hicho kikundi lakini ndani yangu kulikuwa na kazi ya Mungu ambaye ni uimbaji. Hmm. Sasa nilikuwa kwa hicho kikundi tunasumbua watu katikati ya wiki Sunday na tengeneza nywele yangu maana yake nilikuwa nimeshuka. Unatengeneza kati ume? Nilikuwa nimeshuka nywele. Paka ukiangalia masikio nilikuwa nimetoboa nilikuwa nimeweka ni bili wakati huo. Design yangu nilikuwa nimeshuka design gani? Lines zinaenda hivi nyuma. Sasa una, unaunda vizuri kabisa. Ah. Sasa ikifika <laughs> katikati hapa tunasumbua <laughs> sande nafungua nywele na ifinya nani mzuri kabisa <laughs> kisha naingia kanisani. <laughs> Penzi mtazamaji unajua kama wakati mwingine unaambiwa mambo kama haya unafikiri kama vile filamu vile unajua tena. Sasa mimi mimi niloishuka hizo lines. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Kuna <laughs> msanii mmoja aliyekuja hapa nchini miaka ya mapema uh-huh. alikuwa anaitwa Kulio. Uh-huh. Sasa yule aliitwa Thiri sana. Sasa nilikuwa tunashuka hizo lines za nyuma na nini. Yes. Alafu mimi pia nina vipuri hapa masikioni. Sasa ukizungumza unanikumbusha mambo ya nyuma sana hizo. Eh. <laughs> 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 basi ukaondoka yes. katika kikundi hicho mm-hmm. umeondokaje sasa sasa kwa hicho kikundi mm-hmm. ilifika mahali sasa tumekoa wazee au watu wazima mm-hmm. ambapo kila mtu sasa lazima ajitafutie maisha sasa hakuna tena ile kuangaisha watu mm-hmm. manake ilifika mahali mtu anataka sasa kuwa uwezi wa kama una kazi hii kujenga kujifundisha street taekwondo ni sawa mm-hmm. lakini sasa lakini sasa familia, familia mm-hmm. inahitaji Hasa kufikia hapo ndio nilipofanya kazi hiyo kuchuna majani nikafika mahali nikachoka nikaona this is not my job. Yes. I'm supposed to be doing something else that wow. is my music. Yes. Sasa nikaanza safari kutoka Kericho kwa mguu siku moja asubuhi. Siku moja asubuhi nikaamua tu. Mm. Natoka kwenda Mshikwa begi lako? Eh. Mshikwa begi lako na mguu na nini eh? Na sijui Nairobi ni wapi. Mm-hmm. Lakini, Lakini si ni nikifika town sinaona magari zinaenda hivi. Yeah. Bas. Nikashika barabara, nikatembea, 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 nikafika kuna mahali panaitwa Kimugu. Mm. Nikasema ka, kutoka asubuhi mpaka jioni nimefika hapa Kimugu. Yes, na Nairobi bado sijaiona. Na Nairobi nasikia unaenda na 1000, eh, 1500. Ama ah, uko nitafika leo. <laughs> nikaingia kwa video moja nikakaa nikaona video zile za zile za sinema za zile hali za sinema za kulipa hizo. <laughs> Kabisa. <laughs> nikaona nika ah, nilikuwa nibaki na 20 shillings. Mm. nikaamua hapa na acha tu nirudi wapi estate nikarudi nikakaa <laughs> si kuendelea safari <laughs> ukapanda gari yes na hiyo 20 bobo ilikuwa imebaki ukarudi nikarudi <laughs> sasa Nairobi umekuja lini sasa niliporudi ndio siku moja katika ile uimbaji na uchezaji vyombo yes. my mama akakuja Nairobi ya kwa ministry fulani mm. na akapatana na mchungaji sasa so, huyo mchungaji alipopatana na ye mama akashare na yeye mm. kwamba niko na kijana ako talented hivi na hivi yeah. na nona hapa kanisani amna keyboardist yeah, ule anaweza kusaidia kazi hapa sana kabisa so <laughs> walipokuja na yeye na wakati tulikuwa tunasikia Nairobi wachungaji wa Nairobi ni wabaya mm. hawa watu wajaokoka si wazuri so mchungaji alipokuja hapo hiyo ndio sifa kabisa Nairobi tu kwa tunaamini Nairobi. Mchungaji aaminiki. Ah, hao ni wabaya. <laughs> so wakati alikuja mara ya kwanza ili kunichukua, mimi nikakataa. Kumwambia akasema Nairobi, Nairobi siwezi enda. Na mwanzo nilikuwa naenda Nairobi. Yes. Mwanzo nilikuwa. Lakini kipindi hiki umewaza ume, mekaili kabisa. Akaendelea kunitafuta. Sasa akakuja mara ya pili tena hasa baada ya miezi mbili. Mama sasa. Ah, huyo mchungaji sasa. Mchungaji akaja mpaka Yes. Mm. Akaka, akakuja. Sasa alipokuja mimi nikasema mama akaniambia kuja uone vile mchungaji anafanyanga kazi. Yes. Nilipoenda pale nikaona vile anafanya uh, my mom alikuwa na kansa. So huyo mchungaji akaombea my mom mm. kansa ikapona immediately. 
Wow. My mom akaanza kulima, akaanza kufanya kazi na mpaka wow. leo ana hiyo kaza. So wow. nilipoona hivyo wow. nikashtuka nikaguzwa nikasema oh, so kumbe kuna bado still real miracles na exist. Yes. So ndio nikakuwa nikaguzwa. Nilipoguzwa sasa nikaamwambia sawa nitapeana jibu kama nitafanya nitakuja na Nairobi. Nikarudi kwa mchungaji wangu wa kanisa wow. pale nilikuwa sasa. Nikamwambia kuna mchungaji ananihitaji ila mimi nimeogopa. Hebu nifaniambie takufanya. Akaniambia kama umoyo wako nakwambia enda. Mm. Nenda. Enda. Lakini <coughs> nimekupea muda wa miezi mbili ukiwa kule. Ukiona si kuzuri. Just, just come back. Come back. Wow, that was a real father. Yes. Wow. So nikasema asante na nikafanya nini? Nikafunga safari tukakuja. Mm. So hiyo ilikuwa before post election. That yeah. was 206 or 6 there. Mm. So ndio 206 ndio nilikuja Nairobi. Wow. Yeah. Wow, na kuokoka umeokoka wakati gani? Kwa sababu kule kwa mwalimu wa Sunday school ni tofauti na uokovu. Kweli. Umekuja ukutana na uokovu wakati gani? <laughs> so bado kwa kuka niliokokea pale Kericho na ndio sababu nilibadilika. Okay. Kwa sababu okay. siku moja baada mama yangu kuniona kwamba maisha yangu vile inakaa itakuwa mzuri akaona kama nimeweka hizo manywele. Mm. Ah, nilikuwa navaa mabangili huku nini. Siku moja akaniambia kijana yangu nataka uende uombe uokovu. Mm. Nikamwambia uokovu kwani si nimeokoka? Kaniambia no, hujaongozwa kwa toba, hujaokoka. <laughs> Nikamusa aje sasa. Kila siku niko kanisa na fundisha eh, Sunday school. Ikazi nimefanya muda mrefu. Eh, nimeokoka hapana <laughs> kuja. Akanipe, akanichukua akanipeleka kwa mchungaji mmoja siwezi kumbuka jina lake. Lakini aka, akanichukua akanipeleka kwanza akaninyoa. Hizo nywele zangu zote. Eh. Mama, eh, eh. Akaninyoa. Aliponinyoa sasa nikaenda nikapigishwa nika magoti chini. Mm-hmm. Nikapelekwa kwa toba. Wow. Sasa nikaokoka. Ndio hasa kutokea hapo nikajua kumbe kama hujapetishwa kwa toba. Hii ya hujaokoka hujaokoka. Watu wengi hawajafahamu mambo ya uokovu. Mm. Mara manake uokovu ni kuzaliwa. Yes. Kuzaliwa mara ya pili. Mm-hmm. Sijui kama umwahi kutana na hii debate. Mm-hmm. Ya ya kama je mtu anaweza potesa uokovu wake? Aha. aha. Unaelewa eh? Yes. Kama mtu aliyeokoka anaweza kupoteza uokovu wake. Mm-hmm kupoteza uokovu wake. E, kama mtu kama ku backslide ni kupoteza uokovu uh-huh. ama ni nini? Umwahi sije kama umwahi kutana na idi. Ah, Sija kutana nayo. Wewe unafikiri mtu anaweza kupoteza uokovu wake? <laughs> According to me, uh, kupoteza uokovu is a bit challenging eh? mm-hmm. Mtu ku backslide amepoteza uokovu. Uh, vile ninaelewa ni kwamba mtu anapokuwa ame backslide mm. labda kuna sababu zile zimepea kafanya nini? akabaka karudi nyuma lakini uokovu bado uko ndani yake mm. sasa kulingana na mimi ni kwamba uokovu ule bado uko ndani yake ni kwa sababu alikuwa ameshika neno okay that is according to me mm-hmm. alikuwa ameshika neno na anaelewa neno mm-hmm. na hata ukienda kumhubiria atakwambia mimi najua biblia from a to z yes. utaniambia nini mm-hmm. ndio unaweza kumrudisha na kuwa shida <laughs> so mimi na believe kwamba aja aja acha uokovu ama ajanguka uokovu mm-hmm. lakini ame <laughs> backslide <laughs> <laughs> sasa mpenzi mtazamaji hilo ni jambo la kujadiliwa ni jambo la mjadala mm-hmm. ila ningependa ufikirie tu taratibu yani nimelitupa tu hewani hivi wewe oh, ufikirie kwamba je mtu anaweza kupoteza wokovu wake na lakini ukifikiria jambo hilo lifikirie kutoka kwa mtizamo huu mm-hmm. kwamba papa vini umezaliwa kwa kwa nyumba mzee John Bentodiamo nyumba mzee Odhiambo. Yes. Kilicho kufanya wewe mtoto wa Odhiambo ni DNA yake, ni damu yake. Aha, aha. Ni ile mbegu yake. Yes. Ndio ukazaliwa physically vile tunakuona. Aha. Kipindi chote ulikuwa una unakuwa kwa vikundi vibaya, mm. umeacha shule, unafanya mm. hivi, umekuja Nairobi, umefanya tuseme kwa mfano umefa, ulifanya mambo mabaya ambao hujayafanya. Mhm kama ungeuko na vuta bangi na nini umepotea umeenda kabisa hmm. wakati mwingine ukashuka ukatupwa jela yes. kama miaka mitatu aha je kipindi hicho chote ulikuwa unapitia mambo yote unafungwa jela kwa mfano mm-hmm. je uli, ulipoteza identity yako ya mzee Odhiambo hapana ulipoteza ule uodhiambo <laughs> uliokuwa ndani yako uodhiambo bado ubaki na siko mara nielewa eh yes <laughs> Sasa mpenzi mtazamaji kama sio hivyo kama hakupoteza ule uodhi ambao ulikuwa yeah. ndani yake. Yeah. Mtu akizaliwa mara ya pili anazaliwa kwa mbegu ya Mungu uh-huh. ambayo ni neno la Mungu ambalo neno huyo ni Kristo Yesu. 
ukishazaliwa unazaliwa kwa mwana wa Mungu. Ukiondoka uende kutembea tembea kwa wajomba huko huko. Unapoteza ile identity ya mwana au inabaki kwamba identity ya mwana ipo. Fikiria tu ni swali la kufikiria. <laughs> ni hoja hiyo <laughs> kweli kabisa. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Sasa tuje kwa kipindi chako cha ndoa. Umeoa wakati gani baba? Ah, uh, mimi nimeoa mwaka wa that is 20, 2011, 2010. Mwaka 2010, mwaka 2010. Wow. wow. Yeah, hapo ndio nimepata mke. Wow. Yeah. Mlikutana aje? <laughs> okay, ya, nilitudenda tulitoka Nairobi hapa sasa tukienda crusade pale Kitale. Okay. Sasa wakati suko kwa ministration mm. ndio tuka nikatukaonana. Yeye yeye alikuwa wa Kitale. <laughs> yeye alikuwa wa Kitale. Wao walikuwa kwa timu ya Nairobi. Nairobi timu. Sasa mkifanya mambo yenu pale. <laughs> <laughs> so so kidogo wakati nacheza keyboard najua wakati hiyo I was very focused. Eh? Sasa yeah. nacheza alafu najua kijana vile tumetoka Nairobi yes. tumetengeneza nyende tumechoma yeah. tumechukua goggles alafu ile style nakaa. Nasumbua kabisa. Hey, Msijana wa kijiji anaona hapo sasa. Sasa mimi nacheza nimekaa pale kwa kakona nacheza keyboard nikimba kumbe kuangalia kule <laughs> kuangalia kule msichana amenekea macho namna hii eh ukasema na hiyo sijaoa msichana mm. amenekea macho namna hii uh-huh. na jaribu kulenga hiyo story nikigeuza macho baada ya ana kuangalia akasema hapa kuna shida sasa yes sasa nilipotoka hapo jioni ha, ikabidi tukakuta nikamtafuta mm. tukaongea utaka kujua yale macho ulikuwa naangalia na kwa nini eh sasa andio kidogo nikaona na muangalisho na jua sasa sana sometimes we behave mm. especially village alipo kwa vile na behave nikajua huyu the something mhm na mimi sasa ikabidi nikatupa lugha na uko kwa na something yes nikatupa lugha mbili tatu anaitwa anaitwa nani anaitwa millicent wow wow millicent millicent skiza <laughs> the bible says <laughs> since the time of john the baptist <laughs> the kingdom of god started violence <laughs> <laughs> Na wewe violent one <coughs> uli take my force. So congratulations sir. <laughs> Ukwanza so wewe ufai kuwa congratulated. Nafaa ku congratulate Millicent, Millicent kabisa. <laughs> <laughs> Kwa kukuona eh. Hey. Kweli, kweli. That was very beautiful. Mko mm. Mungu amebariki. Yes. Na familia ya watoto. Kweli kabisa. Kwa na watoto wangapi? Kwa sasa tuko na watoto wanne. Wow. Wow. Mm. Kwanza wa kwanza anaitwa Sheldon Brown. Wa pili anaitwa Gravin Baraka. Mm-hmm. Wa tatu anaitwa Cynthia Gift. Wow. Alafu wana anaitwa Tumaini John. Nimetuma salamu kwenu watoto wetu. Mungu awabariki <laughs> sana. Na jitahidi sana. Unasikia baba yenu hajavuta bangi, hajakunywa pombe, alionja tu kadogo. Wewe oh, usionje kabisa. <laughs> Kweli kabisa. <laughs> <laughs> Natafuta kipaji kilicho ndani yenu mwanza uki, kukichezea kuangalia ni mtoto gani katika watoto wako ambao unaona kama ana ana, ana kipaji cha uimbaji. Ah vile naweza sema ni watatu hawa mwisho. Okay. Yule wa kwanza kidogo mm. naona kama hayuko pale. Yeah. Ni dancer sana. Ukimwona ni dancer sana. Dancer tu. Kwa hivyo bado usanii uko ndani yake sana. Usanii wa dance lakini pia ni kulazimishwa okay. kanaka anaona wenzake wanafanya. Okay, okay. Lakini huyu wa pili wa tatu na wanne mm. hiyo ni real. Wow. Kama huyu wa pili saa hizi ni keyboardist mzuri like, na akona miaka nane Wow. wow Akiingia wow. kanisani kucheza keyboard any song. Wow, akafanya. Huyu wa pili alianza kuimba kitambo mm. hata ukiangalia kwa YouTube account yangu mm. msichana. Mm-hmm. Pia nyimbo zake ziko pale. Wow. Yeah, so ni mwimbaji. Alafu sasa huyu mdogo naye huyu mm-hmm. ambaye kwa na miaka mbili sasa. Mm-hmm. Yeye naye namuonanga napanga masufuria kwa meza yeah, ukiingia huko pa pa. Ni msanii tu wa drum. Jamani. <laughs> Ni <laughs> direct inaonyesha kwamba ni dramist. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Nataka nikupatie kibarua kama mzazi. Kweli. Hebu muangalie mtoto wako wa kwanza. Mm-hmm. Uone ni nini anachoweza kupenda. Mm-hmm. Ni talanta yake iko maeneo gani? Yes. Alafu uonesha yeye line. Mm-hmm. Naende nayo kabisa. Kama ni mchezaji wa kandanda mzuri, uh-huh. tuma yeye kwa kandanda mnua viatu vya boli na nina nini. Kweli kama ni mpishi mzuri unajua <coughs> watu, watu ni mvulana eh? ni mvulana watoto wa vulana ni vigumu sana kutambua kile kitu kiko ndani yao mm-hmm. paka uwe very keen mm. na usipokuwa keen itakupita 
mm-hmm. kwa sababu ataona vijana wengine wanafanya nini atafuata lakini sio sio hiyo sio yake ula anakuwa na kake Aha. na utakatambua wakati gani mm. wakati yuko peke yake eh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ukiingia hivi anakupikia chai eh. ukiingia hivi uko faster na kuletea nini unajua huu mtoto wangu ni hotelia eh hivyo ndo anatambua ni hotelia huyu anaanza kumlea kwa line za kihoteli mm-hmm. hiyo ni yako na vile vile mtazamaji mtoto wako wakati huu inahitajika tuanze kutambua watoto wetu vipaji vyao na vipawa vyao mm-hmm. vinaelekea sehemu gani je mm-hmm. uliwahi kujua kwamba kuna tofauti ya kipaji au kipawa na talanta kabisa si kwa hiyo mimi kwa uh, ma, uh, mawazo yangu najua talanta ndio kipaji sasa <laughs> <laughs> yeah. leo 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 makala yako tofauti kidogo yes. kwa sababu ninahisi kwamba ni vizuri tu rekebishe mambo fulani sasa kuna kipaji uh-huh. na kuna talanta mm. Yesu alikuwa anafundisha wanafunzi wake wakati mmoja akawaambia kuna bosi mmoja alienda safari ya mbali. Yes. Akaita wafanyikazi wake. Uh-huh. Akawapatia talanta kweli. Mmoja tano. Uh-huh. Siji ilikuwa mwingine ni tatu, tatu, tatu mbili na moja. Eh siji mbili na moja hizo hiyo idadi eh. Yes, yeah. <coughs> Talanta. Talanta. Hiyo ni talanta. E, akawapatia ta- Bible inasema talanta talent. Uh-huh, uh-huh walipo akaenda safari mm-hmm. akirudi ah. akawaita Aha. akawaambia yule watano ulipata ngapi akasema mimi nichapa kazi yangu nikapata kumi yule, yule mwingine kumi. yule mwingine yule wa moja akasema nilijua wewe <laughs> si vile mtu mzuri eh. lakini talanta yako iko safe nilienda nikafukizia chini ya udongo mm-hmm. mwishowe nimekuletea ndio hii niliona tusumbuane <laughs> Eh, ali, alijua yesi mtu mzuri kiaje yes, sasa yes. maana yake <laughs> sasa talanta eh. kulingana na hilo andiko hilo mm. pia ni debatable mm-hmm. <laughs> talanta kwa hilo andiko ni physical manifestation mm-hmm. of responsibility yes physical manifestation, manifestation of your responsibility yes na hiyo ni kitu ya kuonekana mm-hmm na kipawa ni software software ambayo imewekwa ambayo imewekwa ndani yako yes ambayo inatumika uh-huh. kuzalisha uh-huh. iki cha fiziko cha kuonekana kweli unanielewa eh na kupata kabisa uimbaji wako uh-huh. sio talanta aha uh-huh. ni kipawa ni kipawa <laughs> ni kipaji <laughs> <laughs> Unaelewa eh? Yes, na kuelewa kabisa. Talanta yako <laughs> ambayo umepewa mm. ni Matthew 28. Kidogo. Talanta ni Matthew 28. Talanta ya Makristo wote duniani uh-huh. ni Matthew 28. Matthew 28. Enendeni ulimwenguni kote mkahubiri injili. Sasa hiyo ndio talanta. Hiyo ni talanta. Kipawa hivi ni Bwana so... wetu eh. alitupatia talanta mm-hmm. akasafiri kwa nchi ya mbali. Eh, eh, katika eh. Mathayo 28. Mm-hmm. Atarudi kuja kuhesabu. Yes. Talanta zetu zilitumika vipi? Yeah. Lakini ah. alitupatia vipawa vinavyo, vinavyotuwezesha kufanya ile talanta kazi. Talanta alitupatia sasa idadi mm-hmm. ya talanta ndio zimetofautiana. Aha, aha. The Bible says to whom much is given much, much is, is expected. expected. Yes ukiwa wenye askofu hapo ndo kuna challenge tondoke hilo hilo ni la siku nyingine tuzungumze habari za changamoto ambazo umezipata mm. baina ya kuwa mwana mziki mm-hmm. na producer yes how do you balance the two ah. ngoma zako mwenyewe na zile ngoma na producer ya watu maana wewe ni producer kweli ah uh, ah uh, hakuna challenge hapo unajua vile tu umesema vizuri yes kama una gift there's yes. a different of talent and yes, gift yes 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 kama una gift yes unajua vile kuipangilia maana yake unapata kuna time mm. ya wasanii kuja studio na kuna vile time table yenye tumepanga kwamba from this time and this time we are doing we are open and this time and this time we are closed okay so unapata hapo nyuma kidogo studio yangu imekuwa kwa nyumba mm-hmm. nimeipea room moja ni studio na room nyingine nalala ndani na sitting vile. Mm. So unapata kama wasanii hawako usiku. Yes. 
ndio napata time na mimi kufanya recording of the music but composing ama composing music hiyo ni kitu na happen daily anywhere anyhow anywhere yeah wow. kwa sababu it is in me naweza kuwa natembea hata tumekaa nao hapa hivi mm. na compose wimbo kuhusu unajua hiyo ni nini yes hiyo sasa ndio inaitwa kipawa cha uimbaji aha aha hiyo in you hiyo yes. umesema it is in me it is in me <laughs> Yes. Hiyo <laughs> ni gifting. Hiyo yeah. ndiyo inaitwa gift. Yes. Umepewa gift. Mm. Na gift za Mungu mm. they are without repentance. Yes. Aha. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You know that? Aha. Uh-huh. So akikupati alipo ulipozaliwa uliwekewa hiyo software, Mungu hawezi mm. kuichukua. Aha. Uh-huh. Hata ukienda ulevi, hata ukienda uzini, zifu, hata ukifanya nini, hiyo gift, hiyo gift yes, itabaki. I, What happens? Hivi 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 mwalimu. <laughs> Uh, unapata kuna mara nyingi in this life mm. sisi kama waimbaji tunakosea wachungaji yes alafu ukitoka pala nasema hata hicho kipawa chako utanyang'anywa hautabaki vile <laughs> <laughs> lakini hivi leo unaniambia kwamba hata nikifanya nini hasi akitachukua hebu nifungue kidogo sikiliza nikusaidie unajua mambo ni kusaidia haya kweli chuma unao chuma mwenzake yes makosa matatu uh-huh. ambayo wachungaji wanayafanya mm kosa la kwanza la wachungaji wengi sana ni kutumia vibaya office mm-hmm, mm-hmm. abuse of office yes. na ufalme haujafunga macho mm-hmm. ufalme unaona mm-hmm. ni vile siku ya kuhukumiwa ijafika yes. jambo la pili ni kutumia vibaya maandiko mm-hmm. jambo la tatu mm-hmm. ni vitisho kwa watu vitisho kwa watu kutumia vibaya mamlaka. Unajua <laughs> umenikumbusha acha nikusaidie hapa, acha nikusaidie. <laughs> Mungu akikupatia kipaji uh-huh. au gift, uh-huh. unapatiwa gift at birth. Yes. Uko yani not at birth, uh-huh. at conception. Uh-huh. Bible inasema for I knew you before you were formed in your mother's womb. I exactly. knew before. before. Now hiyo before uh-huh. I preordained you uh-huh. for the great works of the kingdom. Yes. Sasa hiyo software iliwekwanga kwako kabla mm-hmm. na Mungu alipoiweka aliamua kuiweka na hata juta aichukue. Now what happens ukikata ukiacha kutumia hicho kipawa kwa mazingira ya utakatifu. Uh-huh. Kuna yule ambaye anakitumia hicho kipawa kwa mazingira ya uchafu. Mm-hmm. Ndio nasikia ule mtu amechukuliwa sasa ni msanii wa nyimbo za matusi. Yes, nyimbo za matusi. Lakini ni ni ni, ni mwimbaji. Ni mwimbaji. Na ana watu anaguza watu. Na ana watu wanamfuata. Kabisa. Sasa kipaji cha mtu akiondolewi, mm-hmm. the gifts of God are without repentance. He does not repent. Ageuzi mawazo yake. Mm-hmm. Ni wewe utumike huko ukija. Yes. Kinasafishwa unapokinatumika hapa. Oh. Kwa mfano mwaijua kwamba ministers wa waganga na wachawi aha aha uwanga ni kipawa ambacho Mungu ameweka ndani yao ni kipawa ha cha mganga cha... mchawi kipawa Mungu ameweka ndani yao yes lakini ha. sasa kilikosa kutumika kwa mazingira yanayofaa eh. yule adui aka take advantage yeah. akakianza ukitumia vibaya ah. wale izile zinakuanga ni the giftings of healing and working of miracles Uh. Yes. <laughs> Ule jamaa akija kuokoka uh. ni mombeaji mzuri sana wa Kabisa. watu na wanapona. Wow. Hiyo wow. ni gifting. Wow. Okay, tuondokee. Kama ndio maana za kuna unasikia kwa mganga kuna Biblia. Kwa hivyo unasoma neno ndio wafanye muujiza. <laughs> Sasa tuzungumze habari za za vile production eh? Mhm. Is live productions? Yes. Do you do live productions yourself? Uh, vile kwa sasa sijaanza kufanya live production yes. kwa sababu ya space okay uh, lakini i'm planning but ni kitu na uwezo wa kufanya ni kitu na uwezo wa kufanya ya yeah, hiyo ndio swali kabisa na uwezo wa kufanya hiyo eh ya yeah, hivi karibuni tutarajie hivi karibuni tutarajie live record what is the difference between live production na uh, hiyo nyingine hiyo nyingine inaitwa nini sasa hii sasa unajua si live manake vitu mingi ni computerized yes, yes, atufanya yes. tuweki live unajua ni kwamba tumepanga hapo drum set tumeweka hapo gita mm. waimbaji wako hapo live unapiga kila moja kitu kwa moja kwa moja, kwa moja inachukuliwa wow. <coughs> lakini sasa hii nyingine hii ni ya computer lazima tukutengenezee music kwanza tufanye programming which one, which one do you prefer as a producer ah tuseme tumekuwa na set yote mbili wacha nikwambie yes. live recording is very hard 
but ni sweet. Ni sweet but very hard and tough. <laughs> na pia nataka mtu mwenye umebobea katika yes. e, mambo kama technician na vitu kama hizo. Yes, yes, Lakini yes, tu yes. normal producer tu yule hawezi fanya live recording. Ni issue. Kwa hivyo ukiona producer na kufanya live recording, ah huyo huyo ni producer. Yeah, ni producer na technician. Na ndio wewe sasa. Na sasa ndio sisi hapa. Ndio sisi hapa. Sisi mtazamaji huyu hapo ni papa Vini ambaye nimekuletea leo katika makala ya mshawishi na ninamshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwamba ametupatia nafasi pamoja naye ni Gwiji katika mambo ya production kwa kweli na kazi zake already umeziona ile kazi ambayo tumeipata ndio yeye ndio umeiproduce mimi ni mwenyewe alafu video ikafanywa na of na course mungine. ungejinyoa kinyozi ah, hajinyoi kuna sehemu unaweza jinyoa kwa mbele hapa <laughs> <laughs> lakini kwa nyuma unahitaji wenzako shida jamani kwa hivyo ifikapo kwa wakati wa video na nini na nini so somebody will come in lakini very soon we are having those equipments okay at the moment mm. uh, somebody will come in okay mtu kama mtu soon kama kama vile sasa super producer wangu Henry Mutavi yes. sasa hapo ndio wanaingilia na Faith Mwangangi hapo sasa wanapiga mambo yao hapo na hata nikipata hata hizi equipment sasa hivi na napanga kuzinunua eh yes sitazifanya mwenyewe si unahitaji hao mawili lazima ah. mimi nitakuwa kule kwa audio production lazima kuna mtu atenda kwa ground for video kwa hivyo hapo nina kazi eh hapo na kazi kama unajua mwalimu <laughs> Asante mpenzi mtazamaji sasa kuna kile kitengo kinaitwa Johari ya siku na hapo kwa Johari ya siku baba papa Vini huwa mm. ninalisoma andiko mm. nikisoma andiko huwa mm. niambia ile andiko nimelitoa wapi ndani ya biblia takatifu nafikiri ulikuwa umejiandaa kwa hilo haleluya haleluya <laughs> kabla tujapata ngoma yake ya pili papa vini yes. ningependa nisome ile andiko uendelea kulifikiria tu kulitafakari kisha baadaye mshe utaniambia nimelipata ile andiko sehemu gani mm. na wewe mpenzi mtazamaji basi zungumza pamoja nasi kupitia kwa mtandao wa kijamii facebook page yetu ni hope tv kenya na twitter handle yetu ni at hope tv underscore ke au at shaban mwalimu na mambo yatakuwa mazuri namba yetu ya ujumbe mfupi ni mbili 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 tatu mbili na vile ambavyo imeonekana hapo katika runinga na screen yako basi fanya bidii fanya hima umetufanya kuwa kipindi nambari moja na tunashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa afya yako ufanisi wako kuondoka kwako na kurudi kwako manake kuchagua Hope TV kisha baadaye kuchagua makala ya mshawishi kwa nambari moja katika makala yote ya kidini hapa nchini kwa kweli umetufanya tumeona raha sana usifose tufanane sisi ndio wenyewe baba yao viongozi wa viongozi sasa tunamshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu sana 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 kila andiko lenye pumzi ya Mungu linafaa sana kwa mafundisho na kwa kuwaonya watu wa Mungu makosa yao na kwa kuwaongoza na kuwa kuadibisha katika haki maandiko yote matakatifu yameandikwa kwa uongozi wa Roho Mtakatifu na yanafaa sana katika kufundishia ukweli kuonya kusanihisha makosa ya watu na kuwaongoza watu waishi maisha yaliyo na uadilifu ili andiko tumelitoa wapi ndani ya Biblia takatifu muda usio mrefu utakwenda kunipatia jibu hilo lakini kwa sasa tusonge mbele tunataka kuingia katika awamu ya kulisikiza lile bonge la kazi ambao umefanya katika wimbo wako wa pili na sasa leo nataka nikupatie kibarua yes unaona kamera yako hii yeah. ukisha iangalia hiyo kamera moja kwa moja mm. nataka huyo mtangazaji aha kwa hivyo mimi ndio mimi ndio msanii nataka <laughs> we, we introduce yes a song yako ya pili mm -hmm. okay ah uh, wimbo wangu wa pili unaitwa unastahili bwana ah uh, huu wimbo ulinipea niliuimba kwa sababu niliona kwamba maisha yale nilikuwa nimepitia na wakati Mungu alinibadilisha ni huo wimbo kanikujia nikaona kwamba nimwambie bwana unastahili manake mara nyingi unapata tunaimba nyimbo za kuomba Mungu tu tunataka vitu fulani labda yani mambo mengi unapata nyimbo ziko lakini tunasahau kumwambia Mungu ni wewe tu ni wewe ndio unapata kama wimbo wangu wa kwanza unasema nani kama wewe hakuna wa pili unasema una staili bwana na ndio manake mimi nilisema nitamwambia tu bwana stahili hata sikuwa na mambo mengi jamani kwa hayo machache <laughs> <laughs> Kwa hiyo machache tupate wimbo wa pili unastahili. Yes.
kustahili wana una stahili wana una stahili awe wewe ndiwe mfalme wa vyote Inua sote kuna useme na mi staili jina lako litukuze unajua eh yeah, ngoma nzuri sana eh asante asante mwana ah ngoma inaona raha sana tuna asante. kaka hapa anaitwa majina kuna papa vin mm-hmm. na kuna sunday, sunday vin ah hebu nipatie nipatie ngala wao ah sasa papa vin hiyo nilianza kuitwa na wenzangu wakati niliingia kwa music okay but sunday vin ndio majina yangu lakini nimeenda vice versa wao ni wao hivyo Majina yangu hayo. Yeah. Vin inasimamia Vincent. Vincent. Sunday inasimamia Sunday. Rais tu namna hiyo. Eh sasa nikaweka tu vice versa. Sawa mna wasiwasi. <laughs> Inaka vizuri sana hiyo. Asante. Tuzungumze habari za changamoto. Hmm. Tukiwa katika mazungumzo yetu hapa na pale. Hmm. Tuligundua kwamba pia kuna ile issue ya mtu ni mwimbaji. Ndio. Lakini ana sauti nzuri. Aha. Lakini anamsukuma na kipaji. Kweli kabisa. Eh unasikia ndani yake kuna 
anataka na kwa refined akiri refined watakuwa hakuna mm. kitu kisichowezekana kama una hicho kipaji ndani yako ni kushapen tu yeah. sasa huyu anataka kusaidiwa namna gani ama ushakutana na mtu kama huyu ah kweli nimekutana na watu kama wanapata unaitwa kwa kanisa fulani kwenda kufundisha vocals mm. as uh, mwalimu wa vocals maana yes. mimi ni mwalimu wa choir mm-hmm. present worship na pia nafundisha act i write the scripts okay. so, so nimepewa vipaji mengi wow. so unapata una, mtu anatamanio mm. la kujifanya kitu kama kuimba mm. lakini sauti ashike mm. kuna wengine as a teacher unaweza ngangana na ye kwa muda mm. na hata asishike wow ampaka ufike mahali umwambie sasa kama uh, mwalimu unajua utamwambia toka uh-uh. utamwambia ka, kando kidogo mm. endelea kujifunza kwa muda fulani yes. ukishajua tutafanya nini tutarudisha sasa wanapata kama mtu alikuwa karibu sana na mchungaji yes. na hapo ndo challenge inaingilia mm-hmm. kama alikuwa karibu sana na mchungaji anaenda analia mchungaji mchungaji anarudi kwako sasa na hasira yes. Mbona unatoa hatu kwa present worship? Oh. Nao amesahau you are a teacher, vocal oh. teacher. Na kuna kitu umeona. Na kuna kitu umeona. Kwa sababu anapo mnapoimba na yeye pamoja kwa microphone sande ama masiku nyingine service, yes. utasikia kuna off. Yes. As a music teacher you want something that is equal range. Nzuri, iko yes. sawa. Sasa mchungaji sijui kama nasikia ya maski lakini ya muone umemtoka kwa sijui wachungaji wengi si atakuwa si si wana muziki sisi bwana sasa tutajuaje <laughs> si tunataka kuna mpendo amekaa pale mbele anasema anafanya kazi ya Mungu anafanya kazi ya Mungu so <laughs> those are the challenges kwa hivyo ni changamoto kwa yeah, so unapata unachukuliwa makosa ambayo haikuwa yako wow. si ndio yeah. lakini we umejaribu kivi yako wow. mara nyingi umepata hata tumetolewa tumeto kwa makanisa kwa sababu ya vikosa kama hizo uliwahi uliotolewa kanisa nimetolewa kanisa ni kwa sababu ya vikosa kama hizo ndogo wow. kwa mfano okay this is not a campaign unapata kwa mfano acha nitumie mimi ni mluya mm-hmm. mwimbaji mwenye ako pale ni mluya okay Mwal, na mimi ni mchungaji yes na yule mwalimu mm-hmm. ni mjaluo okay sasa wakati atatoa yule mluya yeah. mluya kuja nililie yeah. <laughs> mimi nitafeel mluya sitafeel quality ile inafanya nini sasa si ndio hapo hii makosa inaingilia mimi nitafukuza yule mwalimu jaluo. Unaona damu ni nzito kuliko maji yenyewe. Wachungaji tuna kibarua sana. Sasa kazi hiyo hiyo inaka vizuri sana. Johari ya siku. Yes. Mm, kila andiko lenye pumzi ya Mungu linafaa kwa mafundisho mm. ili kuwaonya watu wa Mungu, kuwarekebisha na kuwatayarisha kwa kazi yote nzuri ya ufalme. Wewe mm. unafikiri ile andiko nimelipata wapi ndani ya Biblia takatifu? Ah, sina uhakika ila nafikiria ni kwa Mathayo. Kwa Mathayo. Huenda <laughs> <laughs> nilipitia pitia kwa Mathayo lakini sina uhakika. Area hiyo tu. Yeah, yeah, area hiyo tu. Sio kwa Old Testament? Ah. <clears throat> ah, sidhani. I'm not sure. <laughs> lakini unaona kama haiwezi. Ah, si azikata lakini mimi naona kana ni huku kwa New Testament hapa kwa <laughs> maandiko yote matakatifu yameandikwa kwa uongozi wa Roho Mtakatifu na yanafaa katika kuwafundishia watu ukweli, kuwaonya, kuwasahihisha makosa yao na kuwaongoza watu waishi maisha ya adili. Hilo andiko tumelipata ndani ya Biblia takatifu na ningependa nikupatie jawabu ninajua kwamba wengi tumeandika katika Facebook hapa majibu mazuri lakini wewe uliandika Timotheo wa pili umefanya vizuri sana sura ya tatu, aya 16 wow, wow. Eh, mm-hmm. second timothy chapter 3 verse 16 ndio inasema maneno haya tunamshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa nafasi na kwa wakati ambao ametupatia nimekuwa na papa vini papa vini katika mazungumzo yetu na yamekuwa mazuri hadi Juma Lijalo sina lecha ziada ila kukutakia utazamaji mwema wa makala zetu na vipindi vyetu vyote hapa ni Hope TV ambapo natazama unapata kuishi mimi nimekuwa wako mwalimu Shaban Brima tuona na Juma Lijalo shalom Mungu akuhifadhi na kutende mema
Hallelujah Yahweh Shilo tuna kuabudu Bwana Utukufu ni kwako Nani kama wewe Bwana Tell 
Nani mwingine wakulingani shola wewe Pokea sifa la wabudu ya tubona Pokea sifa zangu bwana Hey Nifikiria kuwema wako bwana Na jawa na furaha Wabudu ya toka yo moyoni mwagu Nina kuletea Swala kaza kuwa budu bwana Nina zilete mili zaku Nikisi imani wewe pekee Asa kili ya sifara wa obudu Mie aishie Pali pata katifu Waze nshiri nane Wana ungana pamoja Wakina mamele zaku Wakisema takatifu ni wewe Mwana 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 mwana
magoti ya mba Tiga magoti ya mba Ata kujibu maombi yako Ata kujibu maombi yako Tiga magoti ya mba
in your presence before I lift my hands to the heavens. Oh, I pray out loud because I need you to hear my cry. When I'm closing my eyes, I believe that I can call me help. It doesn't matter how I pray, I know my prayer will be to you. It doesn't matter how I believe, all I know that you love me. Jesus, my protector, my provider. I believe and trust in you, you set me free. I fix myself to you. I fix myself to you. To you, I surrender. And when I think that Jesus, you left the throne, you came in this way to set me free. In the point that I was, Jesus, you set me free. Child of the kingdom, you change that. When I think about that unconditional love, I said that I'll forever surrender. From you, hey, oh. I cannot make it without you, Jesus. That is why I give myself away so that you can use me. To fill me with your Holy Spirit, you are my life, Jesus. I need you to fill me with your power. That is why I'm surrendering, Jesus. Surrender,
Mwishimu mungu katika mambo yako Mwishimu mungu kwa anadamu Mwishimu mungu katika mambo yako Mwishimu mungu na watoto wako Mwishimu mungu atapa nyumba yako Mwishimu mungu kwa kutembea kwako Mwishimu mungu na amari yako Mwishimu mungu ata na gari lako Mwishimu mungu kwa kunena kwako Mwishimu mungu Mwishimu mungu Mwishimu mungu Mali pako basiri Mwishimu mungu hata ukiwa kanisani mpe Mungu first priority yani nafasi ya kwanza na tazama hivi swali najiuliza sipati jibu mara ya kwanza ulipoingia kanisani ulikuwa na ombi kwa Mungu wengine wetu tuliomba tupewe watoto wengine wetu tukaomba tupewe mandoa wengine wetu tukaomba tupewe kazi lakini siku ya leo nashanga tukisema inuka tumpigie makofi bwana Yesu wa mama wa mekeji chini wengi wao eti wananyonyesha watoto wengi wao eti wamelea watoto bila kusahau kwamba aliyewapa huyo mtoto ni Mungu na ndiye tunasema inuka tumuimbie na ndiye tunasema inuka tumsifu oh oh mwanishangaza Kina dada pia mwanishangaza Mbona siku wizi mumebadilika Ulikuwa muimbaji tena muwabudu Ulikuwa unaimba sauti njema Takini ulikuja kanisani Ukimwamba mungu akupendoa Uliomba kwa magoti ulilia Ikifika kwa sifa uliimba Lakini bada ya kupewa uyo mume Umesahau mungu walikupa Ukija kanisani siku wizi ulilia una keti nyuma unataraji ya mambo yawe sawa mwanishangaza hey hey mungu wakishuka siku ile atalete kiboko utasema nini wewe Mweshimu mungu na ndowa yako Mweshimu mungu endelea kumtumikia yeye Mwanadamu mweshimu mungu katika mambo yako Mweshimu mungu katika mambo yako Mweshimu mungu katika kanisani Mweshimu mungu ikifika kwa kuwabudu Tukisema inu katuibe Tukisema piga magoti Tukisema ni kuomba Hata kufanya tu yako Hata na nyini vijana kwa mtandao Eshimuni mungu Usijite present worship Na yale unafanya uka mtandao Aa Pia sijata na wababa Wanaume pia mwanishangaza Aa Ulipo kuja kanisani bila mwili Wewe hata kitambi haukuwa nacho Kazi una Watoto umeshindwa kulisha nyumba Nayo karibu yangu keuka mwambia mungu ni bariki na kazi Bada ukini bariki na kazi Akika nita kutumikia Nita kuchezea Lakini tukisema tuchezee wana Wewe umesimama, wewe ni boss Tukisema tere mukia mungu Unatuambie jisi, wewe ni mze Kwani wewe uze wako wapereka wapi Kumbuka Daudi ya li mchezea mungu Wadinguo zake sikararuka 
Why my face is that I'm not nanny yet, I'm not nanny if you're money shangaza. Uki ito mali kwenda kudumu. Una weka kiwango eti eli fufulani. Pira kusahau kipawa ulicho na choni mungu alicho kupa. Eti mimi kwenda kuimba kanisa ni lazima ni pewe eli fukumi. Heli fushirini na zaidi Kwa ninyinyi muna tumikia mungu Au muna tumikia pesa Badilika ilu muone mungu Lasivo ufalme wa mungu wakuna kuwako Mwanada mungu wa shimu mungu Katika mambo ya kumu wa shimu mungu Mwanada mungu wa shimu mungu Katika mambo ya kumu wa shimu mungu Hata mtandaoni Wazichana wa imbaji Watu wote Katika kazi ni mwenu Wakuongea kwenu Wakujibishana na wengine Wamarekebisho Katika mafudisho yenu Hili muone ufalume wabwana Ha! Na huo ndiyo ukweli Tena kama walizo fungiliwa hazitu otena Nacha kushangaza tena wako wa nne Haka shanga kuona yule wa inde Anafanana na mwana wa mungu Ufalme alito wanajeshu wake Haka wauliza yule si mwana wa mungu Tena imekuwaje wale watatu tuli wafunga Na sasa hivi wanacheza Hawana chochote kwa mkono Kweli mungu 
Anapo simama upande wako Hata wachawi waganda waofu wainuke hawawezi hawe Yeye ni mungu Wafita kwa walio wake Wimungu Wacha apudiwe milele Wimungu Mutu wakifukuzo kazi ni ya msaha ukuomba Ananza kusema mungu yuko wapi Tukiwa na imani kama ya shebla Kwesha kuna baby mego Na eda ni elikwe ni tundula simba tutashinda tu Mana mungu haja tuwacha tamwe Ana tafuta wale wakusimama nao Ili ya watumi